How we feeling out here? Roll, roll, roll call. Roll call with a realm right quick. See what's going on. See what's going on. <laughs> we got a lot of y'all here already. Okay, okay. No doubt, no doubt. What's going on? Catch the live, Frank Castle. I see you. I see you. <laughs> well, in Metro Hollywood rules, what's going on? Video game adaptation. It's Cog on another show right now. No, I am here. <laughs> Back from the day. What's going on? Tox mod is a little upset, y'all. <laughs> J Mac, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Lots of purpose. What's going on? J Mac with the uh, Lord Silver. Shout out to the PlayStation fan base for standing on your square. Even though your square is falling into your bitch, you are wilding. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. No. Omatar, Omer, um, War. All right. Yeah. I see what you're saying. I see what's going on. Metroid, what's going on? Talk to me. <laughs> what's going on? Game Vet, what's up? What's going on? Andy Cruz, what's up? What's going on? Yeah, it's a little spicy today. A little spicy. You got to talk about it. You already know. Good to see y'all up in here early. Having some fun. Running a little late. We're going to get the rest of the realm up in here. Make sure the levels is good and all that. Yeah, we're going to have some fun. Some really, really <laughs> good topics today. And I think people got to have opinions. After that, I'm going there, man. I'm going there. No doubt. Anyway, I'm going to get to y'all. We got y'all with some Dallas bars and get the rest of these lords, these pesky lords, see where they at. <laughs> over to you. King's going to definitely be over excited today. You already know. You know how he's playing. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's see y'all in a minute. Hear ye, hear ye, man. Welcome to the show. If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot, get comfortable, grab a snack, do all that good stuff that we need to do, and, um, you know, we're about to get started. I am, well, it's not important who I am. Uh, what's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast right now as we speak, and uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained until it's time to get this show started. So, um, <clears throat> look. 
Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all so dramatical I know it's random, but I am addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yo, 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 This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call a department and I get the blame Still I be running, collecting them rings You just a target when I'm in the range I was the hardest to start regardless Back when you was messaging people on AIM Check my vocals All on Twitter, but I'm anti-social Love my city, but I'm still by coastal I got you Man, let's switch that up um, What is you doing? What I do? Don't stop Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Fit on the B.O. dogs, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold ya, I ain't heard the boy You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for ya Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man. Welcome to the show. If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot, get comfortable, grab a snack, do all that good stuff that we need to do, and, um, you know, we're about to get started. I am, well, it's not important who I am. Uh, what's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast right now as we speak, and uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained until it's time to get this show started. So, um, <clears throat> look. Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all so dramatical I know it's random, but I am addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yo- yo- yoga, fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call the department and I get the blame still i'll be running collecting them rings you just a target when i'm in the range i was the hardest to start regardless back when you was messaging people on aim check my vocals all on twitter but i'm anti-social love my city but i'm still by coastal i got you. man let's switch that up what is you what doing do? don't stop no that was dope I'm just keep that keep that going keep that going <laughs> Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Fit on the B.O. dogs, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold ya, I ain't heard the boy You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for ya Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man, welcome to the show If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot Get comfortable, grab a snack Do all that good stuff that we need to do And, um, you know, we're about to get started I am, well, it's not important who I am uh, What's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast Right now as we speak And uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained Until it's time to get this show started So, um, <clears throat> look Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all so dramatical I know it's random, but I am addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yoga, yoga, fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call the department and I get the blame still i'll be running collecting them rings you just a target when i'm in the range i was the hardest to start regardless back when you was messaging people on aim check my vocals all on twitter but i'm anti-social love my city but i'm still by coastal i got you. man let's switch that up um, what is you doing what I wanna do. don't stop no that was dope keep that, keep that keep that going keep that going <laughs> Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Fit on the B.O. dog, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold ya, I ain't heard the boy You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for ya Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man, welcome to the show If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot Get comfortable, grab a snack Do all that good stuff that we need to do And, um, you know, we're about to get started I am, well, it's not important who I am uh, What's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast Right now as we speak And, uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained Until it's time to get this show started So, um, <clears throat> look 
Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I am addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yo, 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 This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call a department and I get the blame Still I be running, collecting them rings You just a target when I'm in the range I was the hardest to start Regardless, back when you was messaging people on AIM Check my vocals All on Twitter, but I'm anti-social Love my city, but I'm still by coastal I got it. Nah, let's switch that um, What is you what doing? I Don't do. stop Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Put on the B.O. dog thing, very loyal But I ain't gonna hold you, I ain't here to boy you You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for you Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places, better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man. Welcome to the show. If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot, get comfortable, grab a snack, do all that good stuff that we need to do, and, um, you know, we're about to get started. I am, well, it's not important who I am. Uh, what's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast right now as we speak, and uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained until it's time to get this show started. So, um, <clears throat> look. Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I am addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yo- yo- yoga, fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call a the department and I get the blame still i'll be running collecting them rings you just a target when i'm in the range i was the hardest to start regardless back when you was messaging people on aim check my vocals all on twitter but i'm anti-social love my city but i'm still by coastal i got no let's switch that um, what are you doing don't stop no that Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Put on the B.O. dog thing, very loyal But I ain't gonna hold you, I ain't here to boy you You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for you Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places, better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man, welcome to the show If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot Get comfortable, grab a snack Do all that good stuff that we need to do And, um, you know, we're about to get started I am, well, it's not important who I am uh, What's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast Right now as we speak And uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained Until it's time to get this show started So, um, <clears throat> look Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I am addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yoga, yoga, fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call a the department and I get the blame still i'll be running collecting them rings you just a target when i'm in the range i was the hardest to start regardless back when you was messaging people on aim check my vocals all on twitter but i'm anti-social love my city but i'm still by coastal i got no let's switch that what are you doing don't stop no that was dope Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Put on the B.O. dog thing, very loyal But I ain't gonna hold you, I ain't here to boy you You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for you Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places, better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again Hear ye, hear ye, man, welcome to the show If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot Get comfortable, grab a snack Do all that good stuff that we need to do And, um, you know, we're about to get started I am, well, it's not important who I am uh, What's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast Right now as we speak And, uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained Until it's time to get this show started So, um, <clears throat> look 
Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't wanna be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they wanna compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I'm addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yoga, yoga, fire. This is that yoga, fire, flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call a department and I get the blame Still I be running, collecting them rings You just a target when I'm in the range I was the hardest to start it Regardless, back when you was messaging people on AIM Check my vocals All on Twitter, but I'm anti-social Love my city, but I'm still by coastal I got Now let's switch that um, What I wanna do Don't stop. Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Put on the B.O. dog thing, very loyal But I ain't gonna hold you, I ain't here to boy you You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for you Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places, better tell a Uber Because it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again I'ma just chill and watch them and eat snacks in the attic I wanted to chill with the pack and be like a young whoop But then they would mistake me for addict If I can imagine it's cool to give you some advice Then invite your girl to your squadron Cause if you don't give her that option You gonna be single player like Siren You gonna get tossed in the bushes by King David Royalty and not a pretender Detrimental to an elemental What's an avatar to a knee bender I gotta be me though I know it's my destiny Work to Carnito Who cares if you fly if you still a mosquito You swear you ain't something but really be Steve-O yeah, yeah. You like to collect stuff and that's cool But I got bad news even if you really was that dude, King David still be the king of the statues. Since a juvenile, I've been cursed with a curse to be musical. And if you hate it, we'll meet in the crucible. Other than that, then it's cool and it's beautiful. We let you know that your dreams are pursuable. Whatever you want to do, then it's doable. If you got work on a Sunday, it's suitable. Because you can listen to this in your cubicle on the Lord's Day. Woo. If you got work on a Sunday, it's suitable. Because you can listen to this in your cubicle on the Lord's Day. The bikes are hot, but we gonna we gonna continue that. <laughs> we gonna continue that later. <laughs> no doubt. What's going on? Some mic checks and all that. Let's uh let's hear for the king first. I wanna make sure. Yeah, you know because I just jumped in. Am yeah. I am I weak yeah, in the yeah. sauce? Yeah. No, you looking stuff? good out here. You looking good out here? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm we 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 drinking right. I'm not oh, gonna tell okay. you. I'm not okay. gonna tell you the the blood of who we drinking on. <laughs> <but> hey, <laughs> hey guys. Uh huh. <laughs> I no doubt. Addict, let me hear you right quick. Make sure you know hello, this is good. Hello, hello. Yeah, we sounded crispy. We sounded crispy. You already know, solve real quick. Mic check. Hola, hola, hola. Yeah, yeah, careful with that. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, you know how they like, get. They be like, I, I love me a bilingual. That bilingual, exactly. Relax. <laughs> it's a certain demographic. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and we yes. are. <laughs> I can't. I don't like that, man. I don't like that the way he said it. <laughs> and aggressive, we, very aggressive with it. And we are live. And welcome to the Iron Lords Podcast, LLC. And also live on lordsofgaming.net. Episode number 343. 343. Interesting. Another glorious Sunday. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to the people that's over there at 343. Uh-huh. Another <laughs> glorious Sunday. Back at the round table here on the Lord's Day. And today we've got got the sony layoffs and playstation london studio closure damn ea layoffs and embracer toys Crazy. for bob going independent and for the fi- streets <laughs> you're ridiculous and final fantasy 7 rebirth to discuss so we gonna get mm. right into it so let's introduce the four horsemen of gaming those original gaming nights here at the round table my co-host with the co most my brother from another mother the difficult game conqueror, lord of his own world, and the hot of the young wolf, Lord Attic, back to back. How we doing, sir? Doing pretty good. No doubt, no doubt. So what's going on, man? What's, other than Final Fantasy VII, what you been playing? Nothing. 
Yo, I jumped in his stream last night. <laughs> it's too sad. White people wanted to go out. I was like, nah, do that. I'm yeah, yo, <laughs> yo. Oh, no. Hey, can we talk about that part? We can't talk about that part. <laughs> He's like, go do that. Nah, I'm not. Nah. Yeah. And I, I told her, I, I told He's my like, girl. He's like, I told I was you like, about this before. I was like, Rebirth's coming out next week. I was like, make plans with your friends today. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this was the most gangsta joy. I was like, yo, I respect that. He's yeah, like, yeah, you gonna have to go I, I, out. Yeah. <laughs> yo, and you know what it is? He probably told her a month before, yeah. and then every month it got closer. Like, yo, you know, rebirth. Just, just remember. remember. <laughs> and then, and then the week before, he was reminding her every day. Uh, listen, you make plans with your friends now. I don't need you to touch on my shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta be playing these games, man. <laughs> I gotta respect it. You already know that's been it, sir. Yeah, pretty much, yo. Uh, I think I've I've streamed almost over ten hours Ooh. of. Uh, yeah, man over Ooh. Final Fantasy Rebirth. Okay. Uh, I have uh, I have been doing some of the side content. Ooh. Uh, so, oh, so, wow. so you can wow. Hold on, hold on. Wow. I this is this huge. Wow. Here. This has not come out in a long time, man. Why we hit my bed Yo. with that? Why we hit nah, my bed? Break it down. Nah, right, tell him why. Nah. Tell him why. Nah, tell him why. Nah, tell him why. Man. Tell him why. This dude is the master of, I'm not doing none of the side content crap. I don't to, ever to be fair, though, To be fair, though, he did say that he would be a fraud when it's something he... <laughs> Yeah, but, but, no, but he I, actually I, got a good reason. I, I want you to hear this. On most games, but the problem is, is here's my thing. I have I have criteria you have to make for me to do your side whack content. Okay, <laughs> like <laughs> my biggest criteria is mm -hmm. you got to inform me on what the rewards will be before mm -hmm. I go into that mission. Now, right. if you sit there and say I want you to go collect X amount of this, X amount of that, I'm like, what do I get? I tell you when you do it. See you next week. Go talk to oh, oh, all right. So, so they gotta let you know up front what your reward so is. They're very clear with the it. with the material and the rewards or, or of what you get. Or, or there's got to be a mystery behind it. Oh, Ooh. there's some legendary creature. Now, I will do side content to fight tough bosses because I oh, do okay. enjoy fighting tough bosses. Mm -hmm. But if you come at me with like collect these backpacks, now nah, I'm good. Like, <laughs> for the love I'm of the good. game. You're yeah, for I, the love I, of the I, game. I, I saw it. I, I just got a question for you. Though. Especially if it's for cosmetic stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't care about none of that cosmetic stuff. Mm -hmm. Like Spider Man only had one suit to me, and it's the one I started or the <laughs> one you changed. Yeah, yeah, don't That's care about crazy. none of that. Don't care about none of that. Yeah, I up. mean, to, to lend to his point, sometimes mm -hmm. when you play in the game Spider Man, you have on a different costume, and when they go to a cutscene, they change you and revert you right back oh. to his original costume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. They do that in certain cutscenes because mm. they need that suit to reflect something that they something do. Oh, okay, got you, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's canon in the story. So got you. I understand exactly what he's saying. So I know it's like, why the hell am I going to do this if they're going to put me back in this costume at some point in time without my mm. control? But mm. my, my question is, mm. I saw you playing, and I've, I played Remake to an extent, mm. to be honest with you. I, I'm, I'm a fraud. <laughs> I see this one is way more open world. Is that true? It's it's like it's open world, <laughs> but it's not like true open world. It's like one of those things where like God of know, War. Could, mm, I would say it's a little bit more like God of War. Okay. Because here here's the thing. I don't think it's like <sighs> it's not like Jedi Save Survivor, these balls right? For so, the topic. So, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we got a topic right, for this. Right. My Save bad. These balls for oh, the topic. my 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 bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was intrigued. I was watching. I got questions for him because he's probably playing yeah. like, more than, than all of us. So we got to get that going. But other than that, just been you and your bag with five hundred seven, which we're gonna get into later, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty yeah, much four it. Four o'clock. I did. <laughs> four o'clock bag. No, I'm just joking. Continue. Yeah, I, I did ask for um. Trying to get my hands on the Unicorn uh, uh, Overlord. Overlord game. Yes. Uh, so I'm trying, because I actually like those type of games. Uh, you said Unicorn Overlord? Overlord. It's, uni it's, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's yeah, it does got a kind of a... <laughs> That day so crazy. He said they actually got games about Sony players. Oh, oh come on. Don't bring that frontline <laughs> stuff over here, man. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I've been really like getting down on some of those games because mm -hmm. uh, what, what i like is i like when they do like that strategic stuff that's army based mm. so like you they'll let you like make your own crews and stuff mm -hmm. uh so i'm gonna look into that game hopefully i don't know like because i still have to go back and beat infinite wealth yes and then I, I gotta finish seven rebirth and mm -hmm. you know uh it, it's just there's a lot of stuff going on right yeah, now like i will say this is a year 
that there isn't like that one end end all be all game. You know how right. that like the Elden Rings. Because mm-hmm. even Rebirth, I love Rebirth, but since it's a, a an exclusive, like I feel like the only time like the, it, it catches the industry by storm. But now like, it is if if it's if it's on multiple platforms, I feel you. like Elden Ring. I feel yeah. like Resident Evil Four a little bit was like that last mm-hmm. year, like. Like it's got to. So you say when everybody, everybody play, we all oh, look bad for Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, see, I Let's see what go. we do. I see what we're doing. I like that. Anyway, like preach the, that. The, anyway, it's been it, sir. <laughs> yeah, that that that's been it. No doubt, and of course we have our most technical gaming lord, the solo gamer who lives for the single player selfish experience, and also the Sastradamus, the Lord of Crowns, Messiah of Predictions, and Lord <laughs> Fraser of the Iron Bank. My man, <laughs> PC Master Race is on. I don't like the, how the tone goes down there. <laughs> you don't know, like, feel like keep the same energy. Yeah, yeah, the keep same the the energy, energy just drop. Bro. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not genuine. It's not yeah, that bro, part. Not genuine. I'm gonna have to go up the ranks here. There's a complaint, man. What's going on? <laughs> you gotta go to HR on that one. I feel you. What's going on, bro? How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. I haven't, you know, I definitely have not gotten into rebirth yet because I haven't finished remake. I've, mm-hmm. I'm in the same place I was before. So I can, let's see when I get to it. But <laughs> so in lieu of that, I had to. So you know, wait, wait. You brought re? Uh, what is it? Remake. Well, yeah, because I, 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 um, I share it with Kai digitally, right? Oh, okay, so, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so no, he, yeah, so he's yeah. rocking. He's rocking. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Now. he probably finished it now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I'll get to that when I get to it. But in lieu of that, I was like, all right, let me let me see what's out. And uh, last week I mentioned uh, briefly, you know, funnily, that I was mm-hmm. like, hey, I'm going to be playing the, the the best other game that's coming out, which is, <laughs> uh, for me, and, and King would know this as well, um, old school PC FPSs. And mm, for me, okay. one of the big ones that, that, it, that counts as a Doom clone, but it's, it, 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 it is. It is a Doom clone, but I think it does a lot of things differently than Doom, is Dark Forces. Dark yeah. Forces is uh it, it got remastered by Night Dive Studios and these guys did an amazing job of bringing that you know old school Doom style uh game forward mm-hmm. making it like again it runs like at 120 FPS on the ROG Ally like oh, it's, it's, it's crazy um and what's cool about this game is like see when Doom is great right for pure gameplay um just fast paced crazy shooting mm-hmm. that's what Doom was they took that sort of engine and said, okay, LucasArts was like, let's add a Star Wars story onto it. So Ooh. what they do in that is, one, you can look up and down, which back then was a big deal. That's right? a huge deal. Huge deal. And then mm-hmm. secondly, they give you objectives like you would in a modern FPS, where it's like, hey, I need you to do this in this stage. I need you to uh, get this key card and infiltrate this thing and get this stuff. So there's, there's objectives within that in a way that games back then, FPS back then, did not do. Yeah. So it's so cool to be play, able to play that game and have that be brought forward. Because again, you know, we talk about Cal Kestis and everything yeah. that responds to him, and that's great. Mm-hmm. But the original sort of Jedi story yes. um, was the Kyle Katarn Jedi story, where it's th- this first one, Dark Forces 1, yeah. is an FPS, straight FPS. Uh, spoilers, the, the main character becomes a Jedi, and in the mm-hmm. second one, mm-hmm. it's, it's Dark Forces 2, uh, uh, Jedi, Jedi Knight. And he becomes yeah. a Jedi Knight, and they incorporate first person and so some of the third person Jedi mechanics. And then mm. the third one, third game to come out of this series was um Jedi uh, uh what the heck is it called? He was he was uh, a band as a Jedi, whatever. He was out okay, Jedi Outcast. Sorry, okay. Jedi, yeah, yeah, Outcast. Jedi Outcast. Yeah. And yes. for its time, Jedi Outcast was like this amazing, like it in terms yeah, of like what, it, yeah, it changed the game. It, it put it kind of into third person. You can play it in first. You can play it in third. Um, Let me ask you a question. You was really pissed off when EA canceled that first person joint, right? Shooter. Oh, the I, yeah, joint. we'll talk about yeah, that. Talk we'll about talk about it. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, no, a no, no. that's a big discussion. That's a big discussion. But then the, the, then the strategy game is still going. Ah, yeah, <laughs> that's still coming. It's all so, day. <laughs> so I played that. Um, I played that. What else did I play? I picked up and I played a little bit of Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, the remake. Oh. Everybody's getting remakes and remasters. Mm-hmm. I get it. People need yeah, to make it. My boy hit me up about that. Yeah. He's like, yo, you going to get that? I was like, hmm dub yeah <laughs> i mean the the original still holds up very well right yep. uh, mm-hmm. i played that one i just want to see what they did they prettied up a lot um yeah it's a beautiful game it's a beautiful story if you haven't played it and you don't want to go back to the old one 
get this uh it's joseph farris's first game kind of in that that whole it was the one before he started doing true only co-op games this is a game that you're controlling two characters with like like this like both analog sticks yeah. um but it is a single player game right okay. uh and he you know ferris jumped over to uh w w a way out after oh, yeah. that oh he, it takes two. oh him, yeah joseph yeah. farris yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. at the oscars joseph oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow boy yeah, yeah. Controversial, dude. Controversial. i like him i like him and, and then the last thing that I play that I'm really, really enjoying yeah. is Banisher's Ghost of New Eden. I'm so Ooh. upset and I'm jelly right now because when I saw that game, I wanted it. I wanted to have that game, but I got to wait because it's coming to Game Pass at some point. Yeah. <laughs> it probably will, 100%. Um, so this is the second collaboration between Don't Nod and... Um, and what the heck is it? It's don't nod and don't, uh, my people. don't sleep. No, focus. I'm sorry. Focus. Oh, and, and AKA pull up, pull up, pull up, entertainment. pull up, entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they changed their name. They changed their like, name. Yeah, their name is pull up. Yo, that's too gangster. That's crazy. That's, that's, that's crazy. very aggressive. You know what? They got yeah. sick and tired of y'all dudes talking all talking that on that the talk. internet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just pull up. It's a yo, it's funny. We we see that we see the hood connotation of it. It's funny. Yeah. I was listening to Colin and the guys on Secret yeah. there, and they're thinking about like pull ups, like 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 like, like depends, like oh depends. oh and like, like oh no. And I'm like, we obviously see things very different. very different, <laughs> very different. That's so, hilarious. Yeah. So they pull up entertainment, and because the, the first game they collaborated <laughs> with, right? Don't not. You know the Life is Strange people, but they also made Vampire Vampire. Oh yeah, right? yeah, Vampire. And that yes, was yes. again. I, I love Vampire. I never finished it, but mm -hmm. story wise, it was very very good. And Banishers, like really, I, I gotta give tip my hat to Don't Nod. Like mm -hmm. Don't Nod storytelling yeah. chops, oh. conversation chops. Yeah, like me and Attic New Day was official when Life is Strange one came out. We was like, this yeah. is different. That game made me pay attention. Like, oh, you wasn't paying attention. No, this is what happened. It, and I have mm -hmm. to go back. I, I never, I never felt. Oh, like, you know, you, you guys one, said it, and I was like, you ah. have to play the first one. It is yeah. a classic. So first one is the best by far. It's the best one to by me. far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I would have to go back and play that because honestly, like lo looking at like the, how they tell story, how they deal with like relationships mm -hmm. and just dialogue that feels natural. Natural um, dialogue. Absolutely. It, it really jumps like it jumps off the screen to yes, me. And I agree. this particular story, I'm big, you know, when I was in high school and college. I don't know how many times I read The Crucible and, and mm -hmm. like they so I'm into that. So, you know, if you've ever seen the movie The Witch, which is mm -hmm. terrifying, um, stuff like that I'm really into. So this story kind of is along that those lines where there's a reverend who calls for his friends who are banishers, or essentially ghost hunters mm -hmm. and people that banish ghosts to the town that he's living in. And he's like, there's something here that I, we've never dealt with before. There is a, a curse here, an evil here that it, it's terrifying me and I don't know what to do. I need your help. Hmm. And they are, you know, the, the two ghost hunters arrive. They're, they're a couple, mm -hmm. a man and a woman. And, and they arrive and to find that things are really gone left. <laughs> um, and it's just, again, the, 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 the conversations you have with the townsfolk about what's happening, the conversations you have with, with the, the, the primary characters and the story that is beginning to unfold mm -hmm. is really, really engaging to me. When it comes to the combat stuff, I haven't been able to, I haven't seen how far sort of the rabbit hole goes in terms of like uh, different compact mechanics, uh, you know, sort of magic mechanics and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. But so far it controls like a third person action game, right? So it's, mm -hmm. you have kind of Dark Souls controls where you're, you, you have a, a, a strong strike and a, and a, and a, and a light strike with mm -hmm. your bumpers and your triggers. And then you have a block and a parry, right? You got a roll. Um, and you had a roll, you, you have a roll, you have a, you have a sidestep and then double press gives you a roll. Like, so we need, those, need to roll. Those classic mechanics, um, and then you have basically I, I've just fought like basic light little ghosts or whatever, where you kind of you kind of dwindle down their energy, and then you can banish them, right? Um, so so far, very light in that regard. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to get deeper in terms of the gameplay mechanics, but everything else has me super engaged, and I'm like, wow. When we talk about you know needing to make smaller games that feel yeah. great yeah, that's gonna be a this this really really feels like it falls into that into that um mm -hmm. niche where it's like this is super well done there's a little bit of jank yeah. but again because it's so condensed because it's it's somewhat linear right and we mm -hmm. talked about like you just talked about that king like linear wide games and stuff like that mm -hmm. um this has a little bit of that. Well, there's a little bit of exploration. You can go to the town, you can go to different places, talk to different people, and it, you get a feeling for what that place is. is. They're very good at time and place. That's what's um, 
and I'm enjoying it. So I, I, let's see how it goes. But I, I'm seriously enjoying that because again, and no, no rebirth for me just yet. I feel you, Banish is cosign. You already mm -hmm. know. And of course, we have the Incredible Hulk of this, aka the Excess Gamer. Ooh, the prophet of Xbox. Swami. King of the statues who demands nothing less than that premium experience and is the unequivocal leader of the Xbox Frontline movement. Ooh, beloved Lord King, how we doing? I'm doing incredible. If anybody got a chance to watch Xbox Frontline News Friday Live with the call-in, um, I debuted the new Ooh. intro mm. uh, by a wonton suit and mm. my boy Alex. Bars. I can't say his uh, real name because I'm not doing that. <laughs> You're not trying but, to get um, divided time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's crazy. But mm. they they got he captured my vision. Like Ooh. I gave him a vision. If anybody knows uh, the Tax Stone Troy Ave situation, mm -hmm. I, I, that's what I wanted. Mm. I wanted that situation because, you know, Sony, I view him as the Tax Stone, oh. the bully. <laughs> And you know, my man, you know, Troy Ave had to, you know, oh, had to, man. Had, had, had to back him down. Oh it's, man. It's what you running from? You know what I'm saying? What you running from? <laughs> very very the, young boy energy, very trap yeah, heavy yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with that King Vaughn feel. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. so I want I wanted that Chicago drill mixed mm. into with the New York drill. Mm. That 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 energy, that vibe, that aggression. Yeah, and so we tech got said that. it was dope. So if anybody liked that intro, yo, guess who you gotta thank? Attic. You got to thank Attic. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Attic, bring that trash. Facts. <laughs> All right, Listen, so we was like, yo, we need some real hood gangsters. Attic the plug. He like, I got y'all. <laughs> yo, yo, yo how he the plug for the most the hood music? I was like, yo, that's crazy. Official though. Yeah, I mean, so yeah. shout, out, shout out to Attic. Yeah. And shout out to BG. Yeah, shout out to BG. All right, so this is what I got to tell people, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of times you have people in this industry that will hold information because they know information is power. Mm -hmm. And through power, you control. Mm -hmm. Shout out to BG for being one of the realest dudes. Yeah. It was like, yo, let me slide that dude to I you straight you. up. Yeah. No, no bread, no, no bread, no, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, That's you know like who else is like that? Who else? Dealer. Yeah. It Where, uh, yeah. When other people was shaming us for our mics and our stuff like that early mm -hmm. on, Dealer was like, yo, I don't mm -hmm. care how much your phone costs. Mm-hmm. Um, you need this, you need that, you need this, you need that. Yeah. I can just and hear him. I don't care how much your phone costs. Yeah, that's <laughs> literally real. a dealer. Yeah, yeah. You say it like that. I was like, yo, my phone costs twelve hundred. He was like, So so what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what? It sounded like crap. And I was like, damn, bro. You know, like he made me feel bad, but, but you know, he put us on and he gave me constructive criticism. Right. And that's another dude that didn't hide information. Yeah. So we got a lot community. of people that's in our community that don't hide information. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of things going on, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I I did a test yesterday. Mm -hmm. And the test mm -hmm. yesterday was to see uh I put out the Glizzy, the Golden Glizzy Awards, right? Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. I said I was gonna um did you see that song? I didn't, I didn't see the golden uh, glizzy. I, I, I it put, just I, makes I, me think we got to give chair. everybody a glizzy drill. No, no, no we no, definitely no, not. Yeah, Let's look, continue. Look, 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 I'm, I'm putting it in chat, so so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Mm. So you can get the joke yeah. because you got to get the joke. It's in the chat right now. All yeah. right, so now you could you could go along with it. So I said, let me let me put that out there. Mm -hmm. And this is how divided we are. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is how divided it's we are. Lizzy goblet. <laughs> it's ridiculous. This is how divided no. we are mm -hmm. as a Xbox fan base. For me, I'm talking about my Xbox dudes. Yeah, let's right. go. I'm thinking that y'all gonna nominate the opposition. Right. I seriously did. Mm. Right. I thought you was gonna put out, yeah, you know, it's this dude. You dudes turned around and looked at dudes that were standing next to you. Mm. Because they have a difference of opinion or they not as as hard as you feel about it. Because, you know, mm -hmm. some of you dudes is really different. Y'all be like, Xbox over everything. I'll never buy a PlayStation. I'm like, whoa, baby, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down now. <laughs> Slow down. Ain't going down. that far. Relax <laughs> <laughs> now. We, we do like games now. <laughs> like, uh, whoa, baby, now pump the brakes now. <laughs> That's a little bit different. Man. You're doing That's a little that dude that want to just shoot the club. Uh, we just shoot everything. No, no. Everything. Everybody got to go. Like, no, Everybody no, got to go. Second, like, now, easy. Now, now hold on. Easy. Tyler, put the gun away. <laughs> no women and kids. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm like, yo, uh -huh. that's not it. Yeah, and that's not I it. Was, so as I'm watching and I'm reading, because I'm, I'm I'm looking at everybody and I'm watching, I'm reading. I was disheartened by everything. Mm -hmm. And I see more of you guys are more hurt mm -hmm. and betrayed, felt mm -hmm. betrayed. And this is a natural feeling, mm -hmm. right? 
you feel hurt and betrayed mm -hmm. by Tim. Mm. Because this, if, if, if you're going to go by a lot of dimensions, was Tim. Okay. Tim Dog. Okay. And and y'all felt hurt and betrayed by it because Tim Dog was uh, the banner, the swinging the sword. You know, mm -hmm. like y'all hurt, feel hurt, and betrayed. You, I want you to think about it this way. Okay. Put yourself in Tim's shoes, mm -hmm. right? Y'all are doing the same thing Tim is doing to the people that he feel betrayed by. Mm -hmm. Do you see the level of hypocrisy mm -hmm. that you guys are exhibiting towards somebody that you felt that was your one of your own? Mm -hmm. He felt the same with mm. Microsoft. You see? Mm -hmm. So him lashing out against them, you ain't say to your brother, yo, my brother, what's up? What's going on? Like, what's really happening? Mm -hmm. Like I did, because when I called him on the phone, mm -hmm. I talked to him. Somebody questioned my loyalty to my friend. This is not a friend over video games, bro. Mm -hmm. This is a friend. Thanks. All right, so when I call him and have an issue, he pull up, like, I got you. Mm -hmm. I was in Calabasas, two hours away. He drove up to Calabasas. That's a fact. That's a fact. So ain't when when other dudes that be claiming they down for me and they hang out and all this other stuff wouldn't they not drive outside. up they there. Not outside, yeah. So let me keep that a buck. Like you, you, re and he didn't have to go. He didn't come for nothing just to hang out. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. You understand? So, and that's just that's just a minor thing. There's other things that he's done that I don't need to talk about. But I don't need to validate my friendship and my loyalty and respect to somebody because of some video game. Yeah, because that's got never gonna happen. That's the problem I'm saying. It's too much. Mm -hmm. If somebody have a difference of opinion. It's now on some personal attack. Oh yeah, y'all taking it to yourself. They taking it way games. too far, my guy. Like this, so, like this was this the thing that that we used to have to be together because it wasn't popping. Video games was that? not popping. Like room? this was the nerd mm -hmm. stuff, and just to be associated, and that's where we supposed to rock. But dudes is really taking like, it on some personal I, joint I, on I video people, games. Yeah. I have people commenting on my YouTube videos. Uh, especially the Final Fantasy one I just made. It's like, we don't rock with Buster Arts. I'm unsubbing. I'm like, <laughs> I literally, and what's funny is like, you clearly haven't been following this channel long. Mm. I have like 40 videos on Final Fantasy. Facts. Like, Facts. Yeah, it's, so it's, crazy. Facts. it's just, I'm telling dudes like, a lot of you dudes is, is exhibiting mustard heart emotions. <laughs> this is This is what I'm talking about. The lashing out against your own, somebody that you feel is your own, Instead of saying nothing, you're just doing it to be seen. You're doing it to fit in a in a crowd, a crowd. You piling on to an individual that shouldn't be piled on about. None of them. I don't care about none none of that. None of them. I don't care. All the people that get your name, none of them. Unless they're the opposition, and, and I'm gonna keep it a buck. I play the console wars. I play it. None of these dudes here play that. I play it. Oh. Yeah, you oh, you in them streets. All right? All right, you so, clearly in them streets. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm drinking on, right? Exactly. So <laughs> okay. I play it hard. Mm -hmm. These dudes don't, right? But I understand. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta pump the brakes on certain rhetoric, bro. When mm -hmm. you feel that that dude is your own, you protect your own. Mm -hmm. That's what you're supposed to do. When them dudes over there flipping and flooding, I'ma go get them. But at no point in time am I going to put a like on my own. Okay. You understand? So when y'all put the name down there, I'm not doing that. Anyway, what I've been playing this week. Let's go. I don't like a lot of you dudes that did not tell me in mm -hmm. Dead Island 2, mm -hmm. there's a feature that you can talk into the game to get the attention of the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> you got you know, a word? You, know, you could be like, Alexa. And then you'd be like, hey, zombie, yo. The zombie be like, <laughs> you know what's funny? I remember back in the day, someone was we were playing Rainbow Six Siege, and someone was about to get a, a kill, and he said, "Alexa, turn all, uh, turn the Xbox off or something like that, mm. or the TV, because it, it was a, a technology thing, and it turned it off." Like <laughs> that's, 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 oh, on on the other guy joint, like yeah. like like when remember when you'd be like Xbox this that and the third, if they yeah. had it through the speaker, you could shut off people's stuff like Xbox turn off. That's yeah, what, yeah, that's, 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 yeah, that's, yeah, that's what dudes used to get yeah. mad. You fighting yeah. somebody, you playing, they'd be like, "Yo, somebody, you hear somebody say Xbox record that on you." Yeah, remember yeah, that? Xbox, yeah, Xbox turn off. Like, that was that, crazy. Hey, that yeah. was dope. But yo, so I'm mm -hmm. playing it. I I can't I can't lie. I'm playing it. I'm very early on in this game. I don't want it to end because I know it's going to be an end. Mm. The game looks so beautiful. It captures California so well. It captures the boozy niche. It captures the the the, the jokes. Mm. It captures everything. 
other than that, you saw me in Fortnite. Now, somebody put a comment down there, Yo, King, if it's not ranked one-on-one, I mean, 1v1 or one all or something like that, I don't mm-hmm. count it. If you dare to pull up, I'll put oh, in that oh, work. Oh, 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 Understand oh, oh. me, I am not that dude yeah, to play that with That sounds like you playing Fortnite. games for real. Oh, yeah, yeah, but don't like you pull, up, in this game. pull up in Fortnite. <laughs> well, I heard you don't really do <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> pull up in Fortnite. Me up for there. Me up for there. Me up putting work upon you. Trust me. Bo, trust me. <laughs> Where's Bunty? <laughs> Problem with the majority, Bunty. the majority of these people on Twitter and YouTube comment sections, they they don't play games like that. They, no, they, that was they, this. This dude said it like like I'm like yo. I said one v one me, bro. Right now, <laughs> he said I'm he's like, like that. He said he said I'm at work. Yeah, I, I, I kind of figured. I kind of figured. <laughs> he said I'm like that. That's they, crazy. Kind of like I, some of these people are on Twitter. So much, I don't 24/7. understand. Like, no game plan, no game plan 24 7 and analyze the other people hilariously. Well, but continue. Last thing I was doing this week, I, mm-hmm. I had to clean up all my physical games, like dust them. Oh, yeah, yeah, so I saw the collection. <laughs> yeah, literally dust my oh, physical games. You saw the collection. You had, that, you had that Neo Geo outside. Yeah, so you that's the Neo Geo X. If anybody wants to know what that Ooh. is, that's not the original Neo Geo. I went through so many but iterations. You had that just to be clear. I, I want yeah. a pocket watch for a second. Um, you did have that, sir, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And how, much, know, how, much was, how much was that console about? That like, console like, was eight ninety nine, six ninety nine. It was seven hundred. How much was the, each cartridge about? Two hundred fifty cash. Man, that's crazy. But you know what we was doing that yeah. day one. Every time they drop, like yeah, y'all, y'all crazy. talking about cartridges of seven hundred dollars. I mean seventy dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was welcome. Doing, yeah, <laughs> the two hundred. Remember, we was walking in there picking up. We'll go down to if, if um yeah. no wonder uh, the market crashed. Crash. It was it was yeah, the market crashed for us. J no, 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 no. no <laughs> that, the market didn't crash then, addict. That was the rebirth. Yeah, that I was after. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right. You're right. No, market crash was like it was was Atari. Was Atari. That was when I was a kid. That's yeah. what I, I, I'm mad at that. It was anyway. before the SNES, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was yeah, way, way before, before that. Way before. Yeah. Before yeah. the first NES. Yes. So um, I would go in and get like $700 worth of games. Mm. Me and Carga go back home and, <laughs> and he'll go end my $250. <laughs> Shout out to Fatal Fury. <laughs> yeah, so Shout out to Andy Bogart. The Neo Geo, this is, this is how um, they were so ahead of their time. Mm. When they did the, the Neo Geo X, yeah. it's a handheld console. Mm. That plugs is a dockable oh, okay. mm-hmm. and plugs in and you plug it into the TV. Now, mm-hmm. what they did was they have all their games on little cartridges that you plug inside of it and you could play like 20 games, mm-hmm. but official games done by them off of the original ROMs that they put mm-hmm. down in it. And I'm not going to lie. That thing is phenomenal. And if you want to, you know, play with the old school controller, they yeah. come with one old school controller and you get to play that. I was playing that, my Turbo Graphics, Super NES, and NES. Every time I clean them, I got to turn one of the people. <laughs> that was the excuse. Yeah. So I told wifey, I said, it's going to take me like an hour to clean the room. And um, I'm in there four hours. Oh, She's like, what are up. you doing? I'm up. gaming. Like, I'm taking picture. I'm feeling it, right? I saw the picture. It was fire. I was like, yo, he did that. Yeah, it was dope. Act Razor is amazing. Mm, that sound going. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh my God! Lord. Super Nintendo was oh. outside with that. Super Crazy. Nintendo. Mm-hmm. I noticed my uh, collection is missing mm-hmm. two entries that I need. What you missing? I need Sega representation. Yes. Uh, I gotta buy a mini uh, Genesis, mm-hmm. and then hopefully they come out with a Dreamcast at some point. Mm. And I gotta get that PlayStation One mini. Mm. I heard that it wasn't all that or something like that, but. Just, just hack representation. It. Just, yeah, hack just, it. just hack it. Just hack it. Well, I got soft, enough soft hack stuff for my house. life. <laughs> yeah, with my, with, my, with my steam and my my rog, I got enough stuff with that. But mm-hmm. yeah, no, nah, no, nah, it's, it's just it took me down memory lane when I'm in the room mm-hmm. and I'm looking, and I I said, man, you got a lot of junk in here. Like oh, all all those 360 games, all those Xbox Ones, all those PlayStation Four games mm-hmm. and Wii U games that I will never touch. Mm-hmm. It's taking up space. Thank God for digital. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the advantage of it. Now, salute to you on that, because again, a lot of people they talk this video game stuff, but they don't do their history. That's why we, me and you, laugh about that gamer score stuff. It's hilarious because it's yeah, like, bro, we ridiculous. was there when the pyramids was getting built. <laughs> exactly, we, like, we had yeah. every brick on the pyramid yeah. to get you to where you at. <laughs> yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? So please on, miss we me with that. Test, where your gamer score we, is at? We was the test dummies. Facts. For y'all, we the facts. Better one hundred percent. We made the boys for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we made it easy for y'all. You know, what yeah. say show these young boys how to rhyme. Remember but anyway. on live? Uh, <laughs> so Remember X Band? Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Remember X Band on Facts. live playing Facts. playing Assassin's Creed Two and like <laughs> Yo, crazy, crazy. I, I was I was watching a commercial for Bleem. 
Ooh, Remember? Oh Bleem. Bleem cast. The ten, yeah, the, <laughs> yo, who, who put them out of business? Was Sony that put them out of business? No, or I was it Nintendo? It, I think it was, well... Because they was charging cast, to do I think that. It, I think it was Sony because the thing is, the big thing was running Metal Gear Solid on the Dreamcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And they were like, oh, yeah, oh that was hell a big deal. No. Yeah, we got to yeah. get them out of here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it was Sony. Shout out to Sony for doing that. Messy. Is that been it, sir? Yes, yes, yes. No, so much fun. No pull doubt. up on me. <laughs> pull, up, pull up in a table. Yeah, right. And I'm not, I'm not talking about baby underwear. Yo, I'm not talking about whoa. baby underwear. <laughs> or pull ups on the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 come on. That's the gym. That's, that's the gym joint. That's the gym joint. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they got pull ups. They got pull ups out here, sir? Yeah. Like dip down entertainment. You think they're doing dips? Like cut it out, man. <laughs> And of course, we have the gaming ninja himself, the Shinobi, Lord Cognito, spread that real to the rubble, the IOP. I'm telling you what you want to hear, what you need to hear. Shout out to Mr. Matty Plays, talking at the final dude. Different show, just write ins, which was kind of fun, talking about what's going on with gaming. Shout out to The Last Word and Ebontis, talking at Destiny, that Guardian Games, arguing about Final Fantasy again. And that was, that was hilarious. <laughs> and then, um, what else we got? For me, um, I got a problem. I, I got to admit, it's like, now I got to come clean. You know why you got to go to the attic meeting? You got to be like, oh man, hey, 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 hey Tekken. It's Tekken. Bro, I got a problem. Like, bro. I have, a, I have, a, ladies and gentlemen, I'm an addict. I'm a Tekken 8 addict. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. bad. It's ba I, I don't want to play anything else. I like, it, it's to the point now, like, Infinite Wealth is lucky that I beat got your time. And I got that. I, I beat the story in Tekken and I didn't do any player matches, ranked matches. And I was like, all right, let me just go. Let me do my homework. This way. And you know how much I go for Infinite Wealth. And that's my game. Yeah. Tekken 8 was like, bro, you're not doing anything. You know how we do. And this is the goat of Tekken. This is the greatest Tekken you've ever played. And we're going to play it, bro. I'm t right. Let me tell you, it's coming back. I've been ranked. I'm starting to oh, get it. Oh, you talking about your skills? I'm starting mm. to get it. It's starting to come, yeah, bro. Me and what Kai been in the dojo. What got a Gordo drop? He's um, it says spring, so he's soon. But um, yeah, man, I'm telling yeah, you, yeah, because I, 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 I know you wait. You, I know you go make your bet. I already know. I already right know. Now, I'm trying to do my boy and your man ain't there. I know how it is when your just, character's look, not there. He look yeah. like me, but he not me. He not you. you. Know I know yeah. what you talking. You talk about your man, um, Leroy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Grandmaster yeah. Leroy Drip. Yeah, Grandmaster yeah, yeah. Drip. You know what I'm saying? And, but, and he got the dog. And he got the dog. Yeah, yeah. Somebody owe me money, bro. <laughs> yeah, there's someone, Harada is definitely me. analyzing your, your, your style. You know what I'm saying? So, you owe me money. But yeah, did that. We got a quick one in last minute. Um, sorry, they hit you only because it came together last minute. We're supposed to do a Friday, and then mm -hmm. we get a Saturday from like 3 p.m. So what I would do is I'm just going to put the SOS. Like, yo, we're doing a player match. Jump in. And what's okay. dope is you can have up to 12 people. You can leave spots for people online to come in. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, and then, okay, yeah, okay. we spectated the match. Your, bro your brother's on some joint, yo. Kyle's, oh, I know. Kyle I know. Savage. I, I was able to, I go for it. When I brought, he was he was terrorizing everybody. <laughs> but but when I brought Harang out, Harang got the situation under control. But it was a hard fight with your brother. Your brother is a problem. Yo, yeah. Yo, I knew what he was on when he said, yo, D. Hey man, he just sent the code. <laughs> he, he was like, "Yo, yeah, man, there you go. Yeah, he does. Jump, jump in. I'll send. Jump in. I put no. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're doing. I know no, what you're doing. You so I to. will. I owe Attic an apology. <laughs> I will start. Uh, you know, one chapter. I'll talk about my Final Fantasy Rebirth because I've got like two or three hours on it. I will get back to focusing wow. on what I'm to. Bro, to that's what I'm. Point. You already know. If I'm stopping Final Fantasy and Infinite Wealth. This Tekken is a problem. Yeah. Yeah. It's a problem. Yeah. So I feel like that I with have. Fortnite. Yeah, I don't no, get I got nothing done. We got that game that it just no matter, and then they want to drop new stuff, and they've been yep. on it with the balancing. They got the shop now. It's whatever. But anyway, let me move on. So, I like all the endings for yes. everybody. The respect. Yes. It, they yes. just brought it back. Mm -hmm. I just like it. No doubt. So I went super chats. Oh, I got log net stuff to do. Which one? Let's do the super chats. Let's right, do the super right. chats. Uh, we got Jay Mack, member for 40 months, Lord Silver. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the PlayStation fan base for standing on your square, even though your square is falling into the ocean. Yo, that's right. <laughs> that's they crazy. don't bend, boy. Uh, <laughs> Jay, Jay Mack also always objected. Thank you, Jay. Completely objected. Shout out to Bay Area. <laughs> Shout out to the Bay Area outside OG. I see you. Then we have Omerta War, member okay. for one month. Have a good show for us, all right? Okay. Shout out to the Mafia. Shout out, Shout out to, to the, the <laughs> Cosa Nostra. The Appreciate Coast of Nostra. <laughs> no doubt. Then we got Pony Up, $5 super chat. Are you guys enjoying FF7? I'd play it, but I'm still in the middle of Persona 3 Reload, and mm. I don't want to drop that game this far in. Also, y'all watch 
I guess Juju Kaisen. Uh, that's an added question. That's young boy stuff. <laughs> it's an anime young boy. He stepped away for a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I watched it. Okay. okay. Um, and yeah, I guess a a Addict's the only one playing FF Rebirth right now. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't think that any of us started Persona 3 Reload, did we? No, I think no, no, I, I know. It. Oh, you started it, Addict? Okay. Oh, Attic is a beast. He a beast. I didn't even know he had time. That's yeah, yeah, RPGs and stuff. RPGs. Yes, that's, he's a that's, beast. That's, that's yeah, crazy. crazy. But Attic, your camera's off. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. know why it keeps turning off. That's the problem uh -huh. that I had too. Remember? Mm -hmm. Okay. No Doctor Strange Love, two dollars oh, super man. chat. <laughs> I'm about to get Sav laid off without the off. Yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> What's going on out here? Oh, hey, man. yo. Uh, all right. All right. Starting it off early. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your unwavering patience. <laughs> Shout out to you, John Wolf. You are the man. I got to show y'all, man. He's dope. John Wolf did something. Mm -hmm. salute, he did something salute. crazy right now. Mm -hmm. There we got Robert Kellett, five dollars super chat. Bless uh, day, Lords. Hype to see y'all give Sony the smoke for the layoffs. It's depressing knowing this is still the beginning. To be fair, there's plenty of layoffs to yeah, go around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm so terrified for what is to come by the mm -hmm. end of this year. Yeah, it's Ooh. gonna be a bloodbath this year, I think. Um, yeah, is is a bloodbath now? Yep. And we got yeah. Michael Ivars with the five euro super chat. Media Molecule, Fire Sprite, Neon Koi, Bend, Firewalk, and Haven are 100% getting the side eye from Hiroki. Oh, <laughs> Bungie Games of the Service Push and PSVR 2, Bonafide Lemons. Mm. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. Silent Cypher, five dollars super chat. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks for giving me awesome conversations to enjoy during the home projects and chores today. Mm -hmm. Hope you've all had a great weekend. You as well. Thank salute. you, brother. Much love. Then we have Mofo Trex. <laughs> <laughs> I started watching you guys last December. I look forward to every Sunday, uh, especially. Have a blessed day, Lord. Uh, Thank salute. you. Appreciate Doing's that. in the building. I like Welcome. that. Welcome. That's what's up. Appreciate that. Let's put the crest in the chat for Lord Silver, Derek mm. Johnson. Shout out to no, Derek really? Johnson. I think Appreciate that's my you, props. Oh, right. Nice. Salute. Let's go. You listen, I'm <laughs> oh, salute. He follows me on, he, he's a member over on Xbox Frontline. Mm -hmm. And I think that's my pops, be honest with you. That's Just dead serious. Yo, yo Derek Johnson, I, you really need to let me know if you my pops or not. Don't be fun. <laughs> I, I, I am your father. I am your father. I am your father. Because he watches football. And he watches and stuff like that. But he, when I talk to him about it, he like, uh-huh. Yeah. Mm, he, yeah, yeah. he can't follow. So. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I mean, he has an emoji. He has like a like a, like a a thumbnail. So yeah, I don't see, know. If he, I see first. With tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but he does stuff. I don't know, man. He you out gonna, here. You gonna call but, him daddy? Yeah, nah. Yo, 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 yo. I see you scared of the straight for the <laughs> Your father he is. Your father he is. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> he ain't like that. Daddy camera came off. <laughs> Salute. Yeah. <laughs> Let's we, go. We have, let me see. We got, we got more sneak. super chats. Get to it. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to focus on get the show going on. Uh, four o'clock. I'm the camera. Now you're going to focus. see the movie. <laughs> you don't really like, like Keith. I, I like the camera's on. That's Cog, what I like. Cog yeah. and me get... Uh -huh. I mean, Sav and me get some crazy, super crazy. King gets one. One, and it's over. We got to move on. Attic, you would know that I didn't get a super chat, and I said <laughs> something, but it's Cog want to pour sauce. I'm just <laughs> pouring sauce on stuff for the last You said that man might be your, your father. <laughs> no, he no, said this man might be my dad. That might be my <laughs> daddy. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, yo. You yo, said it. I, uh, no, I was like, no, you no, didn't no, realize you left uh, yourself listen, wide man, open. Pause. Talk about. Talk about. It's, 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 it's the internet. There's no receipts. Yes, there's no, no receipts. No, 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 no. I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. So, do you go in there and say father? <laughs> I wonder how I ask. No, I say, I say, I say, papi. So, oh, <laughs> you say, oh, careful, say, careful. Papi. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, 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 papi get, get you that. in trouble out here. Papi, Addict, don't be saying that. Addict, do not say Spanish words like that ever again. He said, papi. I'm gonna need Addict to repeat that first. Addict, do not ever say that again. Papi. Why you sound like Mario? 
<laughs> no, Never man, have sound, addicts that say that. That like some real door open energy, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's definitely door open do energy. <laughs> and let me I tell you the guy cracks. that started this. Oh, hey, okay, man. So, Cog. Cog. Yes. So do you go on there and say father? <laughs> do I, I say that's need, my pops. Can, that's my pops. A pop. So you go in there, pop. That's what pops. That's what you I said. No, 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 no. Very, no, no. Very so strong like, with pops, it. Pop. Yo, he's so that my pop. daddy. Cog walks in there. Cog walks in there. Yo, pops. I'm out of here. You got to keep uh, it extra strong. No, no, no. Get out of here. Yo, if my grandson, because my grand, my grandson be like daddy or whatever, or you know whatever. But you know I'm messing with you. If he called me, nah. I had to get. She went down. I was like, oh, he let that fly. I got to go in. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not letting you go. <laughs> if my grandson come up to me and be like, Pops. Yo. You got it. Pops. <laughs> he too aggressive. He too aggressive. He too aggressive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He ain't showing respect. Whoa. What do you want him to do? Walk in there and say, hey, David. <laughs> no, no, see, and, yo, and that's highly disrespectful. I see a lot of kids out here calling their parents. But first, first name. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That's, that's wild disrespectful. My, my, I didn't know my mom's name until I was like 17. <laughs> yo, okay, my what's mom, her name? Mommy. Yeah, my mommy. mom's <laughs> name is Mommy. And I'm it's going to be that until the day like, I die. I'm I'm really, yo, my teacher said so. Um, uh, parents' name, mommy. <laughs> exactly that. Nice, that you, part. You that think part. I'm supposed to say Beverly? <laughs> you doing it? You doing it? He's saying it right now. Put a, a yeah, shiver on You my feel? Spine. You yeah, feel? Like, what yeah, you, you, feel you feel like the hand <laughs> coming? What? Like you say, yeah, the slap. I, I pre, I preemptively <laughs> just ducked. If y'all just saw that, yo, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you feel it? You know you out of pocket <laughs> for saying it. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Nah, nah. <laughs> what else we got, Sal? Yo, we on track. <laughs> <laughs> wow, hold on. All right, there we mm -hmm. have. Let me see. Did it kick the kick the snake? Oh, Remember like for that. four months, Lord Bronze. Mm -hmm. What up, Lords? Hope everyone had a great week. Yes, thank you, sir. <laughs> Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Then we got Robert Kellett, two dollars in the chat. You told me it would be a glizzy free day, Kai. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Kelly in the cut right now, chill. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then we got 108 Dragons TV. Wow, super chat. Put honey mustard hot sauce on that golden glizzy. Oh man, this guy went extra with it. Continue. Yeah, <laughs> Salute the, 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 the glizzy goblet is in effect. Love the Brooklyn <laughs> uh, breakfast series, sir. I like that. Continue. You <laughs> having breakfast with glizzies? What you say? Nah, he ain't, I ain't say all that. I ain't say all that. Nah, <laughs> nah. Serious, serious. Hey, yo, back to you. <laughs> you threw some extra. He nah, he nah. My man Lizzie? got a what brunch series oh. or the 108 Jack. It's fine. He threw Brooklyn, oh. chilly, he getting brunch. It ain't no glizzy situation. Oh, I, thought no you said, I thought you said breakfast with glizzies. So I was just <laughs> like, yo. Nah, you doing too much. <laughs> you doing too much. Shout out to 108. That joint fine. I watched it. I put a comment. I joined fine. Beggies and mash. <laughs> Be oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's Irish energy. That's Irish energy. We're not doing bangers and mash over here either. No, no, that's not a good <laughs> Continue, sir. He out of pocket. He out of pocket. Everything's messy with him. Country yeah. Big 94 with the oh, five salute. Mile super chat. <laughs> Country Big, happy Sunday, Lords. 12 hours into Infinite Wealth, and I'm loving it. But, Cog, what is up with this sicko snap? Yo, Everyone sicko snap. Everyone hit is that much. like and subscribe. Yo, sicko snap is wild. Yo, y'all got to see that. Sicko snap. As a person? Or nah, I think I told it's so out of pocket like I'm, it's so <laughs> pause worthy like they are out of pocket like you're literally on a trolley taking pictures of situations you ain't supposed to be taking pictures of oh that's what's up it's wild it's wild, it's wild. They, you know what's crazy about them shout out to, they don't care they gonna put politically incorrect stuff they gonna have fun they, they gonna do what they do they don't care Oh, I think I heard. I know what this yeah, is. It's yeah. like Pokemon Snap. Like yeah, it's perverts. Pokemon Snap with perverts. <laughs> I'm like, they are out of pocket right now. Yeah, anyway, salute the, <laughs> salute the country, All right, man. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yep. yes. I, I, I try to fix this camera. Just restart. Just restart. Unplug oh, there it. you go. Yeah, yeah. Unplug it. You no, that's what I did. I, oh, had, okay. I, I think it's that Elgato middle piece yeah, that goes yeah. into my PC. I think that's messed the, up. The cam link is messed up? Yeah, the cam yeah it's probably so. Yo, listen, man. Okay. Gato, you're going to send us this bag get my PC. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so yeah, what, what's up with them? We got to talk to them. I'm going to talk. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Yeah, straight. No, we, we, we going to straighten we, that. Cog, we, we got to do Reaper first. Oh, okay. So, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, but I got to right, do right, Lord right. and then we'll, we'll switch up. We'll yeah. switch up order. I got you. Mm-hmm. 
Um, okay, let's see. Oh, wow, we got we whoa, we got a bunch of stuff. Hold mm -hmm. on, let me run back a little bit. Dr. Strange love five dollars super chat. Mm -hmm. Forget the golden glizzy award. I want to win the golden chorizo award for the best <laughs> sob lover. God bless. That's <laughs> for that wow. poppy. <laughs> nah, son. You cannot you, you be and, saying you Spanish words. That too much, man. Yeah, I don't like that. Poppy. I, I did not like West Virginia in the building with that. Too it's too aggressive. much. Yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. He said it with his chest. Okay. Yeah, Poppy. Mm -mm. <laughs> Poppy. Yeah. Don't like it. Not a that, go. Continue. That's right before they swing on you, Poppy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> well, thank you for your patience. <laughs> there we have Ace Norm or Norm. Two dollars super chat. People acting like this is blood versus crip. Facts. 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 Let's chill out, everybody. Yeah, stop be really weird. Yep, stop like, set really tripping on, on Twitter, y'all. Y'all <laughs> set to mm -hmm. Then we have Mofo Trex once again. Five dollars yeah. super chat. Lord Attic, do you agree with the Crunchyroll anime of the year winner in Juju Kaisen? If not, which anime do you think should have won the award? Let's go. What are we doing? I want to say Attack on Titan because I feel like I feel like Jujutsu Kaisen probably had like an overall better arcing like action everything in, in place. But mm -hmm. I do think, in me personally, Attack on Titan would be like one of the greatest animes to go down in history. Mm. So Is he talking? Uh, the did they Giants give the award, award for like the overall or just this year? Just mm. probably this year. I will but go Jujutsu Jujutsu Kaisen, I'm gonna be, though. I'm a real mm. Jujutsu Kaisen. Like it had a it had one of the best seasons I've ever seen in anime. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Got, got it from the source officially. Okay. No doubt. Uh, let me see. Then we got sagging nutsack. Oh, man. Five pounds super chat. <clears throat> what did I miss? I heard Microsoft is going to a party. <laughs> <laughs> Been out of the loop a little bit. Been yeah, out of the loop a couple weeks ago, sir. <laughs> <laughs> then we got then we got Karen's raisin potato salad. <laughs> Two dollars. <laughs> Do not put raisins in potato salad. Thank Oof. you very much. Oof. Mm -mm. Apples are fine, but no. Um, I'm still in JNL all day. See y'all oh, at PAX. Salute. Somebody JNL. Know. That's JNL. J. So I'm still in JNL. I mean JNL, the the, 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 the spot. game store. Yeah, that's JNL okay. spot. That's how, that person's official. That's New York official. That's what's up, JNL. That's that's our people. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Nope. Then we got for the legend two dollars super chat. Seen Doom Part Two last night. Outstanding nine point five. Yes, I have. To I was that. supposed to see it yesterday. I wind up going to Rock and Ramen, and they had to wait for like twenty five minutes to get it. It was mm. the worst experience because oh. the time that I went and where they splat a seating. Yeah. But uh, next time I will reserve my seat, and I don't like. I man, I've, mm, I I mm, had a bad experience. I'm gonna, uh, okay. I'm other gonna try times to I've great experience. I'm gonna try to watch that with uh, Grace this weekend. Mm -hmm. So yeah. wait before you do the R and R, and I'll do it with you. We can do it together. That's what, yeah. that's what I meant. Wait. Yeah, yeah I'll probably I, see it before I will. I would. Just I didn't. Say, wait. I will always wait with you. I that's didn't do. Awesome. I didn't do an R and R night with that because I don't know how many. Because I, I really know Marlonius has the ones. No parts of Dune. I don't know how you feel about it, Cog. And I don't know. No, how I want to see it. I've never seen it. You haven't seen the first one either. Mm -hmm. Okay, seen so you got to see the part one. Okay. one yeah, instance. you gotta have to see. Yeah, I'll see it. I'll go check it out. Yeah. All right, then we got. I, what's it on? Is it on Max? I think it's on Max, so you can watch it on uh, on Max. I think right. it's on Netflix. No, part one. Oh, it's on Netflix. Yeah. Oh, go. It's a go. Okay. Right. No, no, it is Max. It is Max. Max. All right, no doubt. Yeah. And we got Hollywood Rules, mm -hmm. uh, five dollars super chat. Happy Sunday to my NYC and West Virginia cousins. Please yeah. tell me you guys are gonna peep Doom Part Two. Yes, we yeah, are. Just told you. Recently dived into Mass Effect Legendary, finishing Mass Effect Ooh. Three. So damn good. Whoa, mm -hmm. that Mass trilogy. Effect Three was the best Mass Effect. Young boy talk, but we gonna let it continue. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, look, like you, Mass Effect Three is only as as amazing as it is because of the actions and decisions you made from the other that. two. I like that. Like answer, without man. the first like two, you can't have as well. Because mm -hmm. the, the reason they I liked it is because it was like purely the conclusions of everything of that happened action. in the no first facts. two. Of course, the three three is a, is a great game. I'm I'm just yeah I'm hating. <laughs> That's all. I'm just, just hating. That's I'm all. just hating. That's all. Mm -hmm. Then we got Christopher Hart five dollars wow. super chat. I haven't seen that name in a while. Thank you to all the Xbox beta testers for testing Hi-Fi Rush, Ground <laughs> and Thieves, and Pentiment. I'll be playing Hi-Fi Rush on PS Portal. Okay, okay so what about um, you playing any of that other stuff you was port begging for? <laughs> you, you, because you name you name four games, but you said you're gonna buy one. So why don't you cap for the let, one that you're gonna buy? Let's that's not out four. yet. Yeah, yeah, and and let me see the receipts and gameplay. 
That's Ooh. all I want to see. Because a lot of y'all do like talking? to talk. But thank you for your patronage. <laughs> you need to see the receipts. Yeah. Thank you on the you need, see, of you need to see the trophies. You need to see the purchase. No, no, they, no, I just, I just so they just cap it for, for headlines. That's, that's, that's what they do. That's doing. all he does. That's all he does. That's all he ever does. And 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 please, 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 nobody, no mm-hmm. guy photoshops his pictures and take pictures with cats. Oh man, don't do that. Come on, we moving on. We doing it. We we're moving on. Shout out to Chris Hart. <laughs> Shout out to Christopher. We're not doing that. Let's move on. What you said? There we have. <laughs> Let's move on. You be a messy. You be a messy. Continue. There we go. Kenneth Williams, member for Three Buds, Lord Bronze. Look, Ooh. Sony PlayStation is crumbling down. Nothing can save it. Wait. They did this to themselves. Nothing but mistakes. Okay. Yeah. We're going to talk about it. We'll talk about it. Then we got Hector the Macho Man, member for one month, Lord Silver. Mm-hmm. All hail the powerful lords, General King uh, Hito- Hiroki, I guess, her tiki, her tiki is walking <laughs> around PlayStation with a black Kangol and a old blue suit saying, cancel all this shite. <laughs> Yo. He got black, black Air Force energy. That's <laughs> true, you do got that Air Force <laughs> energy. You got black you Air Force energy for sure. You do. Wow. Yeah. What else we got? And we got Sunjutsu Sage, $5 super chat. Mm-hmm. Part of being a friend and protecting your own is telling them the truth when they've gone too far. Not over yep. console wars, but weaponization of trust. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's yeah. like, if you know, if that's your man and you know your man and y'all just disagree, y'all ain't got to get personal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's just like, yo, I don't agree with him on that. <laughs> exactly. Some of that's you guys exactly. are yeah. literally making... Twitter into gang affiliation. Yeah, like it's gang gang. Set yeah, tripping. this is this is the thing. Have I don't understand. I don't <laughs> understand, and you guys know this more than anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't understand the need to for everything that comes to your mind come out of your mouth on Twitter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> call your peoples. I, call I, your people behind I hear, scenes. I hear and, a lot and rectify things. Yeah. I hear a lot of people say statements like, you know, what I like about the podcast is you know, we don't we have differences of opinion, but yep. when I see the chat and when I see uh, you know the comment section, it feels like you just want differences of opinion. A lot of you, I'm not talking to everybody, mm-hmm. but a lot of you want differences of opinion when it's aligned with your opinion. Mm-hmm. You don't opinion. want to hear the other side. Mm. And, and, and it's one thing to to be annoyed. It's another thing to start downplaying and attacking people for their That's opinion. Fact. That's a fact. Yeah. yeah. And I put in the chat Q and A's for. Uh, for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh, yeah, because uh, we'll switch order. We got something to. special. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No doubt. And we got Super Player X with the five euro super chat. Tired of the Xbox hardware slander lately. Quick resume Dolby Vision co pilot mode for the kids. TV remote controls, uh, remote controls the dashboard, and FPS boost auto HDR. The con on the console side, there is no issues apart from the fact that it's just not selling the way you think a console mm-hmm. that, that is this advanced should be. That's it. But in terms of what it is, it's a fantastic console. Like, yeah, amazing. B&P. Echelon 7, $5 Super Chat. Peace to the young lords. I yeah. wish the young part was true, but thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, that applies to one lord here. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm young as hell, bro. Don't <laughs> me, bro. Yeah. See, see y'all, y'all be getting y'all this get all mixed up right now, mate. Yeah, I shave this off. I look younger than you. Cut it out. Because I see a lot of you dudes out there talking it about you 20-something years old. And y'all look like y'all doing things. Yo, <laughs> yo. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, be man. nice. Fix your grill, bro. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Messy. <laughs> Continue, so. Damn, let me see the, the, the Hollywood rules five dollars super chat it's a good thing Microsoft's business model wasn't the one that wasn't sustainable it's about to be a whole new world in Ponyville balling <laughs> off balling <laughs> off of a budget <laughs> Wow. Say, say they fun time stop at 12 midnight go home Cinderella <laughs> go home <laughs> <laughs> there we have Salute. THX 1138 two dollar super chat. I just watched Dune in 3D on the awesome. Apple Vision Pro. Amazing! Ooh, okay. Yeah, that, that's gotta be that's gotta be awesome. So you spend three thousand five hundred dollars <laughs> to watch Doom? Like watch it, fam. I like that dude. That's a dude that's balling on the Microsoft side I mean, of things the, in his I life. I mean, listen, man. They, the man's name is THX. Like he, that's he, right. he, he already know. That he already know he about that life. About that life. <laughs> he about that life. Hey, man, I like that dude. <laughs> 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 we need, we need to hear. We need yeah. to hear more yeah. from you, yes. man. Yes. Yes. Oh man, let's move on. 
Y'all yeah, get time, time. Yeah, we got started that. Super, <laughs> we got super player X five euro super chat. Truly wireless headset, no dongle, mm. uh, keyboard and mouse, Windows cross by. Uh, versus PlayStation, Nintendo, Xbox has mm-hmm. has features. Uh, VS, mm-hmm. uh, VS means let's not pretend they're all pretty much the same. Okay. No, that I mean, come on. Especially we don't make the Nintendo comparison. Nintendo is not the same. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Um, mm-hmm. let me see. Da, 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 da. Andre Doyle. I haven't seen this name in a while. Two dollars super chat. Y'all are wilding. I love this show. God bless. <laughs> Shout out to Andre Doyle. Salute, salute. Blessing, Andre. <laughs> Then we got Sinjutsu Sage once again. Five dollars mm-hmm. super chat. Why Cog remind me of Terry Crews when he <laughs> hit that little move after asking King if he'll call that user daddy? Someone wow. clip that. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> then we got Hollywood rules again. Two dollars super chat. Congrats to Hiroki Totoki for securing the stimmies. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Then we got hard to find. Member for thirty three months, Lord Bronze. Mm-hmm. Happy lordliest of days uh, of Lord's days because it's my birthday. Shout out to you. Happy birthday! Oh, uh, salute! Happy birthday! Salute! Birthday. Salute! salute. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers. All love. Salute! 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 All love. Alaikum salam, baby. Yeah, we know. Then we got J Mac ten dollars super chat. The more we Xbox players try to make sense of PlayStation. Uh, shenanigans, the more brain cells we lose. Their wow. opinions are based on butthurt and despair. Wow. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> try to play the uh, try, try, hashtag try to play the game pass. <laughs> very, very objective here. Very objective, J-Bag. Appreciate it. Yes, yes. And we got Gaming Forte, $10 Super Chat. The homie king won't acknowledge my boo-boos anymore. So I anote Lord Cog with the sword. Whoa, with whoa. sword in hand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He anointed me with new, no sword. As a new no. recipient of hey, I'm not receiving boo-boo. your sword. No. <laughs> we still friends, king, but can't take your mustard heart anymore. <laughs> no. No and no. I am not the recipient of your sword. I'm not being anointed by your sword. sword Who is this? This is fortunate. We have I got his sword in his hand. He tried to anoint me with anything. Yeah. yeah At this good. point, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, that was fortunate. Who is that? What's up, Cog? Nah, nah. Who is that? That's fortunate out of pocket. Hey, Cog. Cog, Cog, Cog. Go ahead, Poppy. Oh, <laughs> man. Hey, no. Hey. <laughs> Beefy gang ain't approving this. Hey, Cog, you gonna call that man daddy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm getting corporate yeah, Cog out here. Beefy bro. Cog is away. What's we up? call it What's HR. Up, we going pops? straight to HR oh, on this. Or oh, 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 is he pops? <laughs> <laughs> corporate Cog, we put that man HR. in HR right now, man. That's a violation. Yeah. Ooh, we yeah. Gotta re- go retrieve HR. his thing. He cannot, he cannot access the chat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Salute, y'all messy. Ah. <laughs> ah, the North remembers. The, the North, North remembers. remembers. <laughs> <laughs> here, we got, here we got King is overrated. Five dollars in the chat. With Sony now realizing the sales they can have on PC is needed, are we going to see more third parties bring console only games to PC like FF7, Rebirth, etc.? Mm. That's a, that's a hundred. I mean, I mean, remake is there, so Rebirth will be there at mm. some point. That's a fact. <laughs> You know, the uh, super chats are stupid. <laughs> yeah, they are so have, stupid today. We have Halo FTW, $2 mm-hmm. in the chat. We need to replace Attic No Mustard Hearts. Nah, here. let me yeah, shut this down right this quick, man. Well, you in your feelings because Attic got different opinions than you. Yeah. You yeah. in your feelings. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to do better than this. Just because <laughs> someone disagree with you, stop it. It's all These good. People like, don't exist to me. Yeah, life goes <laughs> on, man. Come on, man. That's it's right. Life. That's right. Than move, that. on. Move, move on, move on, Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> Chill, Cam. They like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then we have Jonas the Dad, two dollars super chat. PlayStation equals local community college. Xbox equals nineties. <laughs> wow, this man said local community college. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> this is Michael Jordan era Bulls. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Then we have Donna Taco, ten dollars super chat. I'm ride or die for Nintendo. Best believe I keep that switch on me wherever I go. And like our first party lineup, we don't miss. Gang, Better gang. Better catch y'all on the streets wearing green or blue. Yo, what's going on? Oh, he outside he, with it. He, he outside doing, with it. He doing drive-by switch. <laughs> He's spinning the block. 
<laughs> he said, I'm not from 63rd. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's too, that's too much, man. That's Yo. very aggressive. Be careful Yo. out there. I want you to get locked up, brother. I don't want you to get locked up. Be careful. It's too much. He <laughs> said, I'm King David. I'm moving with my yeah. switch. <laughs> I got that switch on me. <laughs> switch game. Blah. Blah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's way too good. Nah, we got to bring the crime rate. We got to bring the crime rate down. I'm going to rep Mario and Luigi, and you talk about violence. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You know, I mean, it's kind of mob affiliated. Italian, yeah. Italian, yeah. Little, little goomba yeah. plumber yeah. plumb plumb yeah. situation. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of Smash Brothers energy. Whoa, yeah, gonna, whoa. Yeah, yeah, you're out here smashing brothers. We, nah, man. Wow. Yeah. Shit, shit. Tom. <laughs> Just put that, that game in a whole new context for me right now. You want to wow. sma smash, bro? Yeah, right. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Hey, who's down to smash? <laughs> Nah, we, we, we to get hit. This, what, we, this we, is why we can't have we can't have nice things. We can't, we can't have, nice have nice things. things. You don't want to smash, bro. We, we about to get we about to hit with a cease and desist from Nintendo. <laughs> I don't know why nobody want to smash. Let's continue. <laughs> they go, they go son Reggie to shut us down. Reggie, can you talk to those guys? Yeah, right? we're, we're not coming back. Reggie's not inviting me back to the New York Game Awards. Uh, I can't invite. I can't present for New York for, for Reggie no more. Son Reggie, I thought they was friends of yours. Yeah, he's like, look at this guy. Hey, what's up with these guys? This is the guy that brought it to the NY Game Awards. This the guy. Right, they're going to ask right to you be like, can you go handle them? It's like, dude, that, that big dude there had to do my private security. What makes sure the guy can handle this? So, so Reggie, isn't that your private security guy talking all this? With Reggie, I apologize. It was funny, though. It was funny. I don't. It was funny. Hey, Continue. You. Let's move on. Yeah, we got we got one punch Jedi five dollars oh, super chat. Okay. Ironically, in the PlayStation Four era, they money had they money had it third party games. Also, PlayStation in twenty twenty four, it is literally third a third party console. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we got Doctor Strange Love two dollars super chat. Cog and Forte about to be like Diddy and Meek Mill. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all out of pocket right now. Y'all out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. They call him Freak Mill right now. I was dying. That's crazy. Yo, yo, his new name is uh, Freaky Meek. He wow. said Freak Millie. I was like, wow, this is getting different. Yeah. Was, Freak Millie and Didn't the Meek. He, he said Freak Didn't Millie and the Meek Chasers. I was crazy. What crazy. They said? they said Freak Millie and the Meek Chasers. That was very beefy energy, but we're going to move on. Yeah. This podcast is crazy. Yeah, we went left. We left. Yeah, this is our old school throwback ILP. Yeah, yeah we got yeah. Saturdays. Yeah. <laughs> then we got Lord Metroid two dollars. Super chat. Cog is ready to receive the Master Sword and the sharp tip. <laughs> yo, uh, yo, just get him out of here. Seize him. <laughs> <laughs> then we got the homie Ariel Knight five dollars. Oh, super chat. Salute. Nintendo winning the war is just because they've laid off the least amount of people so far. <laughs> Devs having jobs is all that matters. That is correct. Yo, hold on, hold on. We gotta send some love to the homie to Ariel, Ariel Knight. Knight right now. Got the new joint. He got um ex the Never Yield that we day one debuted yield. here. Right. Yeah. He's got the new joint. It's fully voiced. Got the co-op mode. We're gonna put the link to the joint. Go wish link that joint right now. This is a real dev, y'all. Support, especially. Still, we, oh, we, we passed Black History Month, but still, we, every every month is Black History Month. Mm -hmm. And we're going to yeah. send some love to, to our brother. This is a real developer, y'all. He's got a game out there. The music is absolutely banging. Man. It just made an update to the game. Wishlisted it on mm -hmm. Steam. Wishlisted, get fire. that. Um, get yeah. that. If you have Epic Game Store, it is now free on Epic Oh, Game yes, Store. yes, yes, yes. So, free so on he, Epic Game. You know, you already got that bag. So they, yeah, they, he got that bag. <laughs> Salute to my man. No, no doubt. Shout, night, shout man. out to him to get, keep getting back. Yeah, no doubt. He said, y'all ain't got to do that. Nah, brother, we gotta do that. Yeah, we gotta support always, you. We gotta support always. you. Salute, second, always love. You, you came through before. Facts. Before. He came through mm -hmm. before. Nah, that's that's what's it. Up. Now, when you get when you blow up, don't forget us now. There we are. Rocket scientist, five dollars super chat. Gaming media, your owners are showing. Tuck oh. them in. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Addict got a different opinion, but that but that's what makes for good discussion. Thank you, intelligence. God forbid. God forbid someone have a different opinion than you <laughs> jesus they, it's i tell you these people mm. they want uh all they want is echo chambers they don't they want conversations around. i like that super chat though they're coming around like yeah that. Like that. Yeah, we uh king fortnight after hmm? mm -hmm. hey, oh, that's, oh that's no good. i got a um the grandma came in from dominican republic so mm -hmm. we got to take the well the great grandma came in so we got to okay. take the baby over there to mm -hmm. so no fortnight today now we're driving an hour away upstate. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. No doubt. Let's go. 
And let me see. Silent slide for five dollars. Super chat. I step away for one minute to come back there by Lord Cog taking some dude's anointed sword. <laughs> Bro, what are we doing here? <laughs> this is he said, what are we <laughs> doing here? <laughs> yeah, thank you for your patronage. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> then we got some Jitsu Sage again. Five dollars mm -hmm. super chat. I like that. I like seeing these PlayStation guys scratching and clawing for Xbox <laughs> games. Want daddy to take you shopping? Subscribe. Oh, yes. man. Uh, wow. Not the 50 cent Diddy Jake. That's crazy. Diddy got mad innuendo bars. That's crazy. Let's move on. <laughs> then we got King is overrated. Five dollars super chat. Mm -hmm. This is an appreciation super chat for added keeping it real. For real. So, yep. to my bro. Mm -hmm. Then we got Donald Taco, five dollars. We chat our games may be sub 30 FPS, but them shots firing at 120 FPS. <laughs> Mario Kart ain't the only time we hitting them with red shells. Pull up. <laughs> is, this, is this the Switch Gang again? This Switch yeah, Gang, bang, very, bang. Very aggressive. Hey, I don't know what's going on with these guys out here. Too, too, too much yeah, red. Have, red bandanas. Hit, <laughs> yo, they hit puberty last night. They, they wild. <laughs> They're like, yes. The boys outside on the corner now. They get they get to go outside. Yet the time. <laughs> it's real aggressive. Continue. Then we got Ja K9, ten dollars super chat. Mm -hmm. Sup Lords love the content. Barely ever catch you guys live oh, because salute. it's four a.m. Monday morning here wow. in the land down under. Shout oh, out. Salute Australia. Yeah. Salute. But I don't have work today, so I'm here with y'all. Much love. Thank oh, you. Appreciate, appreciate you. that. Yeah, appreciate you being up at 4 a.m. Good morning. That Salute. is insane. On That's your day sure. off. That's Blessings. Amazing. Amazing. Blessings. Let's go. That's it. We are caught up for now. No, nope. 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 no, no, we got we got Brat in the building. Uh -oh. Two dollar super chat. Salute, Lord. Salute, brother. Appreciate no doubt. Salute you. Salute to Yo, you, man. Brat, I gotta tell you a story. So yesterday mm. I was on Fortnite, right? So I saw somebody who said their name was like it says the Brat, right? Mm. So I thought it was Brat. I jumped in the room. I'm like, yeah, me and Brad gonna play some Fortnite because Brad is on Fortnite. Got mm. him now. We gonna have some fun. <laughs> I got him right? now. Because nah, you know we, we have fun. We got we you we know we have old tales with PUBG. Yeah, so fact. I jumped in there and then I'm like, yeah, yeah, Brad, Brad. Brad. And some little kid was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> I jumped out that room so fast. I was like, the room was hot. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. No, uh, no, we all caught up. <laughs> yes, sir. I all right, let's take yeah, care of some business right quick. Again, it is that time of the month. Where first, before we actually start this, um, you know, obviously this is describing the month. I want to just send some love. Um, March second, um, a couple years back, we lost our brother. You know, our Dizzy, and you know, the date came up, and I saw um his wife had put something up on uh, Twitter. I mean, actually, actually, it was on Facebook. I just wanted to bring some awareness to it because it started to come back and I was like, man, I can't believe it's been yeah. that long since he's been gone. So the reason why we do this award is obviously LogNet, LordsGaming.net. This was something that was founded together in conjunction with him and he's seen the vision. And I think he'd be proud. I think he'd be yeah. proud of what we're yeah. doing. And I do miss him. I miss Attic. I miss him trying to force us to play Ark. <laughs> yeah. I miss that. I miss <laughs> the instigating. You know what I'm saying? The, the MCU battles. He was always talking strong about <laughs> uh, Dr. Doom will wreck your thing, though. I think he would have been mad that Vin Diesel was in Ark. <laughs> yeah. I don't know <laughs> how he would feel about, about that. that. <laughs> yeah. But rest in peace, Dizzy, man. I can't believe it's been so long already. And it just your, your mind came to me. So this is a little special extra. So it's that time of the month. You know that that Lords of Gaming dot net. You know, we got a shout out to everybody in the realm. Very competitive month. You know, this this award, this month could have been won by at least three different people. But um, this one particular Lord went above and beyond, you know. And um, great, great, amazing Sonic Frontiers review opinion pieces on um, Xbox and the layoff situations on both sides. He's been very multifaceted with his coverage and he's growing up in the realm. We affectionately call him Lord Sonic. So congratulations again with a back-to-backer now. The Dizzy Scribe of the Month at Lognet, Robert Kelly, a Robert Kelly, aka Lord Sonic. What's up, brother? I'm you There you go. He's out. Let's Thanks. go. First of all, I'm so proud of you, Cog. You finally have your own joystick. Whoa! <laughs> See, this is why you can't win no more. All right, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta yeah. fix the vote. <laughs> no joystick. No, it's just only swords here. Oh there's no, I'm not accepting no swords, for, for, and no one's play. anointing me with swords. Swords at that. Oh, no. That means you gotta bend down. And oh ah, no. Ah, See, ah, to which you started, oh, Robert Kelly, this is why you can't be back within these scribe of the month. Dizzy would have liked you, though. I would have, Dizzy would have definitely liked you. But continue. Uh, speech, sir, speech. Thank you so much. 
Dark and being messy, but for the past like 20 minutes, I was just my face is back because I've been dying to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy super chats. Oh my god. Yeah, they um, were. They were. But first of all, thank you guys so much for letting me join you again. I oh, no. when I first when I got the first award, it was such a huge, so huge surprise. Like mm-hmm. I never expected this to ever happen, mm-hmm. and winning again is an even bigger surprise because. I don't really know if this is a common thing or not. So. No, no, it's, it's all, you're, you're getting in rare air. You're getting in that Gene or uh, era. You're getting that C unit, Chris Jones era. You, we see the talent, brother. Keep up the, the work. And again, you're just growing in the space. And we love to see you growing. And your passion for gaming shows. It's, just, it's completely, clearly obvious. And I see the shirt. The shirt is fire, man. I see you got that Sonic Drake. I got record. this at the Sonic Symphony while I was there. Oh, oh that's oh, awesome. That's what's up. I think you may be more Sonic than Everborn. Everborn, if you listen, I'm sorry. I think someone. Nah, 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 I think nah, he nah, can house. Everborn bought, yeah, bought, bought the shoes. Everborn bought the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> He had on real Sonic shoes. True. I'm All done. right. Fair enough. My bad, Everborn. I shouldn't have came yeah, yeah, for your yeah. gangster card on that. But <laughs> well, hold on you got it. Oh! Oh! Does, does he have this? Oh, see, I see. There we go. This seems official. I don't, this, I don't know if it's anybody know. more Sonic. I'm just saying. I don't know. Everborn, you gotta get you gotta come outside, man. We're gonna have a Sonic off. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, we're not doing that. A Sonic (laughs) off. Mm. Pause. 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 Continue. Continue. I heard. I heard a rumor. What you heard? uh, Mr. (laughs) Don Otaku. Mm-hmm. He one of his one of his he actually likes a Sonic game, Sonic oh, Adventure too. Oh, he down low with it. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> salute, salute. That's all right, man. It's all right, Don. It's cool. Okay. Uh, enough of me. I'm sorry. If, I think I'm, it's infectious. The messiness from all the super chats. I'm sorry. I'll call. Nah, you good. You good. You good. <laughs> <laughs> any other any other closing words you'd like to say before or you're, you're well, back for, to back with? For a couple of a few small things. First sure. of all, a special shout out to editor of the month, Ooh. Mood. He was he has looked over a majority of the articles that have been submitted so far and he gave fantastic feedback on the frontiers review yes and it wouldn't have come out without him so yes. thank you so much to him mm-hmm. and special shout out to just a psa for anyone interested in joining boards of gaming the the entire environment is incredibly positive oh. like all the editors all the writers everyone if you if you get feedback it isn't like abrasive or mean or anything. It is constructive. So mm-hmm. you're not beaten down and you're just encouraged to just keep at it and keep doing the best you can. No so there's a very positive work experience and I can't thank you guys enough for oh, not only letting me, you know, be, be a writer mm-hmm. and also be, be, be on the Iron Lords podcast <laughs> two times in a row. <laughs> No I, didn't, I never expected the, it to happen one time, but twice. Keep up the good work. The, the talent speaks for itself. I see my man Ham Solo in the chat. He said, congratulations, Robert Keller. You already know. Donald Taco said, don't be airing me out like that with his business. Whoa. As far as um, <laughs> his Sonic <laughs> love, even though he's a Nintendo guy. But, uh... <laughs> listen, man. Listen, man. If, 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 I, I'm Lord Sonic. If I see people be positive about the scene. People being negative about the series and be positive about it, I'm gonna call you out on. They call it out. That. There we go. Salute, Respectfully. brother. I, I appreciate you man. again. <laughs> Hopefully, like I said, we see you again, and uh, make sure you hit solve up to get your uh, rewards for, for the hard yes, work. Yes, sir. And uh, yeah, man. Hopefully, like I said, one of these uh, days when schedules allow, we get uh, either a PAX or E3 or Summer Games Fest. We get. I'm to do gonna this thing. be there. I'm mm-hmm. gonna definitely be there. For the sacred 300. Okay. Oh, you already know. We pulling up. We pulling up. Me and me and Astro are gonna have a lot of fun getting kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. So, so, so you're gonna love my messiness as I. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, I can't yes, wait. Sir. I can't wait for mm-hmm. to, you tell all the muscle hearts and like, <laughs> tell us them community. Um, this guy, this guy, this guy already. He gonna fit in against right. He's, he's amping it early. Boy, yeah, he's <laughs> amping it early. Anyway, I'm excited, brother, <laughs> brother. Thank you for pulling up again. Congratulations. Enjoy your Sunday. Scribe of the month, RK Lord Sonic Robert Kelly in the building. Thank you so much, brother. Appreciate you. Thank you guys so much. You already know. Have a good one, bro. You too, Let's man. go. No doubt. And we got one more that we got to celebrate. You know, again, the editorial in, in, in lieu of my brother. You know what I'm saying? Lord Dizzy. You know, again, just to honor, you know, the nurturers, like Robert Keller said, and the unsung heroes that do the editing, that do the editorials, that do the teaching, the organizing of the site. And, um, yeah, this one is... Uh, 
Why Sage, another returning winner. You know, he's got a great um article out on Suicide Squad. He got a Tekken review. He's got a Banishers review. So go oh, check him out. So cool. yeah, proudly present the winner of the Lord Dizzy Editor of the Month to no other than our brother, Lord Mock Mood, a.k.a. Lord Wayhick. He could not be here, so he left a brief message for us. Thanks the realm. Mahmoud Ghaffar here, editor-in-chief of lordsofgaming.net. I just wanted to thank all the writers, the editors, everyone involved in Lognet. You guys are fantastic. You guys will push us every day to, to grow and grow. We're an independent outlets, and we're always trying to grow. Uh, we have a lot of ambitions, and uh, was part of our ambitions is also the uh, Lords of Gaming YouTube channel, so be sure to go to subscribe for that. And if you're interested in joining our team, by all means, send an application. We'll get you set up. Always support independent outlets because we are the future. We are your voice. It is our, it is your platform, and we are always here for all of you guys. And again, I'd like to also like to thank uh, Sovereign, Addict, uh, King, and Cog for all their help and trust and support. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Take care. No doubt, the legendary Mark Moog, a far respect, man. Again, independent outlets support that. We out there, funded by the community, by the community, for the streets, by the streets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> support us. We outside. And look, man, I'm super proud of Mark Moog. Like, he is literally the foundation and rock to this. So go support. Go check out the articles. Go see what's going on at lordsofgaming.net. And if you interested, go holler. Check the contact us section. You know what I'm saying? And we're trying to put brothers on, having them do their thing. So I'm just going to put the link one more time. It's a plug. It should be in the description. And, uh, yeah, another month for Lognet. So if we got any other Super Chat, do me a favor, y'all. Put the Lognet arm um, joint in the crest, man. Put the crest in the chat. We got Lognet emoji. Show some love to these people out here, independent, doing their thing. There's the Lognet emoji. Come on, y'all. Let me see some Lognet. Yes, yes, yes. Let's put that up in there. I see I see the IOP. I see the crest. We also put some Lognet in there. Show, show them love. They out here doing their thing. I see you, Bonte. Anyway, what else we got for Super Chats? Gary Forte, $5 Super Chat. This sword is a thing of legend. I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate the lords and dealing with all my shenanigans. This guy. The sword this. of legend. That's yes, great. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> appreciate you, Diogo Pedral. That's, yeah, that's the log net, the horse. There we go. Put the log net joint yeah. up in there. There we go. They fund us. They d help us to get to where they we got to get. thought that was a PlayStation emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you stupid. Stop it. Stop that's it. That's why they wasn't using nah. it. <laughs> <laughs> that is the law, is the scribes. You know what I'm saying? Coming through the horsemen. That's what's up. No doubt. Continue. Then we got Black Ronin three five seven ten dollars super chat. Different opinions on one thing, salute addict, but hypocrisy or opinions that infringe on another's rights are wrong and shouldn't be saluted. The Lord's Day is fully in effect in Philly. Thank you. Mm, Appreciate that. Well, well, salute, I don't salute. think no one's referring about those people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Facts. Then we got Stage once again, five dollars super chat. We walking around the table right now with the Rottweiler like Nino Brown and New Jack City, <laughs> looking for who got a different opinion. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's your problem right there, brother. That's your problem. <laughs> Taking it too far. <laughs> Yo, who was it? Was it? I'll be sure they got it. Yeah. <laughs> Got, I never liked your hot yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Gotta relax. He said, shit, you fuck on the ass. I'm in change. Let me get Let me Let me get just uh, go to Taco $2. Super chat. Ain't no way we talk about Sonic freak offs. <laughs> Yo! Hey, yo. Very pause moment. That very worthy moment. Wow. It had extra hey, connotation bro. to it, too. That's it's crazy. Sonic freak <laughs> Don't that tell was... me Sonic is hanging out with Diddy, too. Oh, oh man. man. This man get around. I thought he was faster than that. But let's go move on. Then we got. He caught Sonic. He caught Sonic. <laughs> Diddy's a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> he said the Sonic freak he off. Said zesty man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, moving on. Uh, Jesus. We got Bounty <laughs> member for 31 one. <laughs> Lord Bronze. Enough respect to I Dizzy 81. Put the crest oh, in the chat. Yeah. He was one of the family. 21 guys. Do me a favor, y'all. Put the Dizzies in the chat. Rest in peace, my brother. He's been going. He's going on March 2nd. Put the Dizzy wow. IOP, our logo in the chat. Right there. There we go. Put that up in there. Show some love for him. For sure. There we go. Continue. 
And then we have Robert Kelly, two dollars of jet. If you listen to the Knuckles raps, sound like a sonic recall to me. <laughs> salute, salute. That's oh, I see the Dizzy logo. Up. Salute, much love, y'all. Appreciate y'all. No we all doubt. Caught, we all caught uh, up. Uh, yeah, real quick. Uh, you mentioned Diogo Pedral, but shout out to Diogo Pedral once again. If you guys remember, he, you know, yes. we, you know, he hooked up Cog before with, yeah. with a uh, Tekken special edition. Oh. He tried to do the same for Addict. Uh, the scalpers was out in the streets, and it, it was it, it did not happen. But we still, mm -hmm. Addict was able to, you know get what, what he what he sent us and, and and use put to a good purpose so shout out to diogo pedra always Absolutely. looking out yeah. you know seeing that the guys guys are going through moments or whatever and just wants to bring a little a little light and sunshine to to their day mm -hmm. so appreciate that every time he does it and he he, he apologizes to me because he comes to obviously he comes to the iron bank for all this <laughs> that's a little he supports so much but man. he's yeah it, it, that's amazing what he's doing i appreciate that yeah he, he, he's always in my uh my streams heavy too I, I really up, appreciate that That's those love. streams are just a lot easier to do if there's someone in the chat to talk to mm -hmm. no doubt so quickly brothers we going to actually i gotta pay no patreon questions but we do got a poll last week's poll was also in the people has spoken to the question if xbox do strategy of launching former exclusive games to playstation and switch proves successful which of these approaches regarding sequels do you want them to adapt the winner of the four-way ilp poll with 37 percent of the vote was only day and date for live service and multiplayer games. They just want the day and date only. Coming in close, 31% at second place was keep sequels exclusive to Xbox for at least a year. In third place, 21% of the vote. It's all close. As long as Game Pass and Xbox hardware exists, I still win. And in last place at 10% is maximize profit and launch sequels day and date multiplayer. Solve uh, your thoughts. They just so, want live service. What's up? No, that's dumb. <laughs> I knew you wasn't gonna like this one. That's the, the, the realm has spoken out. The moment, you. the moment you put it out there, it's, it becomes a legacy game. Hello, like, like, the moment you put it on that platform is legacy now. That the legacy definition changes again. Uh -huh. So now it makes no damn sense not to put it out there day and day. Just, mm. just put it out there day and day. As long as you get it in game, as long as you're right, as mm -hmm. long as you have Xbox hardware mm -hmm. and you get it in Game Pass and te technically get it for quote unquote free, uh -huh. you good. They're gonna be paying whatever they're gonna be paying seventy, fifty, whatever they're gonna. Be they're gonna be paying that Somebody elsewhere said, just the fighting games and the multiplayer games yeah, so once that. again <laughs> I'll see you back in a couple of years. <laughs> oh, we're going right to revisit this. Here, right okay, this is, this is Messiah talk. It's like, all right, y'all saying this now, but we're going to see what's going to happen. And, okay, and, okay. And it and, and may not even be a couple. I'll see you back Ooh! in a couple of months, baby. <laughs> oh, this Messiah talk. He said a couple, we're going to get the fall drop. Okay, it, we got the spring drop and then the fall it, it, drop. Okay. It could be. It could be a, a, the album dropping in, in, oh, in man. December. Oh, man. Not like this, so not like this. <laughs> anyway, so we are going to move on. We're going to switch up the order real quick because we got a, a little special guest. Uh, Lord Genki, are you in the building? I see your, your uh, Zoom is muted. Just want to make sure I can hear you, brother. Oh, hey there. Can you ah, hear the legend. Hey, Genki, yes. Loud So We're going to switch up the order a little bit because, again, we got to respect Lord Genki's time. And uh, we want to bring him in because this was a, a moment. Obviously, we know in Japan, this, get, this man has been tweeting. <laughs> this man has been putting up all the pop-up events, all nice special things that are being done. I, I, oh, shout out to you with that Sephiroth. The train where they had this, the, 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 you took a oh, picture. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, that was so cool. So it, it is here. We we are Final Fantasy VII, the rebirth. You know, obviously, we're going to try to keep this impressions and spoiler free, but now that it's out, you know, what are your thoughts, Lord Gig? How are we feeling? This is your, one of your favorite games is finally released. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks for having me on just for uh, to talk about rebirth for a bit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But, yeah. Um, yeah, Lord Addict gave me a shout out and uh, yeah, I just jumped on quickly. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the game is like super amazing. I've been <coughs> playing it uh, for a bit now. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's just improved on everything uh, upon Rebirth. I mean, remake, mm -hmm. like all the aspects, the combat, the mini games, the open world, the exploration, like everything's like the cinematics as well. And mm -hmm. like the character, humor and acting, everything's just gone a level up. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's like a super amazing game. And I'm really enjoying it at the moment. And nice. yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's super good. Nice, nice. So yeah, I'm hearing like crazy things about the mini games. If you had to say, without again, we're not spoiling too much, but what would you say is like your favorite? There's a lot of people like Queen's Blood. Some people like other, you know, other ones. What's 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 one of the ones that's keeping you from a mini game perspective? 
Oh, mini game. Yeah, I have to shout out Queen's Blood. Yeah, that's <laughs> definitely the best one. Uh, like it's like super deep and mm. addictive as well mm -hmm. uh, like the card game strategy element to it as well so it's like a really deep card game nice. uh, but there's so many other mi mini games as well like there's a fort condor that fort was condor. in the yeah. Yuffie dlc mm -hmm. yeah that one's really good that's come back as well and there's like chocobo racing um, the, mm. there's, a, there's a lot of stuff you can do so nice yeah. Yeah, man, that that was that was fantastic. Also, I want to talk about like the the newer things they added from a combat standpoint. You know, how are you feeling about like the um the synergy stuff? Like, you know, they've added that. Like, how, how, do you feel like it's adding to the to the to the combat even in a better way? Like, how are you liking that aspect? Oh yeah, the combat is like super super deep and amazing. I like. Uh, I already thought like the remake combat was really good, mm -hmm. but now we're having like everything's been enhanced for mm -hmm. a rebirth and. The synergy attacks is the main area where the combat has been enhanced mm -hmm. and it's using like these character team ups and kind of character strategies mm -hmm. and also plays into like the character relationships as well uh, like as you develop you can like unlock the different abilities and new moves mm -hmm. as well and yeah they're really cool and like when you pull them off they look super stylish yeah, and sort of yeah they even got some funny animations as well and yeah yeah it's <laughs> it's super cool <laughs> No doubt. So how many hours would you say you, you have in it about so far? Because I know you, as soon as that thing released, I, I figured you were going hard. <laughs> Extra. <laughs> how, how many hours would you say? How far would you say you, you're in about? Uh, I'm about uh, 15 hours in at the okay. moment. Cool. Yeah, so okay. yeah, I'm playing as much as I can. Uh, I've been playing on the portal as well. The, it plays oh, really well on the portal because really? like, it's like cause it's like a mix of action and turn-based. So mm -hmm. it's not like, like a twitchy game. So it works well on the portal. As well, nice. nice. So you do, yeah, you do it. Because one thing I, I would agree with you, like turn-based games tend to really fit well, you know, say in that space. So Portals is doing well. That's dope, man. Attic, I'm going to let you jump in. It's also one of your babies. You've been streaming. You know, how you feel? Do you agree with Lord Genki? Do you feel, uh, you know, his assessment? What's your, what's your strong points about the game? How you feeling about it? So let me answer the these questions real quick that the Realms asked. Oh, the Realm got questions. So, all right, let's go. Let's go. So it said, any data transfer like Mass Effect? Uh, no. Pretty much like what i don't agree with that they did is like they're acting like remake in terms of you playing it it's just like there's what you don't get nothing from that essentially like you get basic material i'm kind of curious how they're going to handle that going into the next one mm -hmm. are they going to do that again because i didn't really like it this one i mean in, in the grand scheme of things it doesn't bother me a whole lot but mm -hmm. no there's no like transferring of anything Okay. Uh, Elden Ring, so 23 million Final Fantasy won't come close if they stick to the PS5. Okay, that's just some uh, console stuff. Yeah, you're right. Uh, you can't sell that that much unless you're on everything. Uh, will they add a mode after you can play Sephiroth or Zack? Uh, well, S S Sephiroth is a playable character at the very beginning, mm -hmm. so they already have the work done. So, like, to me, after you beat the game, you should be able to just put them in your party. I think that would be fun just to go around the game playing Sephiroth. Uh, playing in performance mode or quality? I heard if you have an yeah. LG OLED and kick up the sharpness, it helps with the blur. Um, so what are we playing? Genji, what what are you playing in, Genji? Uh, I'm playing in the um, performance. Oh, you're doing performance? Yeah, same okay. too. Okay, because okay. mm -hmm. okay, I believe, and so I don't know if you saw this, there's, uh, I think on the digital fans, everybody said that mm -hmm. like, they feel like the stability, the, that the quality mode is the better mode? Is that, is, I don't yeah, know so if anyone, far. okay. Yeah, yeah they've said that apparently, like for whatever reason, it's uh, when you play it um, in performance mode, it's uh, the like it's blurry. So and mm. they they had they were talking about some weird stuff where it's like if you play performance mode on a TV that is 1080p, so a 1080p monitor maybe, uh, like the ones that we have from like NZXT or something like that, like it yeah. looks great and runs great. Um, but if you're if you're downscaling on a 4K TV, there's mm. there's blur that kind of doesn't make it look good. Whereas you know running it in 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 30 FPS mode kind of get the best of both worlds and it's a solid 30 fps so again oh I so you mean it was made for tcl television oh man, right. here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they know their audience boy i can tell you that <laughs> oh here we go <laughs> see how weird, why does king wait to chime in with that <laughs> is, he has some problem going uh, on no, here was, he come I was, I was waiting for y'all to get your box <laughs> uh -huh. when, it, when it comes to like the performance the moment i played the very beginning and because they're at the very beginning you, uh it won't let you switch back and forth correct like you had to be in performance i could tell i mean you have to be in in, in uh, quality you could tell the difference right there just right there and i was like no nah, i'm good mm -hmm. i'm good and i never went back to it like look i get it 
it probably looks better mm-hmm. uh in in quality but you know and it's probably like in performance probably jumps too much mm-hmm. but if it plays above 30 i'm playing on the one that it plays above 30. Okay. <laughs> that's where you at with it no doubt. Yeah, that other know. stuff don't mean nothing to me uh someone said does final fantasy rebirth reward the player for exploring outside of the unnecessary material yes it does heavenly it does no doubt no doubt and does final fantasy it does fast travel have loading screens yes but they're so short you won't even notice so then they don't have loading screens not really yeah, it's, it's like got... close to black for like one or two seconds and then goes yeah back. it's it's got that's what it's, what it's I not said. really a loading it's so screen. short you won't notice oh, okay so it's just yeah. like it felt like a blip yeah yeah kind of oh, okay yeah like so small so um Attic again. So how far? How many hours you you got in the You fuck. You're ridiculous. <laughs> how many hours you got in the joint? He, he's he's making it uncomfortable. <laughs> it's, uh-huh. it's supposed to be our moment. <laughs> Messy. I got, I got 26. Wow. Okay. And I guess the, the question I have for both of you is: now that you guys play it again, we're not spoiling chassis. You like spoiling the wind, dog? We no spoilers. With the decision, Sephiroth of, dies. <laughs> <laughs> with the decision to make it open world, I know some people. I think it was a point of contention, but like, do you feel they pulled that off? So let's start with Lord Genki, like, as opposed to the last one, right? Which wasn't we didn't have that that segment of the game. Like, do you think this was a good decision so far? You were enjoying that aspect of the game. Yeah, I definitely feel it adds a lot of a new level of gameplay, mm-hmm. like so much more content to the game because like there's all these quests like you have this really large open area mm-hmm. and you can go to these quest marks and you unlock the towers kind of like um assassin's creed you know or the ubisoft games mm-hmm. and then you do these little missions but yeah. the missions are quite interesting um like the combat missions like because the combat of the game is so good then mm-hmm. like i don't really mind going and like defeating some enemies here and there nice. <laughs> yeah that's cool and then like um the other ones is like some of them are not so fun like mm, you have like to like find these like crystals and like and uh, like these summon uh, mm-hmm. things and then unlock them um, by just doing like these button prompts like mm. these button prompt mini games and they're not that interesting. <laughs> Who's pumping bottoms? What's happening here? <laughs> continue, 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 Genki, continue. Button prompts, yeah, but uh, and wow. um, like some of the open world elements, you have to do like this uncharted like climbing up the cliffs, like yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, that that part of the gameplay is not that interesting because uh, it kind of slows down the game. It's kind of gimmicky too. Like yeah, sometimes really I feel gimmicky. like when I'm trying to go up, it's like no, you got to go left and up. Like mm. yeah, yeah, Assassin's yeah. Creed felt more fluid when you did its like parkour situations. No doubt. Mm-hmm. Continue. Yeah, so that that kind of climbing is not that great in the open world, right. but the the like riding the chocobo is really fun. Yeah. Uh, like ride, riding around the environments and mm-hmm. like swimming and like picking up all the like there's lots of materials uh, yes. that you can use to craft stuff mm-hmm. in the environment. So picking that stuff up is fun as well. Um, yeah. So it's just like expands the uh, the the area. But if you're not a fan of open world games, it could suck. But you could mm-hmm. just skip it if you're not a fan. So oh, that's okay. Awesome. So it's not like yeah. wait, oh, you, you can could skip, skip your... it. You you could skip the whole thing. Really? I skipped the first two regions, didn't do one side mission. Really? Wait, okay, okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. <laughs> I did not know that. I thought it was a oh, military okay. thing. So, I literally you went, story, when you, you just, what, yeah. what, when you leave the mine mm-hmm. in in, Ju- in June, I literally went straight to June and didn't didn't stop by anywhere, didn't do anything, just went straight to June. So the and open then from June it takes you to optional. the other side. The, yeah, op- I- the open world part is optional. That's the side quest aspect of it. They they've given you a world that you. That as of right now, keep in mind I'm only 25 hours in. I just, <laughs> he said only. I, I, I just got to the uh, Goat Saucer. Uh, oh, you know, I'm about to okay, go yeah. there. Uh, so to me, as of right now, the open world aspect, which I would call it more hub world because they separate them. Yeah. Uh, but though that aspect does seem entirely optional because. It, mm. at the, in the second region, I didn't even know you had to get a chocobo to, to explore. Like, oh, I wow. literally went to the third region, skipped the second region. I didn't really do much in the first. And um, so I'm in the third region and I go back. I'm like, why can't I go anywhere? I had to, I had to capture a chocobo. So oh. it, it's like, you didn't even have to do none of that. And, and what's funny is in the third region, I went straight into the mountains, skipped all the third region pretty much too. So 
It's like you don't really have. Now, I will say I was struggling a little bit because mm. when, when you don't do all that extra stuff, like I was still rocking 25, 30 hours in, still rocking the base spells. Oh, wow. Because oh, okay. I haven't okay. had much combat to level up. Wow, so you're even able to grind and get the, the, the Kuriga and the, the that, level. That's so, why I was like, you know so what? So it's I'm... grind heavy. No, it's not grind heavy. You uh, can still do it. The thing is, is, as long as, right? yeah, as long as you know, you know, to uh, analyze the enemy, find what they're weak to, find how to pressure them, Right. you can easily do this stuff. Like, it's not really a big issue. One thing I don't like is they replaced, um, okay, I don't like some of the mini games. I feel like they're being a little bit too ridiculous. They're like, everything's got to be a mini game. Uh, so I think they could have like definitely went back on that. Uh, some of the characters are a little weird how mm -hmm. they how they've structured them. Like Era to me, and I, I don't know how you feel about uh, Genshi. You know, like I always felt like her base character was always revolved around healing. That's right. why her special, her limit break is a healing move. And then it's like a, an armor move. But like her best moves is just her mage, mm. so it, it's just like I felt like they kind of butchered her her like combat style a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong, she she's one of the most broken characters in the game, but I didn't visualize that's how she would play. If that makes sense, like mm. I always felt like she would be more of a support character. Like when you branch out her actual fighting style, mm -hmm. no I, doubt. I think the aerial combat's a little gimmicky sometimes. Like it, it, the game doesn't really explain to you like how to do aerial combat to that degree. You have to kind of learn to yourself. So that's why a lot of people are having issues yeah. in that second demo where you fight that giant water dragon that's holding above out of the air. Mm -hmm. So I think you know that's been an issue for for a lot of people. Um, you know, for, but for the most part, like the issues I have is just like little tiny issues. Like mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. really got too many uh, big issues. I, 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 I'm t almost 30 hours in. I haven't came across an all material. Well, they call it the magnetic in this one. And um, that's kind of weird. Like, mm. I, I feel like that's one of the most, you know, unique materials in the game. And you can't really get them in these games. Right. No doubt. Lucius uh, Augustus is mad. He's like, stop. You're telling too much. <laughs> Everyone's telling too much. <laughs> so we go, re we, we chilling. Uh, sorry, guys. It's... I don't know what's going on with Zoom with the freezing. I think it's the international connection thing. So that may be an issue. But um, because it's definitely not our, my connection on the computer. So I think Zoom is just bugging out right now for a little bit. So if you see the freezing, I think it's just because we got the international thing going on right now. But I'm sorry. Uh, Attic is going to follow up. And then I want to get Genki's fi final thoughts on that. Yeah. So, I mean, that that's pretty much it when it comes down to it. You know, mm -hmm. I do think that this is a a phenomenal game. I, and I think, you know, people that uh, like this type of style is definitely uh, what I will say. I'm not going to say about the story is uh, clearly the story isn't the same either. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm curious to see how they branch off on that and further in the mm -hmm. game. Yeah, no thing. I'm obviously I didn't get a chance to play too much, but I did. I did want to rant. <laughs> I did have one issue that I really, really bothered me, and I, I, I told you this beforehand, which was, um, you know, playing the demo with the carryover, and you know, as a person, I'm like, okay, I did the demo. That means I finish the Nabelheim joint. I go straight into chapter two once the full game comes out. Yeah. I get it. I'm like, all right, let's go, and the game literally starts the way the demo started from the beginning. So oh. I start panicking. I'm like, oh, no, it didn't, you know, carry my data over. So I go back to the demo. The demo then puts me back into the town with the, with the fire. So I'm like, oh, okay, it didn't complete for some reason. Let me complete that. And then this way it'll go. I go back. It still doesn't. It still starts me from the beginning in the main game. So now I'm like, well, maybe I didn't do the second part of the demo when you... Go <laughs> So, Ginky, I'm fighting that boss in the second demo where you got to save Yuffie, and this boss is not easy. So, I'm sitting there, yeah, I'm getting trapped. I'm like, stuff. oh my God, water, I'm getting turned <laughs> into water bubbles. One person getting grabbed up. <laughs> I'm sitting here grinding the demo, and mind you, King, I only had three hours to play. I got three, four oh, hours. Right. I got a nice window. I'm going to make some progress. So, so you I see why I don't play demos? <laughs> so, I did all that, right? I go back to the game. Still starts me from the beginning. I said, all right, I give up. I'm, I'm, Y'all clearly want me to do this all over. I said, Square, this is the worst demo catch-up mechanic I've ever seen. I get to the part where it makes me do the whole demo. 
Right. Get to the talking part. Get to the part where we going up the mountain. And then the game says, oh, by the way, you can skip it now. I'm like, why did you even wow. make me start this? Mm. Square, I got to complain at y'all. Yeah, that part was annoying. They should have at least just said, hey, you did it. On to chapter two. Right. <laughs> so that was just my little rant. Rant over. I was, I was in my feelings game because I only had three hours one night and I really wanted to make it dead from chapter two on. And I had to kind of do chapter one over and then play Mad at the Devil thinking it was something wrong with my clown scene. <laughs> so yeah, that, that was my experience. Sorry about that. But anyway. But you, okay. but you finished the demo, right? You finished yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, five times. that's weird. That's, it's that's still, the demo five times. It yeah. still makes you start the, the main game still makes you start the first part of the demo that you did already. And I was just like, yeah, they, what? They pretty much make you play mm -hmm. the part where like everyone's like going all crazy on Sephiroth in the town. Like the moment you go in the mountain is when it says, Yo, do you want to skip it? Uh I had the same issue, but I was streaming, so I was like, oh, if I have to play the beginning, I have to play the beginning. Mm -hmm. At least it would be entertaining for the stream wise. But I ain't gonna lie, the moment it said, you can skip all that stuff, so chat, you're gonna have to deal with it, I'm skipping it. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. So yeah, I man, before, before we wrap up, gang, I did want to get your your final thoughts. And, and just like, um, so far, I know I like, obviously got a bunch of hours in it, but so far, living up to expectations for you, are you satisfied, or you still want to see how they land the play and how they execute the whole thing when you eventually do beat it? Oh yeah, I'm super excited for the rest of the game. Yeah, I just want to say on the demo thing. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. They should like kind of like say when it's gonna when you can skip, um, because like yeah, you have to play like the whole tutorial, the whole <laughs> intro with the credits. Uh, you have to play like the tutorial section with Sephiroth mm -hmm. and go up to the mountain, and then you let you skip. <laughs> and also like you can also skip the the cutscenes, but. Um, it has like an extra cutscene at the end of the Sephiroth yes. bit from the demo. Yes. So like, if you played the demo, um, don't skip the Sephiroth yes. cutscene at the end because there's, mm -hmm. there's an extra cutscene. Good catch. Good catch. So for those people who played the demo, um, yeah, you can skip the the bit where you're traveling up the mountain, but don't skip the Sephiroth cutscene. Good event. Good good advice. So again, final thoughts. Does it so far live up to expectation? And you know, um, you know, do you think they could? With potential to, to land a plane as far as this second part of mm -hmm. this trilogy. Yeah, yeah. I think they're definitely, um, yeah, in my point of view, like in terms of what I like in the games, is mm -hmm. like hitting all the, the points, like it's doing all the checkpoints. So, like uh, in terms of the combat, in terms of the mini games, like mm -hmm. in terms of like the humor and like how interesting the characters are and like taking all the different elements from all the different Final Fantasy games and putting it all into one game mm -hmm. and just making it like a really fun experience. You, know, you got the costumes, you got like Ooh. the the combat, the the mm -hmm. leveling up system, the mm -hmm. the synergy yeah. attacks. This has got and the open world. Yeah, this has got so much content in it. I, like I can't believe how big the game is. Like yeah, like, I like, I don't know how they fit it into like one or into one game. You know, like even if it's on two discs, like the game's yeah. so massive and it has so much content and so many cutscenes and character dialogue mm -hmm. and like yeah, this game is like crazy. Nice, <laughs> like, yeah, it's living season. up to the expectation. Nice. Yeah, I, I think obviously I got to finish the game because, uh, you know, because of remake, I, I expect a, a curveball at any time in this game. Mm -hmm. So I got to see how they do that. I'm also curious, like I said earlier, how they're going to handle going about this in the third game mm -hmm. uh, because I have to play the end of the second to see if, like, you know, what exactly the energy is going to be like going into that. Mm -hmm. No doubt, no doubt. Final question for Genki before he gets out, because I respect his time. What's the energy in Japan right now? I see, I see the ads. <laughs> I see like, is it, is it, is it, are the people, is it a fever pitch out there? Or, or, or is it just subtle? Like some people are excited, the gamers are excited. What's the energy mm. in the street with Japan? Mm, good question. Um, yeah, I think it's more, probably more like the second one you said. Like, okay. it's a bit more subtle. I think, like, <laughs> it's just it's just the Final Fantasy series in generally, like, mm -hmm. in Japan. Yeah. It's kind of, uh, yeah, it kind of went, it's kind of going down. Stop compared laughing, to the past. Good. So, <laughs> so, is, so, it, so you, when you say Dragon Quest is still is bigger over there? Yeah, yeah, Dragon Quest is the, still the, 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 like, the, 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 the series. <laughs> So to, to uh, counter uh, King's it's, foolishness. It's not as hard as y'all thought she was. <laughs> I know, I, I know that's what this, this, I know what he's doing. I, I know what he's doing. 
They thought they had the bad chick. They walked to the club. Dudes was like, <laughs> they turned the lights on. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> She's average. <laughs> Stop it. You ain't say all that. But a quick. So, so, like child. You know what I mean? <laughs> the, so the question I have though, what, what is the game that when it does drop, it is a fever pitch in the Some Japanese Some Xbox game, I'm just joking. Stop it. He <laughs> <laughs> said, they be going crazy for that shit. <laughs> they do war. not be going crazy. <laughs> Stop it. <And> pandemonium. <laughs> <laughs> Genki, oh. what is the game that you see like really gone of that energy, even more like from, I guess, mainstream and non-gamers as well when they release? I'm curious, what's mm -hmm. that game? Yeah, it would have to be a uh, Monster Hunter. I think. Yeah, Monster I was thinking Hunter. Monster Hunter. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, when that. when Wilds come out, that uh, things are gonna go crazy. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's so wild to me how Monster Hunter. Think, yeah. Do you think Dragon Dogma Two is gonna get anything? Uh, I think it'll do okay. It's it's not that yeah, it's not that crazy. Not nothing too crazy. I think it'll do decent though. Mm -hmm. But okay. yeah, nothing too crazy. I think um, yeah, Japan is like open world games. There's not. They're not that popular. What I about guess. Pokemon? Yeah, po uh, yeah, Pokemon crazy. Yeah. Oh, Pokemon crazy. He said, he said Pokemon <laughs> go hard out here. So. <laughs> oh, I got a question. Is is Power World <laughs> even recognized out there? Is is anyone playing Power World out there? Uh, or Nintendo got that cease and desist. We ain't doing that over here. <laughs> yeah. Shut that yeah. down. Anybody put that yeah. on their storefront? It's on site. Nintendo trying to keep that one quiet. Shout out to Nintendo. Shout out to Nintendo. They ain't having none of that. They're like, nah, man. He's out on the Japanese internet. You put a well, power wall and give something else. I think the uh, the company that made it, they're Japanese too, aren't they? So there's yeah, no Japanese. There's, Kiki, there's power. no power world advertisements anyway. Do you see it anywhere? Um, no, I think Xbox are advertising in the stores with their like um, with the Game Pass. Really? Okay. But okay. outside that, you don't really see. You don't it see it, power. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> to be fair, like, I don't think I've seen them promote that game in general. Like, but like, I don't, I haven't seen much like promotion for that game. True. I mean, in fairness, it's a game preview as, a full, as opposed to a full release. I was just, I was just curious about awareness, right? And, and Genki made a good point. He's like, no, it's, it's not, it's not anywhere. Yeah. It was know. in the news a lot, but that was oh. just because it was like um, copying Pokemon. So so it was, so, like, it was oh, everywhere in the news. So in the news, can you give me? I'm, I'm curious. Is it is the news reported in a negative connotation? Like this is seems to be a rip off of Pokemon, or is it saying, "Hey, this is something that's just popular"? That like what what's the tone of the reporting? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, I guess at the originally it was more like. Um, yeah, this is like a rip off of Pokemon. <laughs> that, that was like the, the online <laughs> the on the tone. Twitter. Uh, like, everyone was just tweeting. I was like, "What is this like a uh, Pokemon rip off?" Uh -huh. So yeah, that's, that's what the, that that's what was trending. At that's the what trending. Yeah. Oh, but I guess there are there are players in Japan, but they're more on Steam. Um, okay. So, okay. Yeah. And the, the not, chat. It's not crazy. It's not crazy. Like, the mm -hmm. chat asked about Persona. About Persona. Oh yeah, Persona is popular in Japan. It's not like. It's like a super popular series, but it's not like crazy, crazy popular. I think mm -hmm. Final Fantasy is still more popular. No mm -hmm. doubt. All right, cool. We got to get you out before they meme you and put KNN in news <laughs> and say you on the crowd. Report, hey, report, report live report the streets on Japan. We, <laughs> he let us know that she not as hot as they thought they were. See, that, we got to get him out. They're going to clip him and they're going to put this false narrative and put KNN in news that you are report, Japanese reporter on the ground. And we got to yes, protect yes. you, brother. That's we got to protect you. That's my guy. That's my guy. Later, Genki. I, I, I appreciate the work, <laughs> Genki said that it's not hot. <laughs> news at 11. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that. See, Astro I'm, I'm parent, hoping, relax. I see you. <laughs> Good. I'm hoping it sells uh, better than 16, but I will mm. see. Like, it might be close mm. or like a little less, but we'll see. Wow, you don't think it might? Wow. <laughs> He's like, wow, you don't think it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's, I didn't realize 16 was was. So I thought they didn't like it. It's PS5 only, but we'll mm -hmm. see. I'll, it'll be interesting to see how it does compared to 16 in Japan. Because he know PS5 don't sell. So. You're ridiculous. <laughs> this is <laughs> you Genki, you the gift that keep on giving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right there. We would de definitely keep you posted as far as the you know the sales as far as in comparison to 16. That is very very interesting. Oh man, they better be 16. Cause remember what they said about 16. <laughs> Out of oh, yeah, but that's just in Japan. I think worldwide. Uh, I think Talk to them. Mm. Yeah, oh, worldwide. Oh, worldwide. Yeah, over here, we delusional. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to our delusion. Because <laughs> anyway. over there, where they make her, she's not that hot. You're ridiculous. <laughs> she's not that hot. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, look, Giggy, I appreciate you, bro. Again, oh, yeah. thanks, thanks for again you, for taking the yeah. time. We'll definitely Thank have you, you back in the room. You are absolutely you, hilarious, Giggy. super informative, but at the same time, really expect the time difference, brother. Really, like, you, yeah. you're, anybody that gets up that time to be with us, Super, uh, so I, super. I love, uh, send me a message, and I was up. So I was like, oh, okay. oh my man, my <laughs> man, Lord Geeky. For the shout out, and thanks no. guys for having me on. No doubt. Yeah, have a good you. one, brother. Thank you, man. Peace. Enjoy the rest of the yeah, show. Yeah, you definitely don't awesome. want to be around for the messiness after this. Yes, yes, we want to get you out safely. <laughs> He's about to get buck bananas. <laughs> <laughs> have a good one, brother. Peace. Okay, thanks. Take care. No doubt. So, have any super chats? Yeah, we got a couple. Hold on a second. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh -oh. Void lock $2 which had Diddy told Sonic, take that, take that. <laughs> <laughs> lock. <laughs> <laughs> then we got the, let's put the crest of the check for uh, Lord Braun, Chicago 211. Shout out to Chicago. All right. It's Blessings. You. Blessings. Then we got James Morrison, member for one month, Lord Bronze. Keep up the great work, fellas. Definitely the best gaming podcast. Uh, now for a quick game. Mm -hmm. Gear 6, Fable, Elder Scrolls 6, or Blade? Which one gets axed? Ooh. Um, Wait, what did he say? Gear like, 6? It, it, it's, it's like a, it's like a, what you, like a Patreon oh, Which question. one we got to get rid of? Which yeah, one we got to get, get rid, rid of? of? Yeah. Out of Gear 6, Elder Scrolls, Blade, and what? Uh, Elder Scrolls 6, Fable. Blade. Wow. Blade, yeah. Oh, nah, no. Gear 6 is gone for me. Oh, we, you got to Attic. We have, we have five of them already. Like, oh, good. Like, Attic, get him. Attic, yeah. he ain't a real Gears fan. Get him. I, 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 I feel you, but at the same time, we ain't had one Blade. So I'm exactly. Hey, I, I want that Blade. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with the th This, this, this is why we don't have nice things. This is why we don't have nice things. I can't things. miss something I ain't never had, but that, that one that I did have, I like that. So wait, which one, that you one, you mean you had five of them, not exactly. one. You five. <laughs> I went back to eat five times. So wait, wait, which good. is the one you get rid of, King? Blade. Damn, you don't want Blade, fam? Listen, he said to get rid of it. He gave me the list. He made that list. <laughs> <laughs> he made that list. I didn't make that list. So you Attic, should have never said, did that list. You know who's going to die, get, right? Who you get and, and we don't know when that dude's coming out. He talking about the next generation. The hell with that guy. Bye. Oh, man, y'all going to really make me try to pick gears? That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I'm getting rid of Blade, too. Blade is out of here, bro. Y'all bugging. Yeah, I just, oh, yeah, just, yeah, I just like being fed the same, well, the same thing the over thing. and over again. Elder Scrolls said, said the dude that just brought a remake. Up. Remaster, re <laughs> re re yeah, like Elder twenty Scrolls. years later. Yeah, right, surprise. Elder Scrolls, Scrolls <laughs> is one of my all-time favorite franchises, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I can't get rid of that. I actually really curious on like how they how they finished the the Gears franchise. Me too. Ooh. And guess what? I, it's I'll not gonna be as good as you think. Oh damn! That's how they I'll get, it. Slander. Get rid of, we ain't never getting coalition on now. Before I get rid of Fable, <laughs> so yeah, that's right. But I knew that. I, we that's know he wasn't gonna vote against There we go. Sov, I may have to make a judicial decision. No, oh, Jesus. Yeah, and, the worst. And, and, yeah, the worst. and agree with you. Let's move on. <laughs> so, oh, let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Be only because I, I played well, a bunch the of them. The wall is going to burn. So yeah, we're going to burn. We're going to burn. Because yeah. I don't want to get rid of a new fable that we just, we never seen. No, not, not at all. No. I don't want to get played. I'm, I'm in. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised King disrespected. No, me. I'm talking about, okay. Mm -hmm. I know we're going to get fable within this generation. I right. know we're going to get all these games within this generation. Mm -hmm. That blade thing is kind of different there, Papa. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what it do. <laughs> like, it, it, what does that have but, to do? But <laughs> I want my stuff now. So that guy, I don't know where he you're at not get, with You're not I'm getting not Gear 6 for two more years? You're not getting Gear 6. Well, okay, and then Blade is two more years after that guy. Probably, probably. Exactly. Yeah. Come on now. Now, nah, Blade, no, my, my plan is the new Xbox drop in 2026, 27, hopefully, and, and they got Blade, Elder Scrolls, all these Dope IP, yeah, fame, I mean, ready that's, to that's, roll. That's Gears can wait. Right? Gears can wait. We seen that's you. Yeah. Your plan. That's my plan. That's my, <laughs> my, I just, my I'm just plan. throwing it out. So yeah. My so, plan is listen. So, so, Unreal someone, Engine Five. Uh -huh. Someone, yeah. someone, so, someone, someone shake Cognito and wake him up out of his dream. <laughs> listen, yeah, I, I mean, it's not like I never seen Gears before. I can wait. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. No doubt. What I'm else rolling got? with Attic. Mm, I'm with Soft. Yeah. Well, we got some okay. chat. Okay, then we have, okay, so we did, the world blew up. That's it. Uh, <laughs> da, 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 that we have. World's overrated anyway. <laughs> this guy is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Kill them all. Hold on. Uh, okay, we got Donald Taku, $5 uh, super chat. Uncharted climbing sections 
Any dev making an open world game where you can't climb everything post Breath of the Wild should be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> kind of true. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> climb everything. <laughs> there we go. Oh. BT Maverick 707, $10 to the chat. Do you guys think Japanese gamers are more forgiving of graphical fidelity, Final Fantasy? Since they are used to they are used to looking at Vaseline covered Nintendo oh. Switch screens. I know it sounds bad, but really. I mean, Genki said it last Genki week. Said like, it the last graphic time. stuff yeah. isn't big to them. Like it, it doesn't really them. matter. All that hyper realism don't really do no move over there. Yeah, they don't really care. So mm -hmm. yeah. Then we have George Purcell, uh one uh, two two pounds super chat. I told you King was gonna be messy cock. <laughs> yeah, he he saved it too. He still, yeah, I saw what he did. Nah, yeah. let y'all do your thing. Talk about it. Y'all thought she was hot. Uh -huh. Gabe's over there. He's like, nah, nobody talk about her. <laughs> like, I didn't like the way he was laughing at that point. <laughs> he was like, I went inside the store. I picked it up. It was me and my man. It was nobody else in the line. He's like, it was what it was. <laughs> he said, oh, are they in the streets playing? He's like, no, 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 nobody's there. <laughs> He said, yo, he the worst all part about it, the worst part about it was like, I hope it sell better than Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> I don't like that. That part right there. I don't like that. That's the part right there. Y'all are on the lookout for selling better than something that they said was the worst. I'm in trouble now. I, I, I don't like it's your can and spit Xbox. on things. Xbox is coming to Xbox. Messy. <laughs> you out of pocket. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> there we have. Da, da, da. Let's put the crest in the chat for Craig Hooligan. Gift him one ILP membership. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Then we have JD Gamer making his appearance, oh, his appearance today. Let me guess. <laughs> Pathetic <laughs> port begging. Da, 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 da. Oh, that wow, let's you see. You changed up the vernacular a little bit. JD Gamer, $5 in the chat. Disingenuous anti Xbox, <laughs> FUD spreading fake industry expert. <laughs> Wrong 80% of the time. Mush, mush, mustard heart, maggot eating muppets. Oh. Make me sick. <laughs> bang, bang. I, I got to say, I, pre I appreciate the alliteration. I like yeah, that. You got new bars today. You got new bars. <laughs> Eating Muppets, I'm dead. Mag <laughs> Maggot, Maggot has two G's though. Let's fix that. Let's fix that. Right. <laughs> this guy out here corrected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Correction, yo, he that guy. She sends him a sexy text message. He's like, yeah, but that that has an S. Yeah, he's like, you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> I can, how can I find you sexy if you know how to spell? Oh, like, oh man. man. Uh, uh, stimulate good. my mind. <laughs> stimulate my mind, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> there we got God Emperor Sofa King two dollars super chat. Am I wilding or has FF sixteen not reached ten million? I'm not wilding. Just, I'm just looking it up. I don't see anything recent. Like it, they they talked about three million copies in its first week or something like that. <laughs> um, but then it was like a a, a huge drop off, right? So it's still again, at three million. <laughs> It'll be yeah. on Xbox. Soon. It said, "Yeah." In terms of this is what I have from Push Square, and that's old. This is mm -hmm. old. It just says, in terms of actual figures, all we know for sure is that Final Fantasy 16 shipped and sold three million copies in its first week or so. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, Square Enix has been pretty quiet, outside of some potentially misconstrued comments made during earnings calls. Mm -hmm. See you in June. <laughs> it's coming out soon. <laughs> and then, and then I guess there was some. Yeah, there was some sort of uh, commentary which said and the sales have been. Fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing more. <laughs> Nothing less. Fine. <laughs> so I Okay, Google. How much has Final Fantasy sixteen sold? <laughs> Here we go. Final Fantasy. Oh, he really do it. I'm sure he is. Mm -hmm. Continue, sir. <laughs> okay. There we market. got. Let me see. JD Gamer Final again. Two dollars for ten. Has sold over ten million copies. Ooh. Fifteen. No. Twenty twenty two. Nope. That's fifteen. Oh, 15. 15. Oh, God okay, damn. Yeah. King's heart dropped for a second. Yeah, he's like, oh, no, 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 I like that. It said 15. It said 15. No, you heard it. It said 15. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Google, you're uh, stupid. <laughs> Google, you're drunk. Yeah, we got JD Gamer again. Two dollars. which have, by the way, pathetic port begging ponies got no games. <laughs> there it is. He's back on brand now. <laughs> Send JD, them stimmies. JD Gamer <laughs> once again. Um, let me see. All that flip flopping hardware will be, will, will be, will end PlayStation. We'll see. Yeah. PlayStation <laughs> six. Then we have, <laughs> then we have Jason with the eight dollars super chat. I get rid of all four of those games for Gears Collection. Jesus mm, wow. Oh, he it. said the reason he said uh, he spelled maggots that way is because uh, the chat the chat blocked, blocked it. it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, really? I oh, appreciate. Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay. Salute. 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 No, he said, no, I know how to spell soft. No, no hooked on, <laughs> no hooked on phonics for you. I appreciate. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> soft. Soft is bad, bro. He's a mm -hmm. bad dude. 
<laughs> Craig Hooligan, member for 18 months, Lord Bronze. Tuning in late, missed the interview. Thanks for the k and recap. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, boy. I got you. It is funny to hear King put words in Geeky's mouth as far as his interpretation. <laughs> no, no, it would be no, funny, no, like, as a commercial in Japan. Because Geeky just smiles. <laughs> yeah, and, like, because Geeky's so soft, and then King acting he's like nice, the, nice the translator, guy. the representative yeah. of what it means. It's funny. I ain't going for it. It's a funny visual. Oh. Then we got rap legend Freddie Fox in the building. Nah. Two ah. super chat. Bumpy Knuckles. <laughs> oh, man. What's going on, Bump? <laughs> Can I get two on ten broke station pockets, man? Then <laughs> yeah, using my Friday joke, I said oh. PlayStation go to the gas pump and be like, let me get two, on, get two 10. on ten. <laughs> <laughs> These front line guys, here we go. Yeah, yeah, we outside. Very we aggressive. The block. <laughs> you get two dollars of gas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we got JD Gamer again, two dollars. Which has Squares lost so much money on PlayStation exclusives. Yeah, fair, they, fair. They, they, they're an abusive relationship. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's we he's gonna do better by me. <laughs> <laughs> no, he won't, boo boo. <laughs> no, he won't. You Ridiculous. need to leave that man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we got that girl, Doctor Strange <laughs> Love, two dollars super chat. Cog, I don't mind sharing my sword with you and Sock. <laughs> I might turn Yo. my camera off today, man. They, they, That's the realm, the realm is. is a little too hot today. Oh I don't know. Maybe God. the purple something came on. They, they, listen, I don't like the way they. Listen, they listen, they listen, a, lot of, a lot of freak sessions. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> it's too much <laughs> freak offs in the chat. Ah, <laughs> it's way ah. too many beefy freak offs. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you. Sonic freak offs. Yeah, too many freak offs, y'all. Y'all got to relax. This thing is, they're going to start calling y'all brother love. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I love you. <laughs> Remember that? Yo, what was crazy is when he said that, I was like, I didn't get it. Then I was like, yo, yeah. that was that dude. But you mm -hmm. know what's even crazier? What's up? It, where he lives, mm -hmm. the real brother love mm -hmm. lives two houses down. Well, used to live two houses down. Yeah, from, from Diddy. Oh, no. All right, we're going to move on. Kind of crazy. We gonna move on. Yeah, That's kind of crazy. crazy. Right. That's kind of crazy. We're going to move on. Then we got Astro Parrot King, member for eight months, Lord Bronze. Again, another Sunday with ILP and Gators baseball. It was a good day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, who my bang bang Gator gang, Gators <laughs> home run. Whoa, whoa, no, we cannot be bang <laughs> bang <lying>. Gator. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. No. You ought to find it. Continue. Uh, we, need to, we need to institute a pause dictionary yeah. here. We got to get HR in this chat. We, find it. Mm -hmm. then we got Miko Bell, $5 <laughs> super chat. Cog the Road wants to, wants to know, do you like thick buster swords along oh, Masamune swords? Man. <laughs> They're out here with the circumference of the swords. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. That's wild. Yeah, something. <laughs> never wear purple again. Never <laughs> wear purple. Yeah, I think much. you need to go change that energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, something about the purple is too hey, much beefy you, energy. You, you're inviting too some much. people. Yeah. Energy here, man. What's up? <laughs> We got the Taku five dollars super chat. And FF game hasn't hit the ten million since it was on Xbox at launch. Let's not talk oh, about wow. it. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, 15, 15. You gotta bring the date on there, sir. All right. So, ooh, wait. <laughs> then we got JD Gamer five dollars super chat. P.S. Miserable job in in VR has crushed my dream of having a real VR AR on mm -hmm. Xbox. Dang it, PlayStation! I was depending on you. Next time, do better because I want my VR. Mm -hmm. My VR will be on that PC in a little bit. They gonna <laughs> get that rocking. We gonna get about that it. rocking. Yo, so our Flame said you missed his super chat. Flame. Let me go back. To the, oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Joe Repco, a.k.a. Flame member for 40 months, Lord Bronze. Good afternoon, ILP. Can't wait to see y'all at PAX. Yes. Especially Lord Cog pulling up to the Warframe booth like, Facts. how do you do, fellow Tenno? Facts. Love I'm going to be in there front and nobody going to know I'm a Destiny fan on the low. <laughs> I'm a front, though. You're going to infiltrate the, yeah. the Warframe yeah, I'm be booth. plus one over there, Flame. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Then we got JD Game. No, we got, uh, yeah, so the VR, yes, mm -hmm. PC VR. Let's go. Oh, um, oh, we, got oh, we got Black Viking in the chat. Salute. I see you. Longhouse Gaming Podcast. Salute. Shout out. Shout mm -hmm. out. I'll be doing that, that show on Thursday, 7 uh, no p.m. Doubt. with Salute. Delilah HD. Yeah, I saw the promo. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Nice. But yeah. if you want to get a chance to see me before then, mm -hmm. I'll be down with 3 bit mm. on Tuesday. Dope. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. It's going down, it's going down slow. Yeah. Let's go. We're making the rounds. Xbox Frontlines is more. In you know, the streets. Here.
And we got some just two sage, five dollars super chat. Madness. I'm with Sav and Cog. I would axe gear six in a heartbeat Woo! over getting rid of blade Gelder Girl Scroll Six it's or man, Fable. I knew Sage was gonna come. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> don't listen to Attica King. Me and Sav the ones. That's special. <laughs> don't let them, don't, I'm going, don't, I'm going with what we owe don't, and don't, not what we got on loans. Don't Sorry. listen to GWG girls hit me because they're gonna be tight. Oh, they be tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't gonna like that. <laughs> they go like that. Let's go. Here we got Hollywood Rules, two dollars super chat. You guys gotta check out the new Shogun series. Yeah, I heard it was very good. You Ooh, gotta check play. out that Ninja Kume. Oh on, yeah, yeah. I, I, Yo, my HBO it. Max won't I, work, man. Okay, for, okay. First oh. of all, you got HBO Max with us. You Bro, just happened oh, to not jump on it at all because oh, you guys want the Iron Bake. Yes. Yeah. Now, no, I didn't know that. Now, one thing I'm noticing they're being, you know how it is. Like we mm. got it before all this foolishness started oh, happening. Oh, they got the license. They, they're trying to. Yeah. Every time mm. I try to go on on my phone, they're like, you don't have the license for them. Yes, I do. Mm. Okay, but okay, I, okay. Yeah, they're being funny. So, oh, so uh, hit me, hit me, hit the oh, yeah, yeah, No, no. I'll oh, send, I'll send you that. Send me yeah, that. So, yeah, send me yeah, that. Come, come through, cause that is yeah. one of the best new anime joints that I found. Cause I use the app. It's crazy. Yeah, I used to have it on my TV. They went over. It's uh, Ninja a Ninja Kume. Kume. Yeah, I'm on I, I'm, I'm going to send it to you. I thought you saw it already. Mm -hmm. I thought you saw it. It's, it is one of the most brutal mm. joints going. It reminds me of, what was it? Um, What was the most brutal? I think it was like Ninja, was it Ninja Scrolls? Ninja Scrolls Girl. and all that. Mm -hmm. Ninja Scrolls. It, it has that energy. No it's doubt. real good. All right, let's get through the two chests. We got that. There we got, let me see Hollywood rules. Yeah, we got that already. Uh, then we got JD Gamer. Once again, $2 super chat. Uh, oh my God, pathetic port begging ponies got no game. <laughs> he back. He back. He back. He back. Then we got Stitch, remember, for 51 months, Lord Gold. Question. <laughs> Yo. Question. Are you all okay with having FF7 broken into three separate games? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fine. Also, King's Poppy, make sure he wears a helmet out in the battlefield. We don't want him bumping heads out there. Whoa! <laughs> well, first of all, it will, up, one, it will only be one head on the battlefield. Like <laughs> so it's not no heads bumping out here. <laughs> you know, yeah. You're not and, crossing swords and, on the battlefield? Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> and, and, and my battlefields are clean, so we don't need any helmets. <laughs> That's not the front line you're talking about. Okay. I, I got you. Helmet, I so, so you just raw dogging it in the Oh, <laughs> Listen, listen. I'm like, I'm like Master Chief in season two. I take it off and do what it do. Woo! Oh, you just out there with it. You just loose with uh -huh. it. Yeah. Get out of it. What you Speak, I finished. I finished up, up to where they, they, you know, the episodes are in season two. Mm -hmm. I, Fall of Reach, man. I, Ooh, I'm, en really good. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it too. Shout out to Tom Henderson in the chat. Salute. Yeah, check that chat though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. He's sending stuff in the chat. Um, yeah, did, 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 okay. Um, Silent Cypher, $5 dollars two chat. Now I'm hearing talk about sharing each other's anointed swords <laughs> across <laughs> multiple people. Gonna go pour vodka in my ears to rinse out when I hey, heard that. Yo. He said he, said he gonna pour vodka in his ears. <laughs> hey, yo. That's wild. Oh, let me see this. Yeah, Adam, you gotta share that. <laughs> Then we got Pony Up with the $5 Super Chat. Seven mm -hmm. months ago, Ampere Analysis stated 13% of PS5 users bought uh, 16. Considering that there was 40 million PS5s at the time, it would be around 5 million and greater by now. Mm -hmm. Definitely not 10, but yeah. No uh, <laughs> yo, this is stupid. They out of pocket. With they already did the K&N news on my man, Why? Kinky. Why I got to have crazy. the globe behind me? <laughs> like, this, is world, this is the world, world wide, breaking global. news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're breaking, man. We're breaking, we're breaking the internet. <laughs> That's crazy. They did my man dirty. We Continue. are caught up. Oh, All right. right. <laughs> Finally. Geez. Ten toes down. So these <laughs> ten toes down outside. Clearly. All right. This is the big one, man. First topic. We got a little, little comment on this one too but yeah combo. Right. i've been talking a while this is king's topic but we got a lot to discuss man sony layoffs uh 900 <laughs> people eight percent of their workforce playstation london studios will close in its entirety <clears throat> the company is also can canceling um the twisted metal racing game or being franchise that they had um which is developed by your know, subsidiary fire sprite and it was also impacted by the layoffs um sony said the layoffs will also impact uh game makers insomniac Naughty Dog 
and Guerrilla Games are three of its most successful subsidiary series. Um, Guerrilla Games, they're cutting 10% of its staff. Um, PlayStation London, best known for the SingStar uh, series, as well as multiple virtual reality games, will be shut down. So we do have a statement. Um, two statements went out, one from uh, Herman Hulse, you know, kind of explaining that. And, you know, <clears throat> basically went on to say, in addition, there was going to be smaller reductions in other teams across uh, PlayStation Studios. He said, one, our goal at PlayStation Studios was always to make the best games for PlayStation fans. And our global community of studios represents some of the most creative and talented teams within the games industry. They said PlayStation 5 was in its fourth year. They said they need to step back and look at what our business needs. And they said, um, he's talking about experiencing the <coughs> fundamental changes of the industry, how they create and play games. He said, and this is kind of the key sentence for me, uh, delivering the immersive narrative journey stories that PlayStation Studios is known for at the quality bar that we aspire to requires a re-evaluation of how we operate. And he goes on to talk about the online experiences and um, as far as allowing PlayStation games to explore different ways, as well as launching games on additional devices such as PC and mobile requires a different approach and different resources. Also, it looks like... Um, you know, Jim Ryan uh, had a follow-up co comment that he also sent the letter to the studios internally talking about how the landscape is changing in the industry and that a lot of these changes may uh, them go into careful consideration. They said we had to step back, look at our business holistically, and move forward focusing on the long-term sustainability of the company and delivering the best experiences possible for our community. The goal is to streamline our resources to ensure our continued success and ability to deliver experience gamers and creators have come to expect. So yeah, he sent out this internally uh, about, again, we talked about the regions, uh, SIE regions, Americas, you know, Europe, Japan, APOC. And um, also he talked about, um, I believe uh, PlayStation, he talked about in Japan, they will uh, implement a new career support program and those details will be communicated separately. So there's still a lot more. There's even, um, I don't know how far y'all want me to get into this rabbit hole, but um, I don't know if you guys saw the Eurogamer article in reference to toxic culture at Fire. Oh, yes. And um, it's really bad. I'm it's too excited about this. Death yeah. by a Thousand Cuts, um, the Liverpool studio. Um, apparently there's reports um, from sources from two senior leaders at Sony um, that uh, Sony support studio XDev brought in to help and lead Fire Spite. They said it had been accused of sexual discrimination and ageism. Mm. Um, the reports are pretty alarming. There's a lot of stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the site Glassdoor saw, where they talk mm -hmm. about how company culture is. Right. Public employee reviews of Spire, Fire Sprite on the, on the review site Glassdoor describe horrendous studio heads who are way out of their depth. They just care about the money, leading to a toxic bullying culture and culture of fear. One recent review takes a more sympathetic view, saying that Fire Sprite's old way was dis disorganized and Sony has remolded the studio, but others suggest that there is a tremendous change in company culture. Man, there's a lot to go on. They, um, they talk about uh, nepotism. Um, mm. Staff also describe the new bosses out of their depth and holding different values from what Fire Spark original founders were. It seems that leadership doesn't need to be earned and the trust is gone. Another source described them as in inadequate toxic mess, tyrants and bullies who treat people like it's a factory. Um, mm. I'm, I'm just going to skip this. It's so much. I'm just trying to get key quotes because it, 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 it really going on. Um, one push to hire specific talent prompted roles to be invented to hire specific people. Sources say only for this effort to be uh, scuppered by a hiring freeze from Sony. Sony has committed the worst possible mistake in buying a studio and meddling to the point where it may end up in a death spiral and unable to complete any <laughs> of the projects it is working on. Um, sources also say there was pressure on Horizon Zero Dawn creator um, Gorilla about mm. their impact as far as that. Now, it's understandable, obviously, they, they wanted to see how the VR title was going to go, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. But they just talk about the crunch, the pressure. This thing goes mm -hmm. on. It's literally, I highly advise... Um, I'll put the link in the chat. It's just too much to, it's to talk It's just too about. much to just talk it's about too one much. time. It, it, it's, yeah, it's yeah, crazy. We'll be here all day. It's a Eurogamer article. It's so much oh stuff. Yeah. But <laughs> you're out of pocket. Now, but all the seriousness aside, um, jokes aside, it is really, this is probably one of the most, I would say, kind of like Jason Schreier level of 
yep. investigative reporting with again in reference to <clears> XDEV, <throat> the, the culture at Fire Spike, the toxicity, and then obviously, you know, what we know to be now as far as reduction in rough forces and London studios being closed. So King, the topic is yours. You know, what are your thoughts on this whole situation? Uh, I told y'all Rome was burning a long time ago. And the fact of the matter is, remember when Jim got into place and he was just like, yo, Japan, y'all not doing what y'all supposed to be doing because they already made Europe the focal point. They consolidated everything over there. They made everything strong over there. Remember, that was what the argument was for the mm -hmm. FTC. That was their stronghold. They made you guys important. And they devalued Japan close down studios mm -hmm. and shift their focus. And they won the PlayStation 4 generation off of the backs of those movements. Mm -hmm. Just to turn around to get to the PlayStation 5 generation, just not too long, just been four joints into this joint, mm -hmm. to shut down that studio. Yeah. The most egregious part was you was there a couple of days before then. They done paid, ch <sighs> chipped in for your coffee cake. Y'all all sitting there smiling. And then you gonna ask them, you put a hiring freeze in place mm. just to just let go of those people. Now, everybody was telling me before, Microsoft meddles to the point of, oh, they destroy companies when they get them. Mm. Toys for Bob will tell you something different. Toys for Bob is an independent entity at this moment. They separated themselves from Microsoft and it was allowed to let be let go to go do what they were supposed to do. We'll get into it. Was this studio offered that same opportunity. No. Exactly. So this is what I'm talking about. We are watching the true identity of companies come out right in front of us. I, I think that FTC joint where everybody had to put all their cards on the table because there's a lawsuit going on right now with Sony out there with all the egregious practices that was going on, 600 million, something like that uh, lawsuit. And I'm getting a chance to get a peek in the window to the work like culture it's crunch mm -hmm. sexism ageism, ageism nepotism, nepotism. Yeah. the nepotism part bothers me the most because mm -hmm. what some people don't what you don't understand about nepotism that's is real. it's 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 that's toxic within itself because that feels like that person didn't earn a position he only gets into the position because he's family of yeah. whoever's in charge yeah. right and that goes across the boards all around the place that's great if it's your own business you hire your son to mm -hmm. work but imagine you hire your son that doesn't know anything about the business mm -hmm. and he's in there with the employees and he's being disrespectful mean and turning the culture into something absolutely terrible mm. and these people can't talk out about it right yeah. so but now they're coming out and they're talking out about it now they're not afraid I think we're going to hear more about this stuff going across the boards. But what was more so troublesome mm -hmm. was the fact of the matter that successful studios is being impacted by yeah, Sony's no. mismanagement of their direction. Mm -hmm. Their direction was blockbuster. So they produced blockbusters. They said, we're going to give you what you asked for. You want cinematic, single player, great quality games, bangers. We're going to give you the bangers only to be rewarded with Oh, we got to cut 70%, uh, I mean, uh, you know, 7% yeah. of your staff. Yeah. Oh, we, but we just uh, released, you know, Spider-Man 2 is doing great. But nah, you know, we got to have cuts. Or Bungie, if you don't reach this, then we're going to take you over. So Bungie got to make cuts. Mm -hmm. This bullying is going on all over the place inside Rome. I want to know when is people going to really start stepping up and calling them out for exactly who the hell they are and stop trying to protect Kong. Mm. Kong is a terrorist. Yeah, I mean, look, we, we got to talk about it. You know, this is, um, you know, in your defense, you know, um, this is definitely something I, we rarely see this level of investigative reporting on the Sony side, I feel like. So yep. it was very, very alarming. And we got to talk about, obviously, um, you know, Fire Sprite specifically, like a lot of those guys are former um, Liverpool, you know, like that, that the classic studios and things of that nature. And then obviously the closing of a studio. But let me open it up to you, Attic, in reference to, you know, the layoffs, 900, 900 people. Um, also in terms of the top performers, kind of like what King was saying, we, you know, it's also affected Naughty Dog with layoffs, um, Gorilla, Insomniac, the ones that kind of, you know, really carry PlayStation so far. So what are your thoughts on all these layoffs of closing up a studio? 
and the uh, toxicity at Fire Spark that report. I, I think, you know, maybe I'm wrong in this, uh, but I think PlayStation's like the only company like laying off people from studios that that actually has successful projects. Like, mm-hmm. like I, I can't remember even even Microsoft. Like, you don't you didn't really hear them laying people off to that degree on studios that make the money. So it, it just it, it's it's kind of interesting, and the reason I bring that up is because like they laid off people from Naughty Dog, they la- yeah. laid off people from from Insomniac, and like these are these are the 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 breadwinners. So, yeah. mm-hmm. so it, it's just like to me, I'm sitting here looking at from even if Microsoft does it, EA does it, Sony does it, if if you have a successful game. And you still get layoffs. What's the goal here? Mm. Mm, no value. Like, what's what, what's the goal here? Like, what what incentivizes people to actually work hard, bring a good product to the market? Because even if you bring a, a fantastic product to the market, if you could still get let go, yeah. And they were lay, laying off like, I think I think someone at naughty dog like a like a head something mm-hmm. like someone from one of the departments uh that oversees the department or something it's just like like what where does the industry go from here wow. where you can't even do a good job and you still get punished for it yeah yeah that's a good point it's a good point and we knew about this was coming on some level from the insomniac leaks right we didn't know that unfortunately, because of the leaks of the other stuff, they found out that they would have to reduce, you know, forces and, and staff there. But yeah, no, it's a good point. The, you know, the blood is there. Um, solve your thoughts. You know, and, and, and I'm real sorry, quick, like they laid off people from Insomniac that you can argue is the only reason that they have anything right now. So it, it, it's just like, look, I get it. We're in a weird world right now, mm-hmm. but at the same time. We didn't set that up either. And to me, you know, when you're laying off people to this degree, there's got to be an overall arching reason you're doing it. Now, whether or not it's this or whether or not it's that, you know, they're going to have to be a little bit more specific on the reason they're doing these kind of things to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I, I think it's corporate greed. That mm. that that's just my opinion yeah. on the matter. They want more I think, profit. Yeah. Because here's yeah. the thing, it's like Bill Spencer said, when when you squeeze as much as you can out of the markets that you're currently in, see, Xbox, even though I disagree, they're like, look, we're going to go to other markets. We're going to figure out other ways of making money. I still disagree with that movement, but they did choose like the better way. My uh, Sony's like, huh, we're, we'll, we'll release on PC, kind of. Mm. Oh, that didn't make, do anything? Okay, um. Who can we get rid of that's not essential? Yeah, that's bad. And, and it's just like, and I saw people sitting there on Twitter saying, well, you know, it wasn't all devs. I don't care who it was. I don't care if it was the janitor. <laughs> like, you, you mean to tell me that the people in that building ain't safe when they sell 15 million of a game? Mm. Yeah, I mean. like, yeah. and, and I had a lot of issues the way that Spider-Man 2 launched. But I can't say it wasn't a good game. It just, it was very, very buggy to me. Right. Now, I know that, like, obviously at that time, like, the day one patch uh, supposedly did all that. But it's just like. But is it, is is it very buggy because it was rushed? It was it be- very buggy because of crunch? Was it very buggy because it was a toxic work environment? Those things lead to that whole buggy thing that you're talking about. Like, it, yeah, it launched and they still took people away. But could it have more time to cook and they wasn't given that opportunity? I think I I don't know what's going on in the building on that, but I, I do think that what you say, a lot of things do make sense in, in that manner. I don't know if it's that or not. You know, uh, uh, hopefully Jason Schreier, uh, this gets mm-hmm. his attention where he'll actually look into stuff like this. We need him on. Like, yeah, we'll get him back on. I think I think my biggest thing is is not just these particular layoffs. Mm-hmm. It's how do you first off how, how does this industry engage new talent mm-hmm. yeah. when they're seeing people getting laid off with successful games because at least in the past if people got laid off you generally saw this game didn't do the greatest 
they went back to a skeleton crew they rebuilt back out then they made another game now you're seeing studios have mad successful games and they're still getting laid yeah. off epic made an absurd amount of money last year yep. and they still laid people off mm -hmm. so it's just like i do think you know you know people say well is the industry about to crash um i do think we're gonna have some form of crash i don't think it's gonna be like people are acting like it's like a crash crash no uh, i do think we're gonna get to the point where this is gonna get way worse before it gets any better yeah uh because yeah. i feel like there's a combination of greed uh there's a combination of corporate uh climbing people i feel like this is my opinion i talked to some people in the industry mm -hmm. and they kind of say the same thing that i'm saying that i think mm -hmm. these corporations want to keep that pandemic money mm. yeah because because one would think if you had a realistic expectation to this matter you realize okay you know we're making more money than we've ever made during the pandemic yeah. uh, but there's a condition for it we don't expect that next quarter because we knew people were literally stuck in their house. Mm -hmm. They couldn't go nowhere. They had more money than time at that time. So they spent money. They, mm -hmm. you know, all the, in the, the entire entertainment uh, industry, oh, yeah. like, like ransacked through the roof. And then after the pandemic, people started going home. I truly believe they started looking at these projections. They're like, oh, okay, this is what we were doing before. Mm -hmm. But we want that pandemic money. Mm -hmm. We we, we ain't trying to hear that. We that, ain't trying to that, hear that. that oh, we don't need those nice. people. Get them up out of here. We don't need them there. Like yeah. our shareholders are expecting X amount of money. And we don't care what we got to do to get that money. Mm. That sucks. Yeah. It's unfortunate. You know, obviously the people who over forecast are never the ones that are penalized <laughs> or the people you know who make those mistakes in those decisions it, yeah. it, it, and i was told i'm not going to say names uh mm -hmm. that's part of the issue and another part of the issue is we are seeing the results of like five to ten years of these corporations trend chasing and making games revolved around games as a service battle royale etc cetera, etc cetera. and we're seeing some of these games start to come out stuff like suicide squad that was made when all this stuff was going down, like mm -hmm. when all the games of the service started, like really, really captivating and, and catapulting into another level. Mm -hmm. And he said, you're seeing the decisions of those executives trying to chase that trend and get that money that those trends are, 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 are getting. You're seeing those games fail and those executives aren't really getting penalized. It's the mm -hmm. people that made the game yeah. that are getting penalized. Yeah. The studios themselves. Absolutely. Lord Sav, your thoughts. Um, I would say I would say you go first. I'm expecting a delivery. In a okay, few I got minutes. you. I don't want to have right. to get yeah, up. Yeah, so. I got you. I do your thing. I'll, I'll jump up. Yeah, look, y'all y'all cooking. Um, you know, for me, I look at it. We just got to be honest, right? Where yes, this is affecting the industry as a whole, right? You know, as far as you know, Xbox with their layoffs, everyone's late. Like we've already had a point. I think it's over more than six thousand. Layoffs already. Yeah, so which is supposedly there's going to be more this week. There's still going to be more this week. Yeah, we're not over because yeah, we, we still be got 8, the fiscal. 000. Yeah, we still got the fiscal to get through, right? It's I think it ends on the April. I forgot what day it is. But so I expect more, right? And the thing is, this is my thing. My only pushback in reference to the Sony side, I got to be honest, is that we were told that the, the the right way to do things as far as nurturing game development. And, and the quality, you know, aspect. And we were also told, you know, from some pundits that, you know, subscription service and all this stuff is so questionable that it's not sustainable. And that may be the case. We don't know, right? We, so we see Xbox making shifts there. But we, what we do know now, we can officially say now, Sony themselves are saying their model is not sustainable. We, we are literally seeing and that. And they've been saying that. Herman Hulse, you know, Jim Ryan, that we can say. So this is, a, this is an industry, because I, I guess for me, this is a bigger issue because we were told only this is the correct way to do it, mm -hmm. you know, kind of thing. And that is proven to be false. So all I will say is this. The sad reality, like we said, is the people who over forecasted during the pandemic or whatever, they are not being penalized. These studios are. For me, this is personal because as a person who PlayStation 1 is probably my favorite PlayStation. I'm weird like that. Um, To me, yeah, that was a. That was an aggressive Sony. That was, we're trying weird things. We're getting into space. We're challenging Nintendo. You know, for me, Sony <laughs> London 
Liverpool is very key, right? For me, I look at, like, remember when Wipeout came out? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Formula One, those games, that created a culture of what Sony was, right? Sony is. So, to see them go away from now Japan Studios, right, which we all love them for, now UK, that's that's a major shift to me. That's a culture shift. That's a personality shift. And I forgot the um the lady that that went that was part of the original Sony. I forget her name, Connie. I forgot her last name. That remember that uh, we had um what you call it? We had David Jack. We had Jaffe on, and Jaffe was talking about. He's like, look, I'm telling you, this is a huge deal that she's leaving. Right? She she got so many of the classic things. Well, Connie Booth. Yes, Connie Booth. Thank you. You know, when I hear that kind of stuff, that means. The Sony that I know is this is not familiar. This is these are not the same people that as far as the the games that I love and the identity that I aspire to as far as why you know I fell in love with the with the console. So it is concerning to me, you know. And I will say, look, I'm not going to go over the top as far as all the industry is concerned, but this is all cost correction. This is cost correction from over forecasting. And now, sadly, the people who make the games that we love and the studios are paying for it. And the last thing I'll say is just that to me. I don't like, I'm from the day, King, you remember this. I'm from the days of the Midways and the Acclaims, mm -hmm. right? That made games I love and they're no longer here, yep. right? They don't exist. Like to me, the worst thing is when a studio is shut down. That to me, like you can't come back for that. There's no, that's it. And to me, like to see that is just, man, it, it's it's brutal. You for know? them, for that, it's, it's like, it's, it's. For us, for them to say, this is our crowning jewel. This right. is this is it. Sony is a man without a country right now. Because if this is our crowning jewel, you took away from Japan. Right. We thought Japan was the crowning jewel. You right. told us it's not it. Right. Oh, okay, okay. This is it. Right. All right, so this is your stronghold. This is where your fight was. Yeah. Excuse me. To go over there. Yeah. That, you know what the worst part? Eh, Let's get to it. Bump all that. The worst part was you had a party over there. Oh yeah, that picture is the optics bad. is disgusting, yeah, the bro. Picture is bad because what you know what that shows? Five, they knew that that well, that they were going to that. They, they knew done. they they knew that. So they just whatever reason I'm trying to be fair in the context, but whatever reason they still went through with attending this party. So that picture is going to live in infamy, right? You know what I'm saying? There's certain pictures is going to live in infamy because it's like you think that, they knew. You think the staff? Knew? There's no way they didn't know that that studio was going to. I don't shut think. Down. I, no, no, no. I, I don't know if the staff. No, staff knew. don't know. The higher up. I'm talking about. But could you company. think about it this yeah. way? This is this is why I'm upset. This is why I'm Let's upset. Go. Right? We threw pizza parties, right? And mm -hmm. Sovereign's not here right now. Yeah. We threw pizza parties for the boss, and we was working at one company. We we mm -hmm. had a pizza party. You know the company that I'm talking about because you I worked there. I know. I know. Had a pizza party. The week later, they knew what they were going to do, right. and then we had to go on strike. Yeah. Bro, I would have never chipped in for that pizza party, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. we chipped, I chipped in to feed the man that was on the opposite side of the picket line yeah. talking about, and I don't need you to have health care, and I don't need to give you a raise. But mm -hmm. you knew that before I gave you this pizza, and I could have kept it in my pocket, and we went weeks mm -hmm. without pay. Right. We went weeks without pay. I could have ate my own pizza. I could have saved that pizza, bro. And I'm like, I'm looking at these dudes over there, and that same pain that I had then, I mm. felt for those dudes there. We were standing and taking pictures with I remember the dude's Man. name and everything. And I'm like, damn. He handing out cookies. Remember that crap he just handed out the little cookie with his face on it? Right. And they had a console there, and they did all this, and you really chip in for these parties. Let's get the money together. You know, they coming over here, Jim and everybody coming over here, mm -hmm. knowing exactly what was going to go down, and y'all did them dirty. And Jen, just this, just a couple of days later, y'all did them dirty. It's just, it's disgusting. And the, the environment and the stuff that you're hearing is bad. Not saying that they're the only company doing it. And right. I know it's, it's We gotta be fair. We gotta I'm be just, fair. There's pictures out of a lot of people out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. the company's then, gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. In fairness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Filling okay. them to death. Filling yeah, them to death. Okay, filling okay. them to death. <laughs> but I know it's disingenuous coming from me. Mm -hmm. Don't hate I the think, messenger. Listen to the message. Mm. I think the difference. I'm a bad representative to say anything about Sony and y'all be like, ah, you just capping because you don't like them and you want Kong dead. Mm -hmm. This is true, right? 
But I'm <laughs> saying, I'm saying in this truth, mm. there's something nasty happening over here. Yeah. And look at the nasty. Don't worry about what I'm saying. <laughs> Do your own research on the nasty. But I'm telling you, I don't like them, so I'm going extra hard. But these other guys here, they really like them. And, and, mm -hmm. But they are upset as well. Yeah, fans forget it. I think the difference between the Blizzard and bill thing and what's going on here is like they didn't shut down blizzard like that's good point. yeah like they laid people off of blizzard it's different than going there and having a layoff of a certain percentage of the people that work there mm -hmm. and going there having a party and say in a couple of days later the dude that you posted on twitter to say thank you for coming is posting an article and I don't know if he wrote it. Maybe his name's just on it, but he didn't actually write it. Mm -hmm. But writing this article and say, oh, yeah, and the people I went and I flew out to, yeah, you guys are gone. Mm. Like, that's different. Phil didn't shut down Blizzard. There's just certain, there was layoffs at that company. Right. They literally went and had a a, a, a farewell a farewell party for, mm -hmm. for, uh, for, for Jim there. And they didn't know, but they were having a farewell party for themselves, too. <laughs> That's Yo, not wow. even funny at all. Horrible, but, man. But, but <laughs> it, it, the ironic part about it is you're right. Mm -hmm. Like, that. that's just crazy. To go, like, the, if I was sitting there and people were like, Yo, you know, we got to get rid of, we got to get rid of London Studios. And I'm Jim's not going like, oh. over there. I'm yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Jim's like, oh, uh, Jim's like, okay, I'll go first. First flight, they would have told me that. I'm like, no, you got to, you got, to, you got to get Jim to go. I ain't going. Like, you got to get I'm Jim not going. to go. Like, I'm not. I, I won't. I won't go. I won't go. Like, I'm sorry. I don't care. I'm not falling on that sword. I'm not going. But again, I'm not him. Mm -hmm. No, I, I hear you. I got, we got saw back. I also just wanted to comment also in reference to one of the underlying things too that we maybe missed in reference to. I think it was a fire sprite. They were really making a lot of those PSVR games. Oh yeah, that, that, that's studio. dead. That's studios. dead. Yeah, now. One of, so that to me, you know, when I mean, sorry, I London, that, London, not five. London, London, London. I think that's the reason why they opened up the PlayStation VR two to the PC. It, it, knowing the that the timing they didn't is interesting. Have that. Yeah, the timing is interesting because mm -hmm. the, if they were one of the, the studios that was really going to be heading that, and now you're shutting that down, that indicates to me where you are with VR. And then we've always known how they marketed the VR device. It was like you need a PlayStation. To play this, yeah. right? So now that's being opened up. So I got to mm -hmm. give you your, your 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 flowers, King. You've always said, "Yo, this is a passion project." They don't believe in it. We're starting yep. to see the signs that they are shifting because that is a huge ph philosophical shift. To remember, they wanted to close that, Garden that VR. Mm -hmm. They wanted to say, and "You can't play this unless you have a PlayStation Five." Now to say, "Okay, PC, we we're gonna start working on getting that open over there." I have to look at that as a strong pivot. Go That's a huge red flag. Yeah. Like, if you have a PlayStation VR 2 right now, mm -hmm. and you don't look at them opening up that uh, that ecosystem like that, with a side eye and them shutting down one of the biggest studios, I don't know, I don't really keep track. I assume it's one of the biggest studios that was making VR games. And you don't sit there and be like, oh, um, mm -hmm. should I be concerned? Like, you're not yeah. paying attention at this point. Like, yeah. they... Yeah, if you believe in PlayStation no one, VR, you're you're concerned right now. There's yeah, no I, doubt. I don't I don't want no one in the next two or three months or or six months to a year, whenever they decide that you know to announce, you know we're we're pulling back our support from the VR, be shocked because right. they are, the the signs have been there this whole time. Yeah, in fact, saw so you back now. Wanted to get your thoughts. You know, all this stuff is so much to attend to it. Obviously, Jim Ryan statements, Herman Hull statements, you know, 8% of the workforce, uh, London Studio closing. We got almost 1,000 a thousand watches. Like, yeah. share it up, please. And Fire Sprite. Uh, I don't know if you got a chance to hear me with the toxicity report and mm -hmm. the investigators. Like, wait, go wherever you want to go with it. What's your thoughts? A lot, man. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I just think the conversation around is kind of, if it, you know, it's getting old already, right? The conversation around, hey, this is reductions from from overestimations during COVID. And the problem I have with that is that it's not an overestimation. They knew what they were doing. Mm. They're not stupid. The only thing they can be forgiving for not knowing is 
how long the pandemic was going to last, how long we were going to be at a work at home, from home environment where, you know, if you think about it, how long does it usually take for a vaccine for something to come out? Mm -hmm. Years, mm -hmm. years and years and years. Yeah. And here we are four years later from when it started, we're back pretty much to normal, right? Mm -hmm. So all of the bets they made, they knew what was going to happen. They, you know, when you're looking at a game industry that hasn't really grown in, in terms of its base over multiple years, and all of a sudden you see a jump during this period when you know everyone is at home because of this, for this, for this, 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 you know, ex outlandish, extraneous situation, mm -hmm. um, world altering situation, you know that, that those numbers aren't real. Right. But the point of the company is to grow. The point of a public company, especially, is to grow and to right. continue to appeal and appease to its shareholders. So you're seeing this growth. You know it's not organic. You know it's not sustainable. You're still going to take advantage of it in the moment and deal with the fallout of it later. That's the nature of a company that needs mm. to continue to grow and make money. So it isn't, it's disingenuous to say, oh, we were taken off guard by, you know. We, by, we were surprised. By, we were surprised. No, you weren't surprised. You took advantage of the situation. Mm -hmm. you, you bulked up, knowing full well you'd have to reduce when everything got back to normal. You can be forgiven for not knowing when back to normal was going to be. That's it. So here we are back out in the world much faster than maybe they hoped it would be. It happened because of the money they were bringing in and because the extra people they had in their ecosystems. Right. And now all of it's happening at the same time. And all of the, the realities of all of these, you know, $200 million games that, that took forever to come out now are, are the, and, and got <laughs> delayed even more mm -hmm. <laughs> because of COVID mm -hmm. are coming out. And Makes the realization sense. is that we can't sustain that stuff anymore mm -hmm. are just hitting all at the same time. Yeah. So it's sad to say, but all the reductions that we're seeing now, this freaking Valentine's Day massacre that yeah. we're seeing yeah. in the games industry is only going to continue until there's the determination that this is the leveling off point and mm. we're kind of back where, we're, where we can be sustainable. And this applies to the entire industry, not, not PlayStation. So yeah, this is the whole, yeah. This is, this is as a whole. So that's just the reality of it. On the PlayStation side, what happened was that in the Jim Ryan era, they made, you know, Jim Ryan, the marketing guy, he's looking at what's big right now. And he says, okay, we're going to take big bets into service games. We're going to take big bets. We have this hardware that we, we're, it's done. We're going to put it out. And we're going to hold the line in terms of the, the messaging. <laughs> we're going to hold the line in terms of the messaging. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not, they can hold the line. We can't use that. We can't use that. Hold on. No, we can't use that. No, we can't use that. We're going to use that. No, you got to TM it first. You got to TM it first. I got to be able to. That is the TM, bro. Yeah. We ain't going to put that with two dudes. No, we don't. We ain't going to do that with them. Okay, we we will. We will. Yeah, you do we'll something keep else. our messaging consistent. <laughs> <laughs> we, we will stand strong. We will stand strong. We will be firm. <laughs> <laughs> we will stand strong and keep our messaging consistent, uh -huh. <laughs> knowing full well that the support isn't there. Mm -hmm. Right? We're gonna we're gonna lure them in with a first party game at launch. Lure them in and nothing else. Gotcha. And nothing else. Gotcha. And nothing else. And we're gonna hope. And we're gonna hope that we can get third party deals or whatever, but we're not so really gonna invest are, in this. So are you saying like you think like midway they midway through they decided they didn't want to support that platform anymore? I think they they I think it, they knew going in going going in, they knew. Going in, they knew. It was because a big bets, car. The bets the, they just it was just one of those things where it's it's not like a movie where you write it off, right? Mm. It's like we have all of these units, they're basically built already. Let's put them out at a premium price, right? A higher price than the actual console itself that's required to play it up until this point. Mm -hmm. And we'll see how many we sell. And maybe they've sold a million. Maybe. I don't even know that. Mm -hmm. So they knew. So at the end of the day, the issue is rectifying the bets that they took into service space, right? right. Which they're doing. A lot of canceled games. Twisted Metal now yeah. canceled. Yeah. Um, which was that was Fire Sprite's game, or Fire Sprite's game was something else? I believe that was the uh, Fire Sprite one, but I'll double right. check. Yeah. So, um, and then uh, again, the 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 gorilla in the room, which mm -hmm. is 
hey, mm. how do we still fix this he issue said, of he, he said gorilla. Like, the Kong in the room? <laughs> <laughs> How do we fix this issue of these $300 million games, right? Mm -hmm. And I think when you look at some of the layoffs now, it's easy on the surface to look at them and say, hey, why is a studio like Insomniac losing people? Why is a studio like Naughty Dog losing people? Because they're still building the games that we are, that are classic PlayStation games. They need those people. Yeah. That is that is a sign to you that two things. A, some of those studios were at least in the beginning stages of thinking about multiplayer aspects of the game. Obviously, the Naughty Dog stuff, that's much further along. Mm -hmm. All those people, we had we had not gotten word that those people were laid off. It was obvious right. that those people that were there for that particular reason had to go. That was going to happen. Um, and then when you think about Insomniac, when we look at that leak, there was something about a, a multiplayer Spider-Man game that they might have started already working on. And whoever they brought in for that, was probably going to go mm -hmm. at the same time and that's just conjecture right it is weird that these games that the, these these studios that are still making these sort of triple a you know third person action adventure games that they're known for mm -hmm. they need staff they need yeah. staff and to be losing them feels really weird but that goes to my second point whereas i think this is hiroki totoki telling you mm. you guys could whine you can cry all you want about mm -hmm. this the fact of the matter is you need to figure out how to maintain that level of quality. Mm. Maybe without that, maybe without the scope, mm -hmm. maybe without thinking about 30 hour games, mm. you need to maintain that level of quality while doing it on a tighter time frame and a tighter budget. And we're going to force you to have to figure that out. Mm. We're not going to allow you to, 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 to linger with these people in studio that may not necessarily, or, or maybe some of these redundant positions just for the sake of it. Mm -hmm. And it sounds harsh. I know it sounds harsh. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is that the entire industry, many industries, took this bet because they knew they were going to make money in the short term. Right. And they knew full well that at some point it would have to level off. Mm -hmm. They knew it. They just didn't know when exactly it would be. And so it looks really bad that only four years on from the pandemic and everybody being locked in their house... They have to essentially shutter all of this stuff and reduce themselves back to a size that's sustainable, like they kind of were before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So it, it's just it's just nature taking its course. And it, again, it sounds harsh, but it is the reality of it. So mm -hmm. and, and this is this is this is the thing industry wide. Yep. On the Sony side, it just feels it like a game. Sound, sounds like Darwin over here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's survival yeah. of the fit. Of the fit. It, it is survival yeah. of the fit. And you guys, again, they, they you know. And y'all not fit. This is what right. y'all say. <laughs> at the end Kong of the day. got to do crunches. At the <laughs> end of the day, at the end of the day, everybody made, took the bet because they knew money was to be made. Mm -hmm. And everybody's looking the other way when they see it crumbling. When everybody's like, "Oh, I'm I'm not gonna play games, you know, for ten hours today. I'm gonna go outside and play, mm -hmm. you know, basketball, touch, or whatever. Touch grass. Touch grass. Yeah. And it's like, oh, no, it's not. Oh, they knew this. They knew that they didn't grow the 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 the, the game playing mm. base. They just they just knew that there were people that why not? I'm home. Let me try this. So Let me sit down with my Jim kids said and play. Wasn't Nintendo. enough. He was just warning them. He just knew it was always playing. He it was always the case. It was always the case. So this is now what 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 helps with this is that mm -hmm. since it's all happening at the same time, you have no choice but to address the issues of how do we move forward making games of X amount of quality right. that are cheaper to make and that take less less time to make. Mm -hmm. And that's a, they have to address that head on. You can't yeah. avoid that. But that argument goes anymore. against their philosophies, B. That goes Triple against a. everybody's philosophy. Nah, nah. Everybody's Xbox been stepped away. Listen, Nintendo I will say this. stepped away from that, right? Xbox, yo, they was like, yo, these AAA games, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of double-A stuff. Remember when they came out and it was like the quadruple studio crap? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. They stopped yeah, using that yeah, terminology. They, 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 like, they, like, they shut on. that down. You ain't hear that again. <laughs> yep. And I would not be surprised if Perfect Duck comes out and it's 10 to 15 hours yep. of a linear action. I mean, we've yes. already seen the results like Hellblade now. We learned yeah, that not digital, that's digital only. Digital only. Digital, digital only. 50 only. bucks. 50 yeah, bucks. We, we and I said, no I, I, no looked, this. I looked back. I remember, <laughs> remember a couple of years back. Remember? Yo, talk about. What? <laughs> you're ridiculous. Yo, you're on the line. You're looking for your game. They said, stick out your hand. 
<laughs> Put your food in your hand. You don't get no plate. You don't get no utensils. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Here, eat, eat like this. <laughs> <laughs> Please, this kind sir. We at right now. We at the part right now mm. where no more plates, no more tables, <sighs> no more foods and sports. You go put your food in your hand. It's ridiculous. You go eat like that. <laughs> we have got to this. This pandemic has bankrupted us all. You ridiculous. Yeah, it really did. But it was. It was. For some people, right, it was not having a contingency plan, right? You didn't, you didn't yeah. have, the coffers weren't right when, when this yeah. went down, right? So they didn't have no bricks. Yeah. And then for some people, <laughs> it was like, we're going to make business. Imagine that. Imagine how you, how appealing that is to a shareholder that in the time when the entire world is shut down, you're making more money than you ever have from the comfort, literally yeah. from the comfort of your home. Mm. Right to a shareholder, a shareholder doesn't care. A lot of shareholders don't care what the business of stuff. Oh, don't care about that. As long as the money, money is there, right? Yeah. You said they make video games. They they do what? <laughs> they do what? <laughs> so that's all they care about. So that's, and that's cute. <laughs> and that's management's job is to appeal to that. So they mm -hmm. saw the opportunity to make a, what was essentially free money. Right. And they worry about the fallout on the back end. And that's what's happening with everyone now. So it's right. disingenuous to be like, we're caught off guard. We didn't know. We, didn't know. Yeah. we thought this was sustainable. How? The game industry hasn't grown that much in the last I mean, Sean Layden has been, Sean Layden right. been preaching that from the beginning. From the I'm beginning, sure it's like we haven't. Yeah, you haven't already got stuff like Stray and yeah. Graffiti, mm -hmm. uh, what is it, Concrete, Concrete Genie, Genie. Yeah. and yeah. stuff like that that y'all didn't support, yeah. that mm -hmm. you didn't go out and buy, exactly. and, your, and mm -hmm. apparently you brought Spider-Man, but that wasn't no, enough I, I just want to pivot real but, quick, Saul. So mm -hmm. I'll finish your thought, and then I got a question But, but I'm saying, like, Phil the same. Phil said the same. But, like, the, the console market is gets to a certain point, and that's it. It doesn't grow beyond that. Yeah. And even when you think about the new players that come into PlayStations and Xbox's ecosystem, a lot of times it's those the young kids graduating from nintendo right. and just coming into so it's the same numbers regurgitated this mm -hmm. isn't new people per se right so, no. you know you got to think about that no good point so funny like man, nintendo had it right all along <laughs> mm. they're not doing all them high performance consoles and you know it is what it, I, I think my question for you though is i wanted to yeah. get your thoughts i know the term mismanagement is thrown around a lot right and i wanted to get your thoughts on the you know the whole what you call it situation with the um I said fire sprite with the toxicity report and stuff that's going on in, in reference to Eurogamer yeah you know talking about you know what's happening there so like what what do you get from that when you hear about these accusations of toxic culture death by a thousand cuts and nepotism mm -hmm. Sony coming in this um other dev ex dev come in as a support studio right and people saying yo they're taking over and you know it's all money driven it's running this beloved studio into the ground and there's so much pushback like what do you get about all of that i think the industry is going to reach a point that there's going to be a reckoning with this and i don't really know how it's going to play out because when on the one hand obviously you want things to, you want the best work environment possible Mm -hmm. You want to be able to go home at a normal hour every single day. The fact of the matter is that the game industry has always been such that the product that people work on for 15 hours a day, mm -hmm. most of the time, takes, you know, you know, 10 years to make or whatever is a superior product. And it mm -hmm. shows in sales when you look at the one, the big outlier, which is a Grand Theft Auto, right? That right. the game that you know, you know they're working oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of hours yeah. on that game. And you know uh, that game's going to take a decade to come out or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. It It's a signal to other, to other studios that this is how you make quality. This is how you make the best of the best. And there's no other way to do it. Mm -hmm. And the game industry has been operating like that forever. So now that you have, again, when you have a younger generation coming in now, who is intolerant of that. Now you have to try to figure out that middle ground of how do we put out products that are of quality mm -hmm. in what's going to take a longer time now to make those games because we have to give a better quality of life in studio mm -hmm. um, without, again, affecting this problem of the bottom line of these games are taking too long to make and they're way too expensive. Because again, the correlation between how much it costs and how long it takes is, is, is direct. You're, it's going to cost you more to make the game if you have to take two or three years more than you normally would right. to, to make it. It's just, you know, salaries, whatever, just literally keeping the lights on. Mm -hmm. It's going to cost you more. So 
it's a it's 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 a tough situation to be in yeah. um and i think when you still have higher ups in place that are from the old school and they understand it that way mm. to them that is okay now what's weird to me is that that in this environment that we're in now that something so flagrant could be happening at fire sprite yeah. and it's only just now coming to light because yeah. that is really crazy to me because you know the jason schreiers of the world mm -hmm. the kotakos of the world they're on top of this stuff and to, to see this coming out now and kind of quietly been happening is a little weird because mm -hmm. usually you hear a little bit about this and it's and it's out there and it catches like wildfire and everybody's talking about it mm -hmm. so the fact that this is kind of coming out as a big like sort of bulk of news is, is a little weird to me mm -hmm. um but i i don't know what the answer is there because when you think about the level of quality that can be achieved by people putting in more work mm -hmm. and you know not having the work-life balance that we would all like to have right um you see the results a lot of times right no we, we don't talk about the burnout that happens the people the, the the great people in the industry that walk away because that's all they're used to and they can't continue to do that we don't talk about that stuff mm -hmm. but the reality is, is that are we willing to give up the level of quality that we get when mm -hmm. things are made under under those auspices mm -hmm. in exchange for having great work-life balance and having these games take double the time that they usually take to make now it is it's it's again it's a problem they have to try to figure out in a way that doesn't diminish the product to the point that people don't want to play these games and everything comes out it's buggy it's broken and why did you take only three years to make this this game mm -hmm. it's something that they have to figure out and it's a, it's a bed that we've made for ourselves on the dev side right. and the publisher side as much as the, the gamer side because the gamers are, obviously they're more at fault the publishers yeah. are more at fault right but as as the gamers the expectations that we have now right are a what's up with these graphics yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. why is this yeah. looking janky like that why mm -hmm. is this broken why doesn't this look realistic like if naughty dog's next game does not look better than the last of us part two mm. It's gonna be this gonna be shouting in the streets. It's gonna be a problem. Like, <laughs> so I mean, but in the it, flip side, to, to push back slightly, I, I know what you're saying. But to yeah. like, you look at something like Hell Divers, which let's be honest, ain't this crappy, mm -hmm. fidelity, crazy, whatever, whatever. We would assume that the budget is not to the level mm -hmm. of Insomniac, whatever, and they're seeing tremendous success. Do you think that there's gonna be a shift in the sense that you know, even those ones that made those high quality games now pull back a little in reference to that, or no? I think people are willing to accept stuff like that if it's new, if new ideas and new IP, right? right. Hell Divers is a new, right? right? But it is a big jump from what it used to look like, right? Right. Hell Divers used to be like an isometric, yeah. over, like top down, and now they turned it into a third person action game that's very appealing more broadly, right? right. Particularly <laughs> to like the PlayStation audience, Why right? Why isn't Destiny selling? The, the hell with this style? But Destiny's me ten years old. Ten yeah, years, but it's still a better game. They yeah, got but powers, it's... bro. Like, and the gun game is crazy. I'm sick and tired of these dudes talking about this thing is lit. It's... I'm sorry, that's my little rant. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I haven't played it. I can't say whether it's lit or not. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. say. I'm just watching. It's just boring as hell to me. It, these people it, running out there just to die. It's Nobody can say so nothing. Sound like hate until you played it, but we don't move on. <laughs> yeah, this is true. This is true. I'm a hater. <laughs> so <laughs> I think I think there's a willingness there. I think that that is the that is the opening. Right. Where it's like if it's something new or if it's improved from what it used to be, right. the impression of, oh, they're they're the the money they're putting money into this. They're putting right. time into this. They're putting effort into this. Again, it's it's the expectation that's gonna kill you, right? Right. The expectation of what Naughty Dog's next thing should look like and be like mm -hmm. is going to kill that if mm -hmm. what you get is not what it's you not expect. That. No, I get you. I get you. And so, that's a precedent so, that they said. They, I that's mean, a part of the that greatness. Set, right? That's part of the, the whole mantra the whole with the marketing yeah. team as well. So, we got the highest of quality exactly. and fidelity kind of thing. And, and to be fair, I think the AI the answer, is here now. We're going to up-res it. True. Up and that's the thing, right? They have all of these tools that they 100% are going to use. That's right. And, and that is going assets, to see, baby. They're going to see a further reduction in the workforce as a result of that stuff when that stuff gets good. Yeah, it's yeah, just right? going to, that's just going to be the reality of it. So... I they think, think they think they're gonna get more games. <laughs> yeah, a a end of the day, get less people. <laughs> if, at the end of the day, if you're in the game industry and you're gonna continue to make games and be at these uh, dev studios and these publishers, and if you're gonna continue to be a gamer, yeah. 
understand that there's there's blood on your hands any which way you move forward. There mm. is like we've we've created this environment that mm. we're in now. It's just a fact. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we have to be willing to kind of oh, roll with the punches. I think. Yeah, that's a fact. I, I uh, yeah. agree with you because uh, uh, me and me and Cog were talking about um, we we're talking about you know a lot of people mm-hmm. wasn't feeling like uh, the way Jeff Keeley's been handling this whole thing where he hasn't been right. really right. tweeting PlayStation stuff, but he tweeted the Bot Toys for Bob thing, mm-hmm. and it's just like look, like I told her, I was like, I don't think look, we might want Jeff Keeley to mm-hmm. to improve on how he does the video game award stuff but we we are to blame for the for the the industry that we have set from because mm-hmm. even though we don't go to it we still stream his his events mm-hmm. he still gets the traffic he needs to, to get the announcements so it's just like look like at the end of the day we do we are kind of to blame a little bit like mm-hmm. now honestly like, who's going to mess up their bag bro well, like, yeah, you gotta thing. be real, man. Mm-hmm. Like, he's yeah. not sitting there messing up his relationship, I'm, his bag. Everybody's sitting there saying why Final Fantasy was showed on his stage because he got a bag for that situation. Well, I'm not. Well, he's not gonna mess to up him. that bag. I'm not referring I'm not talking to about him. you. I'm talking was, about people out here in, in general. general talk in about general, that. Yeah. I was referring to the people that like go on Twitter, speak very positive about, uh, you know, uh, certain things in the industry, and speak about, well, you know, they speak out against the the actual. Uh, you know the layoffs themselves right. but it's just like but these are the same people that went to his event so right. it's I like, mean no, I get it's you. like we talked about at this. the end of the day it's like if you feel that strong that Jeff Keighley does not use his his position his mm-hmm. voice in the community doesn't use any of the platforms like the video game awards or anything mm-hmm. to speak out against that but we still stream it we still go to his mm-hmm. events like yeah but are it's, we really screaming at him that you doing wrong? Right. I mean, it's, it's, it's a double edged sword because again, he he's in business with them. I think a lot a lot of people. So I heard some of some of the uh, the conversations around this. It's oh, leave Jeff alone. He's a nice guy. I'm gonna let, let, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this right now. For Jeff Keighley to be where he is right now, that man's a shark. Let's keep he, it real. He's not a nice guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he's not a good person or whatever. I'm just saying when it comes yeah, to business good person and nice and the guy, savviness two different things. and the savviness of business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This man literally turned his back on E3 and mm-hmm. went and did his own thing and yeah. got the support. So yeah. let's be clear. When it comes to business, this mm-hmm. man is as sharp as a knife. <laughs> right. And uh he knows what he's doing and he absolutely has looked at these you know these calls for him for action for him right and he's measured what what it would do to him and his standing with all of these studios yep. and publishers that he needs in order to continue to yeah, grow yeah. his platform because again it's not and then you talk about the humility aspect of whatever who hosts his show every year it's him mm-hmm. it ain't he's not putting somebody else up there right this is the jeff keely show um so it is it, it's kind of weird to be like you dude who's standing alone and who sits there in these back rooms and makes these deals now slap him in the face as as <laughs> even, funny. It, it's not gonna happen it's just not gonna happen so p- continue to be prepared for keely not addressing this big issues mm. yeah and i think that's why Khan got to die. <laughs> yeah, I think what and then they got no it. choice but to bow down and to give respect to what is rightfully ours. We will rule the day. <laughs> I think when it comes down to it, it's like with that whole scenario, it's just like, look, like we demand mm-hmm. better quality games. It takes mm-hmm. longer. Uh, you know, at these corporations that they're going to corporate, you know, they're, they're going to clearly want to continue to push the, the the envelope every quarter and sooner or later they're going to hit that that talk because when i talked to to my dude he said that this trend's been going on for years so people just don't know it says he thinks that uh what happened with the pandemic just like skipped this much of of like what would normally happen in maybe five or six years from just slowly wanting more and more every quarter the pandemic jumped all that and just went straight to to near the top and it's just like, look, like, you know, when it comes down to it, if we want change, we got to do it ourselves. You know, yeah. if you, That's right. let's go make yeah. our own games. 
<laughs> when it comes to down, <laughs> when it comes down to you know how these games are marketed, uh, you know, do that. Yeah. And when what's funny is just like, uh, you know, I review games. Reviewers, we're to blame here too. Games can lay off mad amounts of people, but then we the first ones asking for the review code. So it's mm -hmm. just like we keep this cycle, this yeah. cycle going over and over again. It's just like until until a group of people that it, that has to be big because obviously mm -hmm. you know we're we're size, but we're not the size to to make it take it take like twenty or thirty of uh, people on our side to like. Put a put a dent in that. It's just like, look, until everyone decides that enough is enough, corporations are going to continue to release games half broken. They complain why they didn't sell. Corporations continue to make games exclusive to one platform. They complain why they didn't sell. Like it, it's just, it's going to be a giant change. It's going over and over again because at the end of the day, in every little parts of the chain that can be broken, and, and, and we we could stand on something. Those people in those chains choose not to. So it is mm. what it is. <laughs> I think what we could do is support the things that we feel actually represent the games industry in the right way. And I'm a firm believer of, I'm always on the record that the Game Awards and what Jeff doing should exist because we, I feel yeah. we do need our yep. Emmys. This is the biggest mm -hmm. medium in entertainment. I feel it's bigger than movies, right? So if I'm looking for him to be better, right, we need to call it out, which I think We've done it, and I'm gonna be brutally honest. I've I've never seen so many developers speak out against now, him yeah. now yeah. In, in reference to what's going on. So to me, I always give people the opportunity for course correction. Let's yeah. see what happens, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see if there are changes, you know, that happen to the game more specifically. Developers getting the time to accept their awards and not shotgun. But do you think it. that will happen? Being the fact I, that Hogwarts Legacy was left off of it, and we didn't it's have the opportunity question. to have the representation, I, I here. Wait, they wait, felt they bent the knee to me, uh, hmm? uh, uh, ideology that I was put that. on and I pushed by Michael Jamis spent on thirty segment. minutes on stage. I feel that. Exactly. My, I completely feel that. But my thing is I've never it's one thing for gamers to attack someone right. it's another, it's thing, another for thing for developers for develop. yeah. and then we all know how this works change is going to happen when the bad get affected mm -hmm. yeah, when, that's and, and that, that to me is when we'll see you know what I'm saying kind of thing. I do want to see if there's any type of course correction on, on you know the fact that people developers are really speaking up man saying like hey I don't feel, you know, you necessarily care about the plight of the developer and what's going on in this industry, at least mm -hmm. I mentioned, as opposed to when one singular person has adversity, right? Yeah. When instead of one dev having adversity, you know, we saw comments, we saw how this industry is messed up, you know, that was cool and we respected that, you know what I'm saying? I definitely respected that from Jeff, but when we're looking at the whole, people are like, hey, where are you? And maybe, you know, maybe we are wrong for looking at him Dude's just more balance across the board. Right. But I understand mm -hmm. balance. And I understand, yeah, because a lot of people say, hey, you know, we didn't see anything from your reference to the layoffs of Sony stuff, but now we hear something about Toys for Bob, you know, right, there's the balance, right? It's, so, it's supposed right. to be a balance there, and don't tell me because, oh, I'm cool with, this is why people was going at me with certain things. Right. You know, you're not striking a balance when your man is acting up, and you ain't speaking out about your man right. when he's acting up, and I could feel that, I understand that, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, financially, I ain't getting paid by Tim, but <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, it's the same thing with mm -hmm. these corporations and these dudes. He's built this stuff up from the dirt, from right. the mud, and yeah. he built this relationship. I don't know how hard right. that relationship was to get, but he got the relationship. Right. Though you're gonna talk down on something that you just worked your whole life to get mm -hmm. to stand on principles. Principles don't put food on the table, but you can't be emotionally empty as well. You understand? No, I get it. But so I think it, it, it leads yeah. to the man. Right. The man mm -hmm. either has to say to himself, "Am I gonna step up?" And stand with them, or I'm right. going to stand with them. And, we got, mm -hmm. and like you said, mm -hmm. we got to give him the opportunity to do so. Right, and all, and to Addict's point, which I do agree with. Yeah, like like if we don't see that, and it's a continuing, it's gross. It continues to be gross in representation, and nothing's changed or whatever. Then yeah, we got a responsibility to support the real that's mm -hmm. actually doing what we want to do. The so I get that part. Push, the one pushback I will give. Mm -hmm. Is if you go and watch us every year after the video game awards, right. we've been streaming this for yeah, years. But let me let we've me push back on your pushback. Thing. But we haven't been saying anything because I've never seen it this egregious the way it it's was. It's never this been year. this egregious, right? But, but my it's thing always is always been away from the the, right. the actual war. My difference to where we disagree on this is that I think the game award should exist. 
That, and, that's and I my feel thing. you on that. Right. So I but can't sit there and say you, that outside of this thing that was happening, right, mm. which I don't like. I don't like, and we both all agree that we don't like devs not getting their shine, nor no mentioning of the layoffs. All mm -hmm. I'm saying is with the outcry at the fever pitch that I'm seeing it now with developers also speaking up, I want to see what he do. I want to see if there's opportunity for course correction. If there's not, then yeah, we got to make a decision to make, right? There's Dice Awards, there's New York Game Awards, there's all these other things that that's, are out there that I can think, be supported. I think that's where I'm at. It's like, okay. you know, if he doesn't fix this year, it's the video game needs the award. Uh, video game awards needs to be around, mm. but maybe it's not him the one to give it to us. Like well, we'll maybe see. another platform does it. Like, cause, cause here's the thing. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, this is the most egregious thing that he's done was last year. Right. But it's like I said, man, every year we, we go up there, we say on this show, Oh, you know, I just feel like you, the wards is it's front and center, but this has been the first year that he just right. shoots like five, six in a row over and yeah. over again. Like we he's been doing it. that, like going on there and saying mm -hmm. key, uh, key awards in a row for like three years now like it, it, i i truly believe that you know so I, that's what that's the conversation we were having earlier it's right. like if your viewership's higher than ever year by year there's no incentive to change year, there's no incentive year by year right. your your rewards is higher than ever year by year why would that man change just because some people no Twitter that's valid are, uh, that's valid are, are that, upset. And, because and, those devs don't feed him and, right. and to me the only thing besides us mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, besides us as the community okay we just ain't gonna watch your stuff if those devs and those publishers take a stand and said you can nominate us for anything in the world we're not showing up now i think that would get more attention than anything else because you can't really have video game awards if none one no one in the industry wants to come yeah but at the same time we got to be real too about the money you know they these devs are going to all and publishers going to get the most eyes they've ever seen if they get a marketing spot at his show Right. Let's just keep it a bump. Let's but they keep get it a bump. that marketing spot. Right. But if they win that game of the year, they're going to get rushed off the stage. Right. Like sometimes but, but it's it's a left and a right. No, it's I not get, just it, the it, middle. I'm just saying it, it sound nice. <laughs> yeah. but, but when I the think... publishers say, remember with the joke I had, I was like, mm -hmm. man, Capcom, this disc monster hunter, whatever it is, they getting the, the one of the biggest spots. You know what I'm saying? As far as on um, promotional and enjoy. A lot of people choose that over the integrity thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sad, sad yeah. to say. So you know, look, I get and, it. And I feel you, but then at mm -hmm. the same time, mm -hmm. then what's going to change? You know, nothing. if the developers nothing. won't stand nah, for nothing it. Nothing might not change. If the community won't stand for right. it. If, I mean, he's not going to lose sponsorships, clearly. Right. It's just to me, nothing, like, he might change just because of the, the backlash he got. But at the end of the day, he said he had like two times the amount of viewers last right. year. So it's just like, maybe he really doesn't care about right. what the developers have to say. I'm, listen, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I'm mm -hmm. going to keep it a buck with you. Y'all can see as dudes be screaming at me. King, I don't like the way you're doing this, that, and the third. If my numbers dictate something else and my pay keep going up, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because you're 100%. rewarding bad behavior. So right. if you're going to keep rewarding my bad behavior, I'm going to keep doing some bad stuff. And, then, and that's, that's going to happen. That's, right. that's what like I'm me saying. Me making right. uh, shirts talk about Kong is going to die and dudes is liking that Kong stuff. Right. Guess who's gonna act bad me right and th 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 that's what i was saying on if there's no chain there's mm -hmm. no links in the chain that stand up and say you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing right. why would he ever change because no one ever does no i get that i i just think that both things are not we're not paying them exclusive and if we was paying them mm -hmm. and this is the part here this is the part if we were paying him mm -hmm. then we will have a voice. We don't have a voice because financially they're not, he not here. Well, it, it's, it, it's not about, we still like, he, okay. It's, it's like, it's like a circle. He used the viewership mm -hmm. to get the announcements. He uses yep. the announcements to get the viewership. He uses the views to get the, the sponsorships to get yep. all the money. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is we are responsible for giving him some of those viewership because we help hype up this event oh, every okay week. so this is the conundrum that i'm in i don't care about award shows i really don't the only award show that i care about is the ones that we are part of we're part of the gaming critic circle mm -hmm. we're part of a, a new york city game awards we're a part of that so i care about that i don't really care about award shows or anything of that the only reason why i do show up for any award shows and you see i sometimes i'm not there because it'd be late at night and i'm going to sleep but 
is because we have a community that actually cares about it. The representation of our video games means more than a lot of the rhetoric that's going on here. We have to keep what is pure about certain things and try to disassociate the negative right, from the pure. Just, that's all I was saying. Both yeah, things are not exclusive. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So we are in a conundrum right now and that's not going to change anytime soon but we do have a last topic left but no, I, yeah. I get what he's saying i get what he's saying and i i totally understand because i gotta go drive an hour upstate <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so, it's an hour upstate and it's an hour back and i thought four o'clock was going to be like that but yeah, it's I'm... not <laughs> <laughs> it's all good so you said anything fun? yeah no i mean i guess again everything all of this stuff is connected the ea layoffs the toys for bob stuff it's all i guess we all Let's combine it. I like, the combi I, like, I like the combining of <laughs> stuff. EA, layoffs, continues. Thoughts, saw this your topic with 670 workers, sunsetting games, moving away from future license IP. Andrew Wilson mm -hmm. says EA is adapting to accelerating information industry transformation. Yeah, so EA, uh, once again, added to the... <laughs> EA is the shift seems drastic, right? Um, I just really think that what they're doing right now with canceling the respawn game, a first person game, which you know, at, respawn doesn't make bad games. I can't, I can't imagine that mm. game is was in a bad state. Maybe early on, um, but the biggest thing for me is, and I'm not gonna regurgitate everything I said about you know why these these uh, this headcount is being reduced. It's just Everybody made these bets. Everybody made a, a lot of money off of this in the past couple of years. And they all were always going to, it was always going to be a reduction back to what is normal. Mm -hmm. um, the, the problem is that, again, with with that reduction, I don't know that uh, they what they expected to have to address the issues of how they make games and what it means to make a AAA game. I and mean, how much money these companies are willing to invest in, in money and time into making these products that sell, you know, 10, 15 million, and maybe that's it, right? And this idea of like, well, you can take these 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 long bets on on service games, but if it doesn't hit, you're done, and you just lost a whole bunch of money. Um, and if it doesn't hit, you find out pretty quickly too. Not even like you make your money back. So, <laughs> for me. Um, yeah, I, I want to know what you guys think about this, because, again, uh, this idea of them moving away from what's interesting to me mm -hmm. is them moving away from licensed IPs yeah. and, and focusing once again on stuff that they create in house is interesting and kind of exciting for me. Right. Um, definitely. Now, the question there is, obviously, uh, you know, I, I read up on it. Obviously, Iron Man and, and Black mm -hmm. Panther are not in yeah. jeopardy. The black right? IP still coming. <laughs> yeah, those are still coming. Yeah. Those are still coming. Yeah. Jedi game, um, Black Panther, Iron Man. Right, Jedi game, right. The last game, the Jedi trilogy is coming, Black mm -hmm. Panther. Um, and then the, the, the Star Wars uh, <laughs> the Star Wars uh, strategy game is right. still coming. Right. Um, so they're going to finish out contracts there and then focus on their own stuff. Right. Which I think when you think about when I just talked about the willingness of the fan base to give something a shot that's new right. and, and have it not be the quality level, the polish level that they expect from, you know, a big licensed IP mm -hmm. is something that they need to do. But the problem with that is that, you know, these are immediate things that they're doing right now mm -hmm. to sort of quell what's happening. But at the end of the day this idea idea of going back into a smaller ip and 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 their own own things that's not going to come to fruition for a couple of years yet yeah. right so i wonder you know what that affects in the short term um so we'll see we'll see but again it, it's the, it's the same regurgitated story that's been going on in the entire industry it's these companies reevaluating how they move forward in a world where they now have finally realized that the bet on service games is not a safe one. And it's not one that you just because you have the money, you should give it a shot. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, instead of the safer bet of making the types of games that you're known for, that you're good at doing, and maybe looking at figuring out how you make them smaller mm -hmm. and, 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 and for less money and for less time and figuring that out. But again, mm -hmm. in doing that, the, 
the devs are going to pay for it. The devs are going to pay for it. Mm -hmm. And it, it's a sad thing. Uh, particularly, you know, just again, I don't think Respawn has ever made a bad game. I agree with Cog there completely. Um, yeah. So to to have their game canceled, yeah, what's supposedly which was the Mandalorian, Mandalorian game. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and a first person game, right? If you're a fan mm -hmm. of Respawn, you're a fan of Titanfall, you're a fan of the, you know, the work they did as part of Infinity War before that. You know, you're like, oh wow, they're going, they're gonna make a first FPS again. Let's go! And mm -hmm. nah, nah, <laughs> nah. So I don't know if it's just it was so early on that it was wasn't worth it to continue for the amount of money that they knew they would have to spend. Um, I don't know, mm -hmm. I don't know, but I can't imagine that if it was further along than that, it looked trash because it's respawn. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't get it. So again, it's sad to see. Um, and we'll talk about this with the Toys for Bob thing. Well, yeah. when we get into Toys for Bob, we'll talk about it. But there's, yeah. there's, a, there's a bit of a knock-on effect with what's happening as well. Yeah. Attic, your thoughts? EA layoffs, respawns, games canceled. Uh, no Star Wars FPS Mandalorian rumored game. Uh, you know, obviously at this point, I feel like I just repeat myself when it comes to the layoffs. So I won't really talk about that too much because, you know, I think we talk about that weekly yeah, we at this we'll point. Beat this. Yeah, so, I mean, when it comes down to the, like the respawn thing, I'm going to be real with you. It is what it, like, I don't care. Like, it, it, look, it, respawn, cool, but I didn't really want to play Mandalorian game in general. I hate for the people that was looking forward to the game. Mm -hmm. I would rather them spend more time on making the next, uh, you know, Jedi Survivor type of game. Mm -hmm. uh, that that's the game I like from them. Or you know, I would, I would love a Titanfall three. Yeah. Uh, but you know, as far as like the man, like I don't think we have enough information to like like speak on why it was canceled it, it might have been respawn this said you know this is Not, we're, yeah. we're biting a little bit too much than we we could chew uh you know this game isn't too too far in development i think it's mm -hmm. best like because vince has that kind of power right so well, I, you know mm -hmm. uh, now i know you don't care about the um the game per se the fbi's joint what about developers though? People, you know, getting laid off. You know, no, no love. I, I, I mean, even though they I, made I, a I game, said, you ain't care about. <laughs> I, I, I said when it comes to layoffs that mm -hmm. we, we, we speak on it weekly. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to keep repeating myself every no, I time. I just want to you. I want you to care about the devs with the games you don't care yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, we just, we just went on like a thirty minute rant over. over no, I got like you. I'll, I'll, I'll be a messy. Like, I'll be a messy. Am messy. I just gonna repeat those same topics? No, I, I just, I, I just, I know talk. your yeah. passion is higher when it's a game you care. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, isn't that all of us though? Isn't yeah, we all, all we all guilty on, on that whole thing? Because yeah, my, guilty. my, my passion for this is gonna be totally different than his passion for this. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. yeah, that's fair. I mean, I will say this though. Shout out to the chat because they make a good point, right? So you know, they've been so reluctant to go back to Titanfall if they're, if they're. Yeah. Not doing licenses anymore. Does that open the door? Yes, for it does. Titanfall to come back, to right? Yes, so, it the has to. They think they can get from it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think I think, and that was going to lead to my point. If Attic is finished, yeah, it's just I'm trying to say it's like you know, at, at the end of the day, like when it comes to the layoffs, I'm like, trying to combine. Yeah, <laughs> every they, these layoffs are just out of the, out of control. I've said multiple yeah. times. I think it's a lot of corporate greed going on here, and mm -hmm. it's just like. Until someone makes a stand, it's just going to continue. So, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. Can you want to jump in? Or you yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, whereas I was looking forward to this first person Mandalorian type shooting game, and I had all types of thoughts of how it could be and what was going to happen, and you know, respawn has never hit. I mean, never missed a hit. So they have actually, you know, done the stuff that they were supposed to do. But again, this opens the door up for other things. Maybe they said that uh, paying this licensee fee to uh, Disney is mm -hmm. too costly. Like they look at the books and they say, well, you know, Blade got to go. If you know, <laughs> I'm, just saying, right? I'm just saying, right? Mm -hmm. I know you guys is like, yo, King, stop that. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just. Hey, yeah, I'm out of pocket for that, but I didn't bring up that subject. They did. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. So again, anyway, maybe they looked at it and say, "Listen, we have these things that we can do with this. We could take these resources and put it this way." Especially if the company as a whole looks at their mortality and say, "We have to cut out doing big spending, licensing stuff." Right. Right. And that's a big problem. If you're throwing money to just say, "We want our name and logo on this," EA built their name off of sports through the ground and through oh, the dirt, and they let go of uh, college football, which is coming back this year from mm -hmm. what I hear. Mm -hmm. They let go of college football because college football was costing them too much as a license, right? And they said, you know what? We're going to step away from it. That shows that, that what, it, what it would cost to make and what it was bringing back was detrimental. 
Mm. EA is a smart enough company to know that we're not going to go burn ourselves too far down the road. The layoffs, the layoffs is absolutely terrible. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like looking up every day and seeing that. I want to talk about games. I want to report on games. I don't want it to report this game is being canceled. That game is being canceled. Right. Now, back to the first person Star Wars game. Hopefully, yeah. we do get a Titanfall out of this. Hopefully, we do get a Titanfall 3 out of this because mm. let's say they use those assets from that game that they were working on and say, yo, this will work good in this right. world that we're working on. They don't have to license out anything. This is their own IP, and we can make this pop. And if they let, if they drop that game on all four platforms, PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch too, mm-hmm. I think that game rocks, and I think they can make their money back off of that and um, have everything cross-play, cross-progression. There's a lot of things that go into these thought processes, and maybe that was the thought process. Right. Maybe the thought process was we got to stop paying for these licenses, and they set it yeah. inside the edict that that is the, the problem where they're losing too much money, just throwing it to somebody, giving it to somebody for no reason. Mm. I respect that. I, um, the layoffs, I'm sorry. The COVID st- stuff is still affecting us. And Sovereign just said it eloquently and broke it down to y'all guys. You know, it's, it's the greed part to it. Mm. They knew ahead of time. They wanted to ride it out as long as it possibly could. Mm. Vaccines take a long time to make, so they thought they was going to be milking us for years. And they came around with this chop-chop vaccine or whatever and kind of stopped the stuff, and now everybody's back to work, and now the bottom is falling out. Mm. And if you, and if and it's not just in one aspect. You look at eggs. Eggs used to be $1.50 or $6 for some eggs, bro. Eight, bro, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight. Like if you go right. on a Whole Foods, you just might have throw, leave your whole check at the door. <laughs> um, it's not called Whole Foods no more. It's called Whole Check. Whole check. <laughs> whole check. Yeah, but this this is the problems, right? This is the stuff that we're facing as a society, and um, we all feel the impact when one person loses a job someplace. You know, not no longer can we be like, oh wow, and they're not losing it like two or three people. They're losing it in the hundreds, right. the upper the hundreds, the thousands in some cases, as far as Microsoft goes, 1,900 people. Yeah. So this is not something, you know, to just just brush under the rug. This stuff is affecting, and it's not going to stop. This is only three months yeah. in this year so far, guys. Just mm-hmm. saying. Yeah. No, I agree. I think um, cooking, I think... Pretty much the same things everybody else is saying. This is not stopping. More layoffs is coming. We got to get through the quarter. You know, EA is now joined the joined the realm. Joined everyone else. And in, in reference to the same thing we've been saying. Um, you know, the respawn thing. Obviously, that's one of my favorite studios. I feel guys, that. I gotta bounce. Um, uh, uh, I gotta do this drive. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wifey's in there. It's an hour to get there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I just want to say thank everybody for showing up for mm-hmm. me. This is me leaving here. Uh, 900 and some change. This is dope. I have. This is stuff that we dream about. People yeah. showing up to hear us talk about video games and listen to my stupid rants and our banter back and forth with our childish behavior. Right. But we get down to the real part of the topics and that's a, an important thing that y'all even listen and, and take the time out. So thank you no, guys for showing love, up. I do your thing, do your thing. I'll, we take care of the toys for Bob and then we get up out of here. But yeah, yep. do your thing, Ken. No doubt. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I was gonna say. Like, yeah, is my favorite. So, I mean, Respawn is my favorite. So, to me, it's just like, damn, like to see what they would have done with a Mandalorian would have been dope, right? To mm-hmm. see what possibilities, you know, there, because to me, they have not missed. But yeah, this just gets the strategy change on license IP. They're probably going to reduction on that. Obviously, we saw for the Insomniac leaks how much these things do cost. And yeah, it's just a, a, they're making, it's a streamlining or cost correction. The same thing we've been saying. That That's how I see it. So, yeah, just get ready. More are coming. That's that's what I got on that. I'm gonna yeah. combine this last one and then um, this will be the uh, the Toys for Bob joint. So yeah, this is this is me. Uh, Toys for Bob goes independent. So want to shout out the uh, Twitter account. Looks like they had a statement. Um, it's Toys for Bob. 
We're thrilled to announce that uh, Toys for Bob is spinning off as an independent game development studio. Over the years, we've inspired love, joy, and laughter for the inner child and all gamers. We pioneered new IP and hardware technology in Skylanders. We raised the bar for best in class remasters in Spiral. We've taken Crash Bandicoot to innovative, critically acclaimed new heights. With the same enthusiasm and passion, we believe that now is the time to take the studio and our future games to the next level. This opportunity allowed us to return to our roots to be a small and nimble studio. To make this even more exciting, we're exploring a possible partnership between our new studio and Microsoft. And while we're in the early days of development, our new next game are ways uh, are ways away from making any announcement. Our team excited to develop new stories, new characters, and new gameplay experiences. So they said, our friends at Activision and Microsoft have been extremely supportive of our new direction, and we're confident that we will continue to work closely together as part of our future. Thank you for our journey. Talk to you soon. So this kind of went out there, and I just wanted to bring this to the realm. You know, obviously, Toys for Bob was part of the Activision, you know, acquisition. You know, uh, the thought process was that Microsoft would get, you know, all of Activision Studios, all the Blizzard Studios, and then obviously King, and then Toys of Bob was, you know, for some, a lot of people were excited to see, you know, Toys of Bob, you know, the type of games that they make as part of the Xbox portfolio, and now we hear that they are going independent. So, thoughts on this one, you know, where you at? I don't know if Attic is back yet, but um, I know he okay. likes a lot of Toys, Toys for Bob's games and stuff like that, but if he's not back, then I'll get you some. It looks like he's not back. So, so yeah, so your thoughts, Toys for Bob going independent. Um, this is the knock on effect that I was talking about. Um, mm -hmm. you know, there was a whole lot of, you know, arguing going on about consolidation in the game industry, right? The consolidation mm -hmm. that have it happened as a you know, kind of post COVID and, and and beginning into the whole COVID era now coming out of that. Um, and I think the sort of reckoning that I'm talking about where these these um, these publishers and these dev studios are trying to figure out how to reduce costs mm -hmm. and obviously doing the the stuff that we don't like, 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 you know, letting people go. But I think another thing they're doing is thinking about, OK, rather than shut down this particular developer, mm -hmm. let's see if we can sell them off wholesale, right? And sell them off to somebody that has the capital and 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 the, and the liquidity to sort of pay for them up front and give us an influx of cash and a lot of times when you think about who's like a, you know toys for bob obviously not getting sold to anybody so mm -hmm. i imagine that in some way shape or form they had to pay for their liberty from from you know activision yeah. blizzard king you know microsoft so which means that when everybody was spending a whole bunch of money during the COVID era, mm -hmm. they were fattening up the coffers <laughs> for a rainy day. Mm -hmm. And and now they see this opportunity and they're able to 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 now go independent and do what they want to do. Because I think when we talk about the ideal situations that we imagined in our heads of what was going to happen mm, when, when the games, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna, yeah. Toys for Bob they're going to get pulled off of Call of Duty mm -hmm. they're going to make Banjo-Kazooie mm -hmm. it's going to well, be they're not making Banjo but I know what you mean like the, the, you know the I mean? type they, of game like, yeah. the stuff that we were talking about like right. they, they'd be able to do they could make these these platformers and mm -hmm. go back to what they're doing go back to making more Crash mm -hmm. that's you know there's no guarantee in that machine if that was right. going to happen and this ensures that they're going to make what they want to make, right? Yeah. And it ensures also that they are going to be able to negotiate with whomever they want. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they, they spoke as if they still have something in the pipeline specifically with Xbox, which right. is good because they know the bag's there, right? Um, but I'm, I'd be interested to know what the conversation was that led to this being a reality. Mm. Um, and... Because I, honestly, Toys for Bob, once it was kind of shut for down as Toys for Bob and got absorbed into the Call of Duty machine, I assumed that most of those people left right. and, and weren't necessarily making Call of Duty. So the fact that you have a Toys for Bob still, right. that it feels it can make something that you know, Toys for Bob is known for, known for yeah. uh, as, as an independent studio is, is super exciting for me. And, you know? um, and then you know, looking at this, and then seeing what's happening with Embracer and the fire sale that's going on mm. over there, you know, Saber was able to, you know, to, to wean themselves off of Embracer for a cool 500 million. Mm -hmm. You know, once again, Embrace it felt like Saber was like, okay, let's go into the bank. Let's go yeah, into the coffers. Yeah, yeah. And here yep. you go. Here's my independence. And Saber, Saber is a great studio. Right. Um, you know, obviously we're talking about um, 
the Borderlands dev, right? And um, and and seeing they haven't officially been sold yet, right? So that's mm -hmm. it's you know Randy Pitchford they're and, and the guys at Gearbox. Right they're negotiating. negotiating Gear, yeah, yeah. At some point, Gearbox is going to either yeah. have its independence or be sold off. Right. So again, the knock-on effect of all of this stuff happening is that we do see a willingness to let go of some studios with their IP as well mm. in order for them to become independent again. And and again... I'm it, hearing Xbox will keep the IPs, though. On this yeah, one. well, okay. So it depends. Mm. It depends, right? Um, but again, the fact that we're getting studios gaining their independence back in mm. in this environment it's scary right because then it's sink or swim on of their own accord right that's true no no bags behind the them streets. right it's hard, hard in the streets mm. so it, it could be a negative thing but overall they are in charge of their own destiny if they're able right. to do that so i think it's i think like i said the knock-on effect is that some of this is happening and that could be seen as somewhat of a positive right um but we'll see how it pans out but right. I, I really do think that you know the toys for bob and i i'm you know, we'll pass it to attic i know attic has some strong feelings about this mm -hmm. um attic ain't I, seen nothing on this <laughs> no, attic is because you got yeah, attic is. yeah um but i you know I, I and i get it i get it um because it just feels like microsoft is it, 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 when it comes to things that they purchase, they're the nicest stewards of everything. Come <laughs> on, man. What do you want from us? Sure, you can have that. Mm. Whereas, like, you know, when you go to Sony, apart from the Bungie deal, right? Mm. And again, going back to knock on effect, mm -hmm. we're in it. We're in a situation now. We talked about this that you know, hey, Bungie might be for the streets again at some <laughs> point because <laughs> you know. Hey, if they're willing to give you know Sony whatever bag Sony's asking for to to liberate themselves, right? We'll see. Um, so so yeah, I, I just think I, I get Addict's point, and I, maybe he's you know evolved on on this point a little bit since he first said it. But you know this idea that Microsoft is super nice when you know instead of being like taking the hard line, we own you, you do what we tell you to do, kind mm -hmm. of thing. I, I get it. Um, so that's how my take on it. I, I think it's, it's it, in a, in a, in a, in a world where things look really, really bad. Yeah. Some of this stuff looks cool to see, and I'm mm. excited to see what games come out of these, these studios, if they manage to survive, hopefully. No doubt. No doubt. Attic, very strong opinions on this, or uh, with toys for Bob, your thoughts on the decision for them to go independent. I think it's amazing. Uh, I think they, you know, they get their, their creative freedom and, uh, it's it's a good move on them. Next. I, f I feel sarcasm in <laughs> the way. What's this going? This is not. This is this, this man is, has been I, abducted. I don't recall this. Yeah, this, <laughs> this man is not. That's not how he feel, y'all. <laughs> not that he don't feel at all, but it is more to this. This is much more was, to this. Yeah, that he oh, should expound man. upon. That, 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 that's what I thought from the start. <laughs> that is not. Guys, the difference between this and now is you couldn't read the sarcasm oh, in between. Oh, that's what we're doing. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, that, uh -huh. All jokes aside, it's like, look, like, I was disappointed with this because mm. I don't care about ABK. I've never okay. cared about ABK. I've been very vocal yeah. about that. You've been consistent. On every corner. Uh, I even made a tweet said, I wish it was Sega. You did say that. And, you know, it is what it is at that point. But one of the biggest things that... Mm -hmm. I looked at it as like, I remember playing those old type of games w mm -hmm. with my dad when I was growing uh, up, uh, and you know, with uh, you know, Which games ones? like Banjo Kazooie, Banjo. you know, Crash Bandicoot, mm. and, and you know, I was looking forward to seeing what Microsoft what would fund and make a new type mm. of Crash. Now, I obviously, that. that could still happen, Definitely. but the thing is, is like people people ain't reading between the lines. They said they're pursuing. They didn't say they secured. Secure is not of, official. Okay, it's yeah. just like and, and people. People literally was in my comment section mm -hmm. because I said I wouldn't be surprised in a couple years if Nintendo bought them. Mm. And people are like, oh, why would they buy them? That makes no sense. I'm like, that's literally the games that they make. Oh, <laughs> like, you mean the style of games, right? Well, they, yeah, yeah, they, they fit the ethos of the time. Mm -hmm. it, it's mm -hmm. just like, look, like, you know, when it comes to my fear mm -hmm. is whatever they're making for Microsoft. Because I'm sure that was one of the the key mm -hmm. components like look you could work on this title we gonna own the ip mm -hmm. and then you know uh give us a little bit of money and uh you get your independence mm -hmm. my fear is just like what happened with like you know rice and a mm. quantum break you know they you look at these titles whatever they make does well right and then microsoft already saw the dotted lines and then they're like okay now we're uh we're uh they go back to negotiating okay what 
what do we got to do to make a sequel? No, we can't. You know, N- Nintendo done uh, hired us to make this game. PlayStation mm. wants us to make. Oh, this your game. concern is like, that they will ever go back to the core IPs you love them for, and they'll be doing other things. No, my mm-hmm. concern is they actually start making fantastic games because they've been in the Call of Duty sweatshop for years. Oh, they've been in the salt mine. And, and Microsoft's already signed them away. So now they everybody's, uh, you know, AAA banger maker or whatever you guys mm. want to call them. Look, mm. they don't make AAA games, mm. but my point is they make very unique AA mm-hmm. games. And the, the issues, you know, I you think got, you still you know, get that, though. I think you still yeah, get that. Yeah, ma- maybe. It just depends mm. on what happens. Like, yeah. we're, the only thing we're guaranteed is they're exclusive. I mean, is that they're making multi plats. Mm. Uh, we don't know what they're doing after that. It's like I said. The, the way the industry moves, the mo- even remotely starts to bounce mm-hmm. back to a, a form of what it used to be. Mm-hmm. Then before you know, Nintendo, PlayStation looking to buy stuff again. We don't know where the industry's going. Yeah, we can't predict. And, and, and you know, we've seen, we think AAA production's bad. Mm-hmm. We only hear the golden stories of, of indies and AA games. We mm-hmm. don't hear about all these failures that happens and these mm-hmm. little indie st- studios shut down all the time. Right. It's it's just way more unstable. And it's just like, to me, yeah, it's a risk. It, you know, the same people that attacked me on Twitter mm-hmm. for saying that I'm disappointed. And I understand this is good for toys for Bob. That was right. never a debate. That's fair. I yeah. was looking at it from an Xbox consumer mm-hmm. that I was screwed, that people scream from the top of their lungs, the whole generation. Mm-hmm. Wait till Xbox gets them. They're going to let them make any... Right. Uh, I get what you're saying. I get you saying. And the reality... Want, yeah, the reality. Okay, I got you. I got you. They let them go. And then and people are like, well, that's better for them because, you know, now they're not doing the Call of Duty sports. So acting like Microsoft can't let them off of that themselves. It's now, like, now, look, this is... Okay, okay so I know you... No, no. Yeah. The, the thing is, the funny thing is that just them going independent doesn't mean that they won't be like of their own accord. Yeah, we know how to make Call of Duty... It's a guaranteed bag. Do you need twenty people to continue to work on Call of Duty? <laughs> oh, they got any shirts and toys for Bob as, shirts back as, in? as independents. Like again, like mm-hmm. as a small now as an independent studio that has to fend for themselves, mm-hmm. contract work is some of the most guaranteed money you have. Crystal dynamic. Crystal D. Yeah, Crystal D. Crystal D getting that side bag. <laughs> so in- um yeah, I, I I would not be surprised if they said yes. We'll still be and working did, on Call of Duty in some capacity. If things don't work didn't out. Phil say a couple years ago that mm-hmm. you know he wants he wants to work on uh, getting more like family friendly, child friendly yeah, games that, on the Xbox mm-hmm. platform. I feel you. On the moment that they got one studio that could that do it, go okay. You guys go do what you want to do. Yeah. It's like look, like you know, here's the thing: people act like just because they have a relationship, even if they make one game, like I said, they can make the best game in the world. Mm-hmm. Even though Rice and Rome, people loved that game. Mm-hmm. It was loved. They couldn't come to an agreement. We right. ain't saw uh, we ain't saw a rise too. Mm. It's like what's uh, the that's game the that reason. Means, what's the game that means the most to you that you worry that they ain't coming back? Huh? It's what's just, the game it, from them that you like? Damn, I want to see another one of those. I enjoyed the Spyro games, uh, okay. the Crash games. You know, Crash Four, it, it it didn't do the the greatest compared to the other ones, but it's just like look like these type of games. Mm-hmm. It, it, they they take a while to simmer. Uh, it, they're never going to make an absurd amount of money either. That's, but they're that's always the key, I think, right there too. Okay. Oh, and, and I feel you. But at mm-hmm. the same time, it's like to me, you knew this studio was. I'm under the impression they didn't want this studio. And the first thing, mm-hmm. uh, the first opportunity Microsoft had to get rid of them, they got rid of them. And, and, and to me, and maybe it's just me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if we got an announcement, maybe you guys would disagree. Mm-hmm. And it said Media Molecule is spinning off on its own. Mm-hmm. And they, 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 they are separating from PlayStation. Mm-hmm. These same people that are screaming from the rooftops that this is a good thing will be on Twitter with the quickness saying PlayStation lost the studio. PlayStation mm-hmm. lost the studio. Like, like it, it's just like, stop it, man. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, like this, look, is it good for Toys for Bob? Absolutely. Right. Is they because they probably wasn't looking good for them in in general. Mm-hmm. It was like stop acting like this is good for Xbox, like because mm. it's not. They're losing an entire first party studio. There's no realms that's good for Xbox. If it's not making money though, what? Well, let's if just get to the money. let's just get to the real now. Let, the let's say you look we, at the portfolio and you looking at all the producers and you you looked at what Bobby gave you because we have to be fair <laughs> to Xbox in this case. Mm-hmm. Outside of the Call of Duty sweatshop. What's actually selling over there? 
and King. Oh, and I feel, and King, because King is moving but on. Yeah. Here's the thing. They knew that when they bought them. Right. But my thing is, and, if, you, and if, if you're you buying at, a product and one mm-hmm. aspect of the business is not, you making no money over there. Mm-hmm. And you looking at them like, they, and they like, okay, they're the Call of Duty mobile in the war zone guys. And mm-hmm. then you've already cut all this staff and you're like, well, why do we really need them? And they're not even mm-hmm. making Here, these... Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. You got, right, obviously this is probably of a mutual thing, but you got rid of a studio before they can even prove their worth. There was no game made under their banner. Nothing. Okay, if they made a game and the game didn't do well, okay, then maybe right. you let's talk about the spinning thing. Mm-hmm. But you, you you didn't even let them get out of early production. But like in we fairness, we, right we, we got to yeah. say that that's Bobby, though, right? Bobby, yeah. they inherited... You, it's like you buying a house with a, a lot of issues <laughs> yeah. outside of one major thing that gives you value to the house. But you're like, yo, there's a leak there. The roof got this problem. You know what I'm saying? So you got to make a decision. Are we re- we going to keep this thing and we going to repair it? And I, don't your, think it's, yeah. I don't think it's like that. Just because they Bro, were they were on- They were not in good shape. Uh, I, 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 because that's why they were in the position to be acquired. Right? No, were, I'm talking yeah. about... I am talking about... Toys for Bob as a whole, right. like they, to me, they they didn't get the tools they could to even validate if they were going to make money for, or not. For Bobby, why is Bobby free from it? From except that's Bobby's all I not free from anything. Yeah, why is Bobby point, not getting those those slander? Because Bobby's gone. We're talking about right here, right, right. now. And they, they looked at these him. books. Yeah, I'm I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I mean, that that's look, I'm gonna jump in. This is my thing. And I get what you're saying with the, you know, you want to see them, the opportunity to produce something and what it looked at. And I will give you this. As a person, when I saw the acquisition and I saw Tyler, so I'm going to be clear for the record, Cog do not play any of them games, period. Mm. That's just a fact, right? So, But I want to be fair. There's a part of me that when I saw Toys for Bob as part of the studio, I'm like, that's dope. Because Xbox doesn't have those styles of games, mm. right? Xbox needs those Nintendo style you know, younger demographic game. I'm like, yo, that's dope. So yeah, there's a part of me that agrees with you. Like, damn, that is sad that we didn't even get the chance to really see what a fully powered Toys for Bob Xbox backing game. I'm with you there completely, right? My whole thing is now we got to be real. We just talked about laying basting Sony for closing a studio. Mm Mm-hmm. So to me, what's the better alternative? You, we want the studio closed because if I'm going to be real, corporate car going to come in there and say, yo, these dudes ain't, they're not making no money. What, what are we using them for, right? They're not doing what they originally intended to do based on what they were doing under Bobby. There's a strong chance, if I had to guess, that this studio is going to be shut down. So to me, I look at it as this is a win-win. The studio still gets to exist. They get to move on, do this type of games that they want to make, and a partnership with Microsoft where they could get first right of refusal on the IPs that you love them to make. I get it, you know, that they may not make the exact Crash or Spiral game, and maybe just a new IP. And yes, we have to hold Microsoft's feet to the fire on the IPs that they own, like the way we was holding them, we was mad with them with Rare, like, yo, when are they going to make these Rare style games instead of the Connect game? That is completely fair. I will give you that. There's a lot of those joints that's been sitting in the, in the closet. Be like, yo, when, when these games going to come out that y'all own these IPs? Absolutely fair. I just, I just, I guess my thing is I'm on the, the side of studios living to fight another day. I've always yeah. been on that side. I've always been on the side that, yo, thank God they're not shut down. Oh, God, they're they, 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 they still around. They could do what mm-hmm. they want to do and then give them a chance kind of thing. And it, yeah. it allows them to take a bag from multiple different places. Right. And again, we don't know what this deal with Microsoft is, but what if it is that as an independent studio, right, it, it, they, they'll function as a second party, right, for specific Microsoft-owned IP that they're, they're sort of pitching to make right whether it be whatever the next banjo whatever the right. case may be uh i, I think it, it behooves that, that way microsoft right two couple of things right that way microsoft can be like okay as we push further into this day and date our ip on other platforms mm-hmm. if we do it as a second party with this with this dev team that used to be first party but not an independent but they're working kind of in the not not necessarily like game freaking pokemon right because right? they only work with Nintendo, but something to that effect then it's like Microsoft can be, they can put the game wherever they want without a lot of pushback because you're putting your first party stuff um, on everywhere just because it's it's going to function as a second party thing. So it, it's almost going to be outside of that bubble that people consider to be like untouchable. Right. Um, 
I just see it as a positive for all because if Microsoft wants to work with them, they can invest what they want to invest into whatever products that you know, they, whatever deals they have with them, mm -hmm. market it, whatever. And but again, you still have some of that risk on the dev and not only on Microsoft. And I think it works both ways. I think to me, you're right. I don't know in, in the way Microsoft is functioning right now. It, it's idealistic for us to think that they would want those older games to come back and have money invested into them. Right. This is the way we can kind of have a, they, they can have their cake and eat it too, right. where you know Toys for Bob is probably going to be making something in that vein, bankroll some of it or whatever, right. make it a second party thing, publish it, whatever the case may be, right. and have it associated that way without having to take care of everything that it means to own that studio in in-house like right. fully fund the bag fully fully fund payroll and, and like you know mm -hmm. it, the things we don't talk about like that like, like medical right. benefits and all that stuff that you have to for actual employees of your company um i think it works i think it works i think it works i think it it, it behooves everybody in this situation that this happened yeah, look, I my final thing i'll say then we move on i'll let Attic respond is that um I guess for me, the way I look at the ABK situation in, in terms of all, remember when we, I don't remember this, as a Destiny fan, when they when Bungie was under Activision, mm -hmm. there were support studios. I remember them specifically. It was like High Moon Studios. Studios. Vicar. Stop what you're doing and go help Destiny make this, that, and the third. Right? And this is where I, I really empathize with Attic. As a person who loves High Moon Studios for, in my opinion, some of the greatest Transformers games that's ever been made, to be relegated to all you doing is making DLC for Destiny. Mm -hmm. Right? All you doing is making maps for Call of Duty. That's how I look at Toys for Bob. Like, you're not getting to do anything you want to do under the Bobby Red. You got to get in that sort mine and make this Warzone and make this Call of Duty mobile. So for me, I'm like, all right. You know, what I love to see Toys for Bob, you know, make the, the new crash joint and be kept and funded under them. Absolutely. Underneath Microsoft, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But the reality is I'm like, okay, if this saves them, maybe this is this is a, a, an alternative that I can live with. And now we just got to see how it pans out. But if it pans out negative, I'll be the first player. Yo, it, Attic, you was right. You know what I'm saying? They ain't do nothing. This joint ain't working. It was a bad move. But when I look at partnership, to me, I'm like... Y'all gonna get a Game Pass bag. They give an Xbox a little exclusive joint mm -hmm. relationship. And let's be real. Let's, let's be real, real. Corporate cock talk. This is a great PR move for, for, for Microsoft to sit there and say, we kept you alive. We didn't shut you down. Hey, guys. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? It looked <laughs> we good. We didn't use for you, so yeah. we let you go. We Bye. let you go. That, it, 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 there's a great PR spin to this. I, I see it. You know what I'm saying? But the key is, to your point, Attic, we got to see the execution of the games and what actually happens. And I, I'll give you that. I'll so, give that. what happens if this spins off and it's other companies in the future for play Xbox that spin off? It could happen. No, very. That's a what very happened? good point. That's a see, good my point. My thing is, mm -hmm. I feel like people ain't up in arms because a lot of people didn't care about this. Yes, studio, good what point. Happens, what, what happens if we see like, oh, Obsidian, Obsidian wants, wants to, to go? It no, now. fair. They're like, you're do, right. Do we gonna have the same energy? If absolutely right. Out? But if you think about, if you think about a future where mm. my where 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 Xbox is, is going to be on more and more mm. uh, other screens, um, yeah, it kind of makes sense. <laughs> It, it, it right, does though. make sense. Right. You know what I mean? It, it just... No, wait, this is what Attic right. He knows some dudes is frauded because they don't like toys for Bob. Bob. But when it's their favorite, this way he right. How you how they going to feel when they say, Obsidian has opened our doors and we're going <laughs> to... Hey, guys, we're independent too. Right? That's fair. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to keep the same energy I'm keeping right now, but I know others may not. And that's mm -hmm. where Attic is right. I and give you it's that. like you know, mm -hmm. of, like they announced another Doom. Oh, we're we're we're. Hey guys, I I, I, <laughs> I was told that um mm -hmm. that a Bethesda studio wants to. So I mean, we got to be real, right? Other studios may see this and like, oh, y'all could do that. Oh, we have been wanting to put our stuff everywhere too. What's up? We wanna we wanna break free. Like you never know. I I don't know. If I had to guess, I had this conversation offline with a couple people. If I had to guess, it's probably more likely to happen with the publishers acquired as opposed to an xbox game studio that they bought but we never know we never know yeah i i think between bethesda mm -hmm. and abk there's at least two more studios that's possible this. that's <clears throat> possible I, I i think you're on to something i don't think there's nothing out of pocket for you saying that again these are companies it, that operated independently from microsoft for a long time 
and you never know. The, the climate had, could change. You never know. Yep. Cool. We are good. Now they killing me. Solve all the super chats. You want to get that ready, or you want me to get the poll first? How you want? How you want to do it? Do the poll because the super chats are a decent amount here. So. No doubt. No doubt. Do ILP poll with all the recent layoffs and changes at PlayStation Studios. Which of these has you the most concerned? The choices are A. Closing London Studios and fire sprite toxicity. Choices B unsustainable AAA development costs. C, layoffs at top studios, Insomniac, Gorilla, and Naughty Dog. Or D, I don't care about none of that. Because if the games are still fire, I'm in. <laughs> Shout out to the troll. It's going to go up later tonight. Again, salute the gang geek. Salute the king for pulling up as much as he could. And uh, salute to the chat for y'all for rocking out as much as can. So a lot of cool names up in the chat today. A lot of messy super chats we got to read. So let's get to <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. We got Robert Kelly, five dollar super chat. Crossing swords. I don't know if Lord Sonic can hold the line under this mustard coated battlefield. <laughs> I, I guarantee you, the bat it's not mustard that the battlefields are coated in. It's not mustard. <laughs> it's something. The mad swords is not mustard. <laughs> <laughs> then we got Arkeet Doing Dewin Dewin or Dewin Arkeet. Hey, if I said it wrong, I apologize. With two dollar and seventy nine cent super chat. Yo, we need the T. Lu documentary in in their reaction to it. Okay, the mm, T. Lu documentary. Last of Us. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a document. I, mm. It's very good. Where Neil is like breaking down the whole. It's it's like the whole development of, of the Last of Us too. Okay. He even said he ain't got. I wish no they more would do that more often. To be mm. honest with you, I wish Man, they'd no. be more transparent, like how much games cost and you mm -hmm. know exactly what went into making them. Because mm -hmm. I feel like. Obviously, there's still going to be people to complain, but people would understand more the decisions the industry makes if we knew more about, like, the reasons they're making these decisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. Shout out to Slow Mo. Toys of Bob change. Essentially, Microsoft moving numbers from one column to another. It looks good on financials and to investors, but nothing has really changed. I feel that. But to that point, we want to see what, what games they do produce. You know, mm -hmm. I'm very curious to see how they look because it is risky I mean, it, by yourself, too. It, it could be one of those things that Saul said, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, Microsoft doesn't want to get butchered by its mm. fans for making stuff exclusive, uh, for making stuff multiplayer. Yeah. And they're like, look, we, we you, you, you gonna be our second party studio from here on out. We gonna yeah. fund everything, <laughs> but it's gonna be everywhere. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, good PR look, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's not a bad look. PR is always good when people get laid off. <laughs> when we announce their next game multiplayer, you know, people, oh, yeah. people better get ready. For, yeah. yeah, yeah, people better get ready for that. There's a strong, there's a chance that could happen too. Absolutely. Yeah, that's 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 no, that's the, I don't even think there's a chance that's happening. Yeah, that's it's probably happening. gonna be multiplayer, and the hope is that gay pack it'll be a gay bass bag in conjunction with the multiple. That's the hope. With the multiplayer, right. that's the hope, right? The hope. Give, like give give the Xbox gamer a, a reason to feel special, like right. it's in Game Pass. And you still right. have your hardware. Or you like, do them like how they used to do, what is it, it's that joint we play Addict that you, we streamed, it was crazy. Um, remember As Dust Fall? You give one of them mm -hmm. partnerships where it'd be like the year mm -hmm. two, and now you see now As Dust Fall finally you know be, over on PlayStation. You know mm -hmm. it'd be horrible? What's up? If they, if they make a game for Xbox, it does okay. Mm -hmm. Then they make a game for like PlayStation, and it's like, it's like that next game. Like, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that would be surprising if they made it exclusive yeah. that Xbox 8 part. I would be surprised by that. Yeah. I mean, it, it's what's weird. Uh, somebody in the chat mentioned that when we were talking about um, the mm -hmm. Sony stuff and Helldivers, right? Mm -hmm. And he asked, well, well, would Helldivers be as, as, as um, would, would it be doing as well if mm -hmm. it weren't a PlayStation exclusive? And I'm like, yeah, well, it yeah it would because if you look at the sales, the majority of the sales are on a PlayStation. Yeah, on Steam. Yeah, on you Steam. know what blew you know what blew up uh, that game? It was TikTok shorts, mm -hmm. uh, word for mouth. Because you know how many times I've literally went on I've I've went on TikTok and seen TikTok videos where they're having like the map behind them and they're acting like the the uh, the 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 news chick that like points at stuff yeah. and they're like you guys are here we need you over here <laughs> <laughs> it got a funny tone to it too it's hilarious there we got robert kellett two dollars super chat jimmy bones was filed for that photo op uh, you know i'm gonna be honest man if jim ryan went into that and really knew i mean obviously he knew but if 
No, no, no. But if he came into the situation not knowing they had a party for him or something over there, or oh, he went okay, gotcha. there, like, and then he had to like, eh, ah, what yeah, yeah, gonna do? you gotta show up, but you don't, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's like, oh, cause that's right. I could just, I could just see them saying, "You gotta come here when we finish this game." Like, <laughs> sure, I'll be there. Yeah, I'll be there next week. <laughs> but in fairness, I know PlayStation Nation is upset. Right? In fairness, yeah. there was a picture of Phil and Mike. E- either way, it's a bad the, look. The yes. whole Blizzard staff, everybody, yay, guys. Yay, and guys. Next minute, next yeah. minute, 1900. Yeah, is, <laughs> 1900, y'all, is out of here. I mean, yeah, let's be fair. Hey, me too, and I'm out too. Everybody <laughs> gets out. Everybody gets out. In fairness, I'm not in this trash <laughs> fire. I'm out. <laughs> we got a lot of people got sniped. A lot of people got their head cut off. It was a, what is it? A lot of mob whacking. A lot of mob whacking. <laughs> but when they put the picture on, you go, oh no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Not the the Jay from uh, Goodfellas. Goodfellas. <laughs> they walked him in the room. He thought he was getting made. They thought Mike thought he was getting made. Oh, no. He didn't even get the finish. No. Oh, the, no. oh no! Boom! boom. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of whacking going on in the games industry right now. It's crazy. And, and that's that. And that's that. <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fair enough. Anonymous boss, ten dollars super chat. Salute to the fellow lords. I heard Cog will pull up to the to uh, pull up to King on packs. With Diddy and say, "Hey there, big sword king. Hey. I'm gonna take you shopping and hey, after hey, party hey, at, the, at Diddy's." And you messed up. Later. You messed up on the super chat. You have to say, "I heard a rumor." <laughs> I heard a rumor. <laughs> oh man, uh, we ain't gonna be scrapping and scraping and, and doing that with the uh, king. Yeah, <laughs> going, going to Diddy's crib after hashtag Ooh. big pause hashtag sword fight. Oh <laughs> man, out of his boss, you gotta relax. Like, yeah, we know- how do we know Cog's not doing this from Diddy's house already? Oh, <laughs> man. I turned my camera on. <laughs> out of pot. It's the purple. I should have worn the purple. Yeah, it's about it's bringing out something, something, purple today, something about the purple that got to be looking different right now. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> then we got Jay Mack with the $2 to the chat. Hashtag PPBP. Something about uh, so pork begging. Yeah, you got to tell him no. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No means no. Ain't no take no that. No means take that. no. Yeah. Mm-mm. No, take that. No. no <laughs> Don't means, take no. that. Take that. So the funny it's, thing it's, is, my body's mine. <laughs> the funny thing is, that couldn't have happened like at a funnier time because of the whole Cat Williams thing. Yeah. That just happened, Yo, the time Cat Williams crazy. literally just commented on that. Like, yeah, he's wow. like, Don't be showing up to them bodies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go. Sometimes you got to tell him no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Classic. <laughs> oh man. We got J Mac, two dollars super chat, hashtag PPBP. I'm thinking he meant a port begging uh oh, port begging something ponies. Mm-hmm. Got no games, hashtag Greybeards the Foundation. Oh, yes, salute. Yes, oh yes, yes. fellow Greybeards, salute. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Then we got CT Fire, five dollars super chat. PlayStation laid off people from studios working on live service and or PSVR2 studios, which mm. includes Insomniac, yeah. Naughty Dog, Gorilla, Fire Sprite. Yeah. Yes, we can make that assumption. That, like we, I, like I mentioned, there's certain mm. they were working on certain multiplayer stuff at all of those studios. Yeah. And maybe that's where the layoffs lay. But at the same time, mm. I would not doubt, even though it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, that they're going to cut more from these studios and it's mm. going to be people that, that are working on the single player stuff mm. just because of the nature of the amount of cuts that have to be made. Yeah. I think. We'll see. Yeah. We got JD Gamer, $10 Super Chat. For you disingenuous mm. ponies, PlayStation laying off 900 people is the same as Xbox laying off people and arguably worse. PlayStation went out and spent money they didn't have mm-hmm. in an effort to buy studios because Xbox did it. Mm, a lot of people talking about there was no merger involved, so they say that yeah, this is worse. I'm gonna be real with you, mm. like he got, he kind of got a point there. I mean, like, I mean he got, got some what, balls. What did Bungie? There. Bungie was reactive. Uh, Bungie saying. could be perceived as reactive it's, due to the Call of Duty thing. It's like they woke up and they're like, oh, Microsoft just bought ABK. Someone go get that company yeah. now. <laughs> What's funny? That's and then the when comp- they get yeah. home. And- they look at the they look they look at the little spreadsheet. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. That's what the golly feels like. He bought a lemon with a bungee. That's how they feel like, right oh, now. Oh no! Someone but I don't. Get I don't know. I just, I really find that sometimes we, some you know again. Sometimes maybe we give these higher ups a lot of credit. Mm-hmm. At the same time, I don't think they like reactive in what way like they spent billions of dollars that I has to get past you understand like you have to think about that no, I, I guess you're, you're I, right in the way business really move but like right. we do know these things take a long time to actually go through yeah all i'm saying is you know let's just say they were in talks all that time and then news flash to get to ABK, the finish line yeah, right, yeah. oh we got to finish this up because oh. guess what 
we are now going to lose that money that we thought mm -hmm. we were getting from Call of yeah. Duty being on our platform yeah, intrinsically. Think, that, that's what I'm saying. Was, but you're right. It's not as reactive as that. Yeah. I think that was the way, the reason they paid so much for Bungie because uh, mm -hmm. they, they already was negotiating with them mm -hmm. and they probably stood strong on that uh, on yeah. that number because I heard and mm -hmm. through reliable mm -hmm. sources, I heard a rumor. You heard a rumor? That uh, that they uh, they had the same conversations with Xbox and Xbox mm -hmm. turned them down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I think after the ABK thing, they said the only thing that's even remotely on the same level as a mm -hmm. first-person shooter is call, uh, from Call of Duty Fact. is Destiny. But yeah, and even in Xbox's uh, evaluation of Bungie, they, they said their burn rate is high. They feel that they wasn't worth what they was. You know what I'm saying? And they, you know, mm -hmm. Bungie, Phil and them wanted to do you know make that. That that was they had the relationship there. So yeah, it's, it's a good point. It's a good point. Yeah. We got Robert Kellett, five dollars super chat. Insomniac has a history of crunch going back to the the PS2 era. They put games out every year until 2015, 2016. Sony pushed Spidey two out faster as well. Mm -hmm. I think it was interesting that in the uh, in response to the Sony layoffs, mm -hmm. Insomniac was the only internal studio that actually said something. Yeah. Yeah. They came out and was like, in a way, kind of pushing back, like. Mm -hmm. And they specifically said this is unprecedented for yeah, us. Yeah. So again, going back to the point that they might have let people go, they were integral to the development of the mm -hmm. single player games yeah. that they're making, um, mm -hmm. which is weird, right? But again, Yo, these let me see. That's a wild anonymous boss is wild. God, Emperor Sofa King, two dollars. Which y'all got to remember, the mouse got to get their cut. Everybody got to get their cut. Yeah, yes, Mi Mickey Mouse getting his cut. That's oh, for yeah. sure. Oh yeah. And that cut is, that's a huge cut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Licenses, man. Yep. Robert Kellett, $5. Super chat. <laughs> okay, it's crazy. Sony Europe and Japan being dead is depressing. It is. Sony post PS3 era is not the Sony I loved growing up. Facts. 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 Jim is a heartless man for that party pick. Again, I don't know. Again, yeah, if, yeah. If, if he if he knew full well, which I know he did, and, and could have avoided that party and didn't, shame on you, Jim. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hollywood rules five dollars super chat. The impulse buy of Bungie, living off of COD as their multiplayer, the Marvel contract, all this is contributing to the downfall. Attic, great points. Absolutely. Yes, yes. And we got Matt two dollars super chat. When you rep rats, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> chill, Brian the snitch. <laughs> chill, chill. <laughs> Beastie. Then we got Killer E305, $2 Super Chat. Sony was counting VR and handheld as console sales. Yeah, they were trying to count the portal as a console sale, which is ridiculous. Yeah. VR, I understand, kind of. But. Mm -hmm. Then we got Killer E305 again, $2 Super Chat. Sony was false flagging for Mustard Heart <laughs> Clout. <laughs> oh, man. Gay warfare. Then we got Shabazz uh, Sharif Salute. with the four SARS. With okay. the four SARS. Okay. Thank Shabazz you. Sharif. Appreciate okay. you. Salute. Then we got the real OG X. Mm. Oh, just real OG. Okay. Uh, $10 Super Chat. Helldivers 2 is a better version of Starship Troopers Extermination. I fell for the hype. Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> like that. Joint. It's moving out here. It's moving. Yeah, well, he's saying that he, it was, he thought it was more than what Oh, he thought it was Times. more than what so he wasn't feeling. <laughs> yeah. Attic ready. He want to eat. Then we got the homie Lockmort with uh, the 10-euro Super Chat. Lock! Shout out to Lock. Shout out to Lock. Some of the best... Video cut, video editing in the business, last in the stand media business. in the building. Salute. <laughs> yeah. We got oh, away with the Jeff Awards and all hail the Iron Lords Awards. Oh, Can't wait to see what you guys have in store for Sacred Symbols 300. Yes, we already putting it together. We will be yeah. submitting our uh, thoughts soon. Don't worry <laughs> about that, yo. That's dope. You got to pull up one day, man. We got to be. Yeah, we got to. We definitely got to. Sure. Lock. Legend in the business. And we got Chris with the two dollars super chat. Jeff on his MJ Republicans buy shoes too. Energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I remember uh, that one. Yeah. Then we got the rubber knob. Five dollar super chat. Games cost too much to make now. AI is coming and gonna replace half the devs. Unfortunately, <laughs> this is a reality. This is a reality. And Skynet I saw next. It's gonna yeah, be it is in there. Soon. Yeah. It's gonna be soon. So Eric. Where's Jeff Keeley with the wrap it up sound when you need it? Yeah, <laughs> hey, they super <laughs> chat. <laughs> Rubber knob once again, two dollars super chat. Skynet has got to start at some point. That is true, right? Yeah, I mean, the I genesis know. of the the thing that's gonna kill us all. It's yeah. gotta I'm start trying to be down point. with the robots before they. Turn. Yeah, for I'm real. Be I'm a, I'll be on this side. <laughs> <laughs> I will put y'all in the batteries, but uh, they're gonna keep me in the matrix. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> As long as the steak still tastes good, I'm good. Exactly. I don't care. 
<laughs> we got Chris two dollars which had choice for Bob leaving the Call of Duty Gulag. Facts. Yes, yeah. Tell you the Maybe. boys, the, we'll boys is in the sweatshop hard. The salt mines. It's different if you're in the sweatshop of your own accord. It's different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Then we got J Boy on the run. Five dollar super chat. We hashtag hold the line while Vodka in Texas back to MIA soon. We about to we about to pass the uh, hashtag on the run in my name to mustard hearts because they claiming stomach virus. I don't know what that even means. I don't know where you're going with <laughs> it, but all right. <laughs> we got Jay Boy in the run again. Two dollars super chat. That was a hashtag mustard heart rumor going around. <laughs> <laughs> Dudes don't like the rumors now. All okay. right. Then we have L. Paul, $5 super chat. The year of the Xbox L's continues. <laughs> Fans needed engagement until we were worth more than money than, than Windows. No tweet. Good luck, Toys for Bob. Speaks volumes. Really? <laughs> For worse than a studio getting shut down? I, I think not. <laughs> think not. <laughs> but, uh, Let them eat. Let them live. Let them live. <laughs> then we got Jeesh, $2 super chat. Jeesh. Say cheese, Jim. Say cheese. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Somebody say cheese. <laughs> then we got the Taku, $5 super chat. How did IOP get Peter Moore and more guests on? I heard a rumor that they had to let Diddy take them on a shopping Whoa. spree and turn after hey, party. Hey, yo. <laughs> Hey, yo, nah, so ain't none of that going on ain't, none of that going. ain't no favors being done here. Nah, what's that quid pro? Nah, nah, son. We ain't doing that one over here. One for me, one for you. No, no, no. <laughs> none of that. We ain't doing that remix with you, buddy. Mm -mm. I'm not a his boss. Five dollars super chat. I see Cog was blushing when you talked about the after party at Diddy's house. <laughs> hashtag pause, hashtag sword fight. This man trying to put me on the Sword Brothers remix with his man. <laughs> Mm -mm 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 -mm. We are caught up. No, no, we're nope. not. Lord Metroid, member for 29 months, Lord Silver. Bungie is like Biden. They're tripping on their way up to the Air Force, to Air Force One. Pick me up. Need new legs. <laughs> Great show, gentlemen. Metroid Prime 4. Yeah, Metroid Prime 4. Let's Ooh. see if it's a, it's a launch game. If it comes out this year, or is it a launch game for the next Nintendo? We'll see. No doubt. And on that note, Lord Addict, where can the fine people find you? What you got going on, sir? You can find me on Twitter at Lord Addict IOP. You can find mm. me on YouTube at Gaming Addict. Uh, you can find me on playing Final Fantasy Rebirth after the show mm. on uh, Addict Arena. That's where yeah. you guys will be directed yes. towards. Uh, uh, come with me while I explore Golden Saucer for the first time. <laughs> Why are you talking about hey, soft? The come with me as I explore, as I explore the Golden Saucer. Saucer. I don't like that. <laughs> what, what I don't know if I want to go with you now. Saucer. <laughs> the, yeah, the <laughs> Oh my god, it was too central. What, what kind of establishment is the Golden Saucer? Yeah, what are we doing? What are we doing? What's happening that, over there? That's funny, Poppy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Chad, don't be saying Spanish words. No. <laughs> I don't like how you don't see it. I don't like how he horrible. said <laughs> Anyway, outside of Attic Arena, no doubt. Lord Saw, we can find people find you what you got going on, sir. You can find me not engaging with any of that BS that's going on in Twitter Facts. right now. Gents, folks, let's play games. Play games. And let's play games and genuinely be kind to one another. This other stuff is just ridiculous. I can't believe we've gotten here. Really, yeah. Yeah. I, it really, it really. The, I'm geek, just the like, geeks I'm, are gang members now. Yeah, that is it. I'm sorry. Like, I, that, that's why a lot. Honestly, a lot of stuff going on in this industry. It, I kind of feel like it's the geeks being in charge now. Yeah, they don't know how to act. And, want, and wanting revenge. Yes, right? the Instead geeks of like. Bro, you know, it's, it's like it's, it's my turn now. Yes, you bullied us all our life. All our life. <laughs> Facts, uh, geeks uh, is out of control. Yeah, you're killing me. So yeah. please, let's, let's just play these games. Exactly. So hopefully, I will be playing. Uh, like I said, I got a bunch of stuff. Uh, Prince of Persia, mm -hmm. Banishers, which I'm really into right now. Um, more Dark Forces Remastered, uh, Brothers of Tale of Two Sons. So yeah, yeah. I'm going to be doing that. And when I have a chance, get back to remake and finishing that so I can start up on Rebirth. No doubt. You already know. Salute to the chat. Salute to everybody that pulled up. And uh, yeah, we've got more fun stuff planned up. Yo, he said what happens in the Golden Saucer stays in the Golden I'm <laughs> done. Anyway. No, it, it doesn't because I'm doesn't. broadcasting. Ha, so. <laughs> He put it out there. No <laughs> doubt. Good show. Good to see y'all. And one bad mother. Slow mo. All y'all up in the chat. Salute everybody that pulled up. Yeah, man. That's all I got. Shoot, shoot the Genki. Again, that was dope for yeah, the little cameo the on there. And the King. K. Asante, what's up? I see you. Everybody in the chat, I see you. The King, of course. That's all I got. Addict, we're going to take uh, it out of here. What's up? Yeah. We got, yeah, we're we going to super chat. What we got? What we got? Nady Nay, $5. Oh, the homie. Chat. 
I thought I love you like a brother. I'd rather be your lover, baby. That Diddy I.O.P. N- remake. Nady, <laughs> you out here diddling with Diddy again. I told you about that. Ain't no Stop diddling it. with Diddy. <laughs> no cheesecakes will walk to, to Brooklyn to pick up here. None of that happened. And on that note, we out of here. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>